All right, the stream should be up on both Twitch and YouTube. Lower latency on Twitch, so faster chat interaction and better graphic quality on YouTube. So we are back to day two of my second playthrough. We did beat Anomaly on the first playthrough, and it was insane. Uh, this run has been kind of fun. This, this run has been fun, and a lot of crazy stuff in this run. So the first run, we did a 500% no pause, hardest difficulty, um, inhuman Anomaly run. And this time, we are doing a ritualist run instead of inhuman. And... Oh my lord, it's been, it's been fun though. I've, I've enjoyed it, but man, oh man, is research slow. So hopefully the YouTube stream is live now. Yeah, it looks like I'm getting I'm getting stuff on there. Let me uh, make sure the chat is viewable for me. I see you. So let's load right back into our Ritualist run. We're also going to be building a little bit different, and I feel like we finally are at the point that we can probably start doing that. So Tips on struggling to end a run. What are you struggling about with the end, end of the run? Like... Are you having problems with the actual ship launch, or what, what do you mean exactly? Oh, it's, it's my new favorite. Turn it up. This one's Cassandra. The previous run was Randy. All right, I'm turning this up. Do I plan on color, turning colorblind minerals back on? I'm not sure. Going Jerem. Kristoff. Poppy, Dongo, welcome in. Zusha, they've been 19 months, Zusha. Loving this new music. My favorite storyteller, my favorite non-modded storyteller is Randy, just because I can't predict what he's going to do. The OST alone makes you want to buy it to have this play in during your cowboy colony, yeah. You see the Revenants attack yet? I've seen everything, yeah. I already did a full run. So, for better or worse, if you don't know, if you do one entire run of Anomaly, where you go all the way to the end and see the credits, you've seen everything. You have you have to do every event. So yeah, I've, I've I, if you mean in this run, yes, we have seen the revenant in this run. Actually, we've we've had to hunt it like three times. But yeah, it, I've already done a full playthrough all the way to the credits, so we've already seen everything. So I'm no longer blind to anything. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and if I don't know, we can figure it out. working through the vines you have a bunch of mountain obstructions in the lower right of their map make things weird I, yeah i was i was thinking about that last night i need to set up ways to get to uh to get to cultists because cultists are scary you can't predict when randy's gonna go to sleep yeah but he does go to sleep uh yeah yeah we're gonna we're gonna build like a standard base in this one that i haven't done in a while any plans for the first non-exploratory anomaly run yet i'm really wanting to do melee gods versus anomaly I don't know if they can do it, and I think it would be absolutely crazy. So I think my third run might actually be Melee Gods versus Anomaly. Melee Gods versus Void Gods. Bring your clones and cryogenic caskets until you get what you need to op it's optimal. Probably unless they have resurrect or uh, unless they have duplicate sickness, because then you'd have to put the other in. But if they have like crumbling mind or organ decay, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, Crumbling Mine, as far as I'm aware right now, you need Healer Mech Serum. And then Organ Decay, you just need to replace those organs. So if you don't have the organs in stock and you get a good clone out and they have Organ Decay, you could always free or, you know, put them in the cryogenics, whatever. Technically, in the Anomaly, you need to... Uh, there's two choices at the end. You can either embrace the Void or you can cut it off. Can... Luciferium cure organ decay. Uh, it it should be able to, but Luciferium on average, or at best case scenario, heals one thing per 15 days, and full body organ decay is in three or four organs, so uh, they'd probably be probably dead by the time it hit all of them, right? I feel like I missed the reply when I asked about the ending of the game. If I did, just Free to come back. You're loving the Chimera Squad run. The Orc adjacent melee gotcha. 
All right, Gray Paul is clearing up. Okay, so we are going to go out. When when is uh, this stuff out here resetting? I really like that new song. I think that's one of my favorite. That might be my favorite non P music Rimworld song. All entities are scary aside from Harbinger trees, which there are tree bros. Melee gods versus void god sounds very cool. Yeah, you just you think that because you think you're gonna get in as the first melee god again, which I might. I'm actually thinking about dropping three melee gods from the original run at the start. Is this the ritualist run? This is the ritualist run. Uh finger spikes can infect your pawns with metal horrors. Yeah, they can. They can. They can. Uh, you got one with crumbling mines, so yeah, you're gonna put them on ice, so to speak, until you can find some, hopefully, healer mech serum, yeah. Yeah, it's not a bad idea, I don't think. But yeah, we're doing a ritualist run, so if you haven't seen, ritualists get bonuses to the, uh, anomaly rituals, but their research is extremely slow. Not only do we have extremely slow research, but we're also tribal research. So our research is ungodly slow, and how have we been countering that? We've been going to town and buying schematics at, on cooldown. Every time the towns have new stuff in stock, we go buy new schematics <laughs> so pretty two ponds be alive in the end for the run carpet making is done oh that's from a book yeah see that was that's a schematic we just finished so yeah the ending of my first nolly run was in insane that was a that was an incredibly intense climate adjuster no incredibly intense Time to make some people upset. No, I'm not going. I I'll fill these in so people don't get upset. I don't want to answer a bunch of questions this time. <laughs> when run Ritual and Human single phase mechs. Ritual and Human would be really good, actually. Yeah. Single phase and mechs. I I was talking about the last couple days that eventually I'm going to do an ultimate Rimworld run, where we do every single ending, and maybe we'll do the anomaly ending on every step of the Arco Nexus, so we can get three Void touched people. We'll have Singlephage and Mechanitor and Psy casting and Royals rooms. Ew, I know. Melee Gods versus a Spear. Who would win? I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's right. We could end up having Noctil spawn in there. Yeah, it's true. So pro probably for the best either way. I need a huge all endings run. Yeah, that people would ask me for another 20 year run. I think that would be a 20 year run. <laughs> Is non-violet pawn able to use portable turrets? No, they can equip them, but can't drop them. I think that's a bug. I actually reported it. So, uh, incapable of violence pawns can put on turret packs, but can't drop the turret pack. They can, however, use flares. Wish the rituals didn't require biofarite. Yeah, uh, there's only one that doesn't, I believe, and that's the uh, provoke ritual. It's a little unfortunate because then it means you have to, you pretty much have to have entities contained, right? And the single phage mechanator void. And you have a single phage mechanator void touched guy. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't that be crazy? Does it play for endings? Watching an ultimate run sounds cool. Yeah, that would be crazy. I might do that. I feel, I would feel bad for the editor if they, if we try to put that in an edited con, like the single phage run took them a long time to edit. And that was like a 15 year run. Um, I can't imagine an ultimate run, like 25 year run. <laughs> How feasible is it to buy? Fer I haven't seen Bioferrite for sale. Have you guys seen it? I haven't, I haven't looked though. You do get Bioferrite from some of the enemies that you kill, mainly like metal horrors. So, which is my favorite void power that I've seen? Oh, I don't know. There's some really crazy ones. I guess you're talking about like the creep joiner ones. I'm not sure. The one that makes people run in horror is pretty awesome. Um, turning people into, or the one that just instantly kills a flesh beast can be pretty good, but flesh beasts aren't super strong anyway. Um, the alchemist one is really neat. Like, yeah, I don't know. You haven't seen a trader selling biofair? Yeah, me either. I haven't specifically looked though. Where'd all the silver rewards go? I turned them off for the launch of this because I, I can't keep up with them during this. What? Cast streams? Oh yeah, my pleasure. Thank you, Corey. 
Metallo, thank you for the 33 months. L, 33 months also. Zusha, 19 months. Thank you again. Any advantage in using three blackboards? Yes. Here. Whoops. Um, that's where else can, uh, you can have three blackboards connected to the same. Where does it show it? Why doesn't it show it in here anymore at the desk or did it? But anyway, three blackboards can connect to the same desk. Did they change this UI? I swear it was in here. Is it cause he's sitting at it? Yeah, three. Yeah, there you go. You can, you can tell the lines. Anyway, it caps out. It's, uh, oh, or, or... yeah, yeah, there it is. <laughs> It's 160% bonus. I was hovered over literally the wrong thing. I'm still half asleep. Anyway, it caps out at uh, three out of three. So you, you can't have more than that, but that is the, uh, uh, that you always want to have three, right? They're really cheap. Might as well put them up there. So yeah, each one um, increases it by 20% up to a total of 160. I don't know why I was looking up here and was convinced like it used to be right here when it's not, but. Play for, uh... Did you ever do a run with all the DLC at the same time? I already have, yeah. My first, and so is this one. My first anomaly run that we already beat had all DLC. This one has all DLC. So yes, Apollo Trades run would be fun. Royal Void touched. We kind of just finished Apollo Trades run. <laughs> it wasn't. It was by. Oh, speaking of, I'm wearing one of my. I'm wearing my Dune shirt today. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, it wasn't meant to be, but it ended up that way. Not exactly what you're talking about, but should you work like that in real life? Bliss lobotomy is done. Uh, Biocrite shaping. Okay, man, they get through this study stuff quickly. We are researching the cube right now, which is, uh, you know, dangerous, dangerous. They were dangerous. Oh, you know what? We can make art this run. Last run, we couldn't make art because we were inhuman. Everyone lost their ability. Basically, they had a minus 12 art, so. We'll eventually make some art too. Happy Friday. It's Friday? Maybe it's Friday for you. Gun Kit, welcome back in. Welcome back in. Uh, We're actually low in food after that winter, surprisingly. I mean, we have a lot of pemmican, but low in raw food. Uh, with these extra mouths to feed and the donkeys. So we want to overgrow during the season. And I'm just going to throw down. going to throw down a bunch of potatoes in random spots. Screw it. Screw it. Where's of inhuman mean? Oh, it's so good. Yeah. You trade? No, 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 no. That's not all you trade for. <laughs> it might look like that on the surface. Inhuman don't get the downsides from all of the void stuff. So you don't just get eight mood. You get, you can take serums with like no downside. You can have the sleep suppressor thing with no mood hit. You can have the frenzy suppressor or the frenzy inducer, no mood hit. Uh, the hum, the evil hum of the other uh, things like the power generator, no mood hit. Like it's, it's really good. And you don't have to worry about uh, social problems. Of course, you don't get any social positives but they don't do social interaction. So I didn't get any like social fights or rebuffs or worrying about any of that. Yeah, Inhuman is incredibly good. You can just chug, you can basically, you can chug elixirs with no, no problem. You can have Inhuman people um, using all those elixirs. Like Juggernaut Elixir usually gives you a minus 10 mood. Minus 10 mood. Guess what? No mood hit on them. They can use Dread Leather without caring. They can eat the, the, the meat, twisted meat. Yeah, Inhuman is actually really, really strong. We're on a Monday? Yeah, yeah, but I am for the launch. I'll get Psycast to run. I haven't decided yet. You still research you in Thermal 20 year run? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, no, we finally finished it. We finally finished it. Hey. We're getting there. We're getting there. I think we're going for this run. Uh, ritualist. Yeah, we're doing a ritual tribal ritualist. Anyone fascinated by the cube? A couple people. Inhuman is one of the new, like, top memes for, like, min-max. Yeah, it's crazy good. The serums are really good, and having no downside to them, really, is in itself, like, nuts. All right. So we really need steel. Really need steel. So I'm a little bit scared to go out here. 
but we gotta have it. Get all this done. Fact, let's go ahead and put down geothermal. Cards against inhumanity. Craft a bunch of that for your finale. Oh yeah, those, the serums are crazy good. You can have inhuman people running around basically on permanent go juice with no mood, no mood hit, no problems with it at all, and they can never break down. It's crazy. Like mind numb serum plus juggernaut serum with with basically no downside, right? No mood hit, nothing. It's crazy. Nice virtue and inhuman is very strong if you don't care about comfort or social. Great for low wealth as well. Yeah. I mean, if you can get to the point where you're chugging mind numb serums, you don't have to worry about mood ever. So it doesn't even matter. N none of it matters. Also, inhuman don't care about paste. Like, they don't care about corpses by default. It's really strong. The only the only reason that anything is stronger than inhuman as far as beams go, for like a mid-max beam, is because of production specialist. If, if human primacy didn't have production specialist then there would be no contender for other top meme at all from, from a min-max standpoint. Yeah, Inhuman don't care about beauty. They don't uh, They don't care if they ever go outside. So they're basically all tunnelers without the downside. Like, it, they're crazy. Use Mind Numb on one of your pawns lost his daughter. Mechs can't emerge from lakes. No, uh, the, the water mechs emerge from... Creeks, rivers, and oceans. Cubism is back. Oh, we beat the cubism run. But the cube is back. And human honey badger. Go Thomas. Man, we've had quite a bit of a disease in this run. What's gold, shiny, and squared? So the, the HD cube emote that I put on Twitch uh, has been my most used emote by a lot across Twitch. So you get stats of like, what which one of your emotes, which one of your three emotes are used the most on your channel and which ones are used on, um, on other channels. And the cube is now the most used on and off my channel, my emotes. Why is the queue closed at the moment? Because it's, it, because there's, you'll never get in. There's like 4,000 names in the queue and it's not a, it's not working as a raffle right now. So if you're buying a queue, you're 4,000th 4, pawn in line. And so all it does is like spam chat with joining the queue. So I disabled it until we figure out uh, getting the bot fixed. That's what you meant. Yeah, the cube itself is back. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Can we put Anomaly in a drop pod? No, you cannot. Say this expansion is still worth getting for those that don't really like horror. If you want more threats in your game, if you like if you like RimWorld because of the threats and the challenges, then I would say absolutely. If you are someone that does it more as just like a base builder, then maybe not. Oh, uh, let's check for books. We don't have a beacon though. I, I guess let's throw one down really quick. Schematics, what do you guys got? IDs, we might as well get it. Might as well get it if we can. Don't want to sell that pulser. We got some tea to sell, but we're using a lot of tea. I'll send you a nutrient. Uh, oh, look at that. It's painted pink. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we might want to use that for like if we get sieged or something right before we have mortars so i don't want to get rid of that um all right we're gonna sell some of the tea and hopefully these high life people don't get crazy before the next batch is in what's been going on we just started today yeah so in a weird way i would almost say like i would almost say like Ideology and biotech are more like 
RimWorld expansions and Anomaly is more like a RimWorld DLC. And I know that doesn't make it not quite doesn't quite make sense, but maybe you understand what I what I'm getting at. Like the other those two feel like massive expansions to the base RimWorld systems, whereas Anomaly feels like almost a slight spin off within the engine. So Got music rocks. How far are your research overall gone this run? Uh, thanks to the schematics, we're not doing too bad, but let's remember we're on to year three. We're two and a half years in, and we just finished geothermal. <laughs> you got the alchemist to join you? Yeah, yeah. The transmute when the transmute skill is pretty uh pretty crazy. Push this. Any more old check weapons? The nerve spiker. Yeah, the nerve spiker is the best of the new three weapons. For sure. Most usable, for sure, I think. A lot of plants. We're middle two confirmed now. I'm tagging. It's so much fun. Add so much new content. Different ways to play. Yeah, lots of variety of those. Yeah. What are those big dark masses on the map? Oh, those are uh, splotches of revenant gore. What's my wealth? Uh, 69,000. Would I keep anomaly on for non anomaly focused runs? Uh, yes, I would. And the main reason is turret packs. Turret packs, for my general playstyle, turret packs may, might be the strongest thing they've ever added to the game. And you might be like, strongest item. And you might be like, oh, there's no way. There's no way. I would use the turret packs if they de dealt zero damage. They don't even have to deal damage. You, you, they add those, they take the turret packs and they put them to zero damage and they make them cost five times as much. I still use them. And... There's two reasons. There's two reasons why I say that about the turret packs. Let me show you. So here they are. There's two reasons I say that about the turret packs. One is because the, the extreme utility of them is so good because enemies attack them instead of your pawns. So if you're kiting, even if you're standing your ground, you can throw these turret packs down, these single use turret packs, and enemies will fight them first. And then when they blow up, they are like a frag grenade. So that alone is very, very strong. Uh, screw the damage. They don't do much damage. I don't even care if they do any damage. But raiders will attack them instead of your pawns. Super, super strong. And then the other, I guess, maybe is more of a problem is there's not a lot you can mass produce in that item slot. Like, I would actually ra like them to add more utility items that we can craft in, like, the base game or outside of anomaly research that um, makes us make a... A better choice here like i mean foam packs who cares toxic packs eh whatever and they don't hold a candle to these the utility of these so um yeah like imagine if you could have some other stuff like nets or something right like net the enemy with with a with a pack that you have like, there's a lot of options right but anyway the turret packs have such extreme utility in my play style of generally kiting a lot uh, it's it's crazy. Like, for instance, on the first run, we would have, like, a giant mech cluster. Not cluster. A giant mech breach coming. I can take everyone out, put them in a row, and throw down, like, five of these little turrets, which cost me ten components, right? And steel is whatever in the late game. And the mech breaches stand there and try to attack the turrets, and we just gun them all down without getting any damage. It's uh, They are super good utility because of the aggro they pull. Yeah, smoke packs are kind of not great either. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, smoke... any Anything shooting through smoke loses accuracy. So your pawns, if you throw down smoke, it's basically for a retreat or for fighting mech clusters. If you throw down smoke, your pawns miss more of their shots too. Have I got any friendly fire? No, because I'm, I've been careful the direction I throw them in. Uh, Core, thank you for the 7 months. Minoc, thank you for the 111 bits. Zero, 20 months. Thank you, Zero. I use the turret packs like uh, a decoy that deals a little bit of damage. A decoy that also deals a little bit of damage and it becomes a frag grenade. And they're very strong for that. They explode. Uh, they seem to have a high... I, I haven't 100% checked, but they seem to have a high chance of exploding when they, when they take enough damage, yeah. Because I've also used them against bugs, basically as as frag grenades. That's worked out really well. Yeah, they're really good. They're uh, they're my 
I wish they were 1.5 and not anomaly added. All right, packs pull aggro from mech turrets. Uh, I haven't tested them, but I bet they would. Uh, disease, disease. Don't tell Tynan he'll nerf the turrets. Yeah. Yeah, you might be right. <laughs> Monday stream, that's right. That's right. A lot of people don't know that I'll be streaming on Monday, so I, I doubt we're going to have as many, but that's fine. Thank you guys for being here. Thoughts on cloning for ghouls? Uh, ghouls are actually really good meat shields, uh, and they retain traits. So if you're going to clone someone, uh, the best one would be something like this. Check this out. Tough Nimble. So my thoughts are we can clone Lizard. And if he ends up with crumbling mind, once we get ghoul research, we don't have it in this run yet because you don't start with it unless you do the anomaly uh, scenario. But my thoughts are we clone lizard. If he turns out good, we just keep another lizard. And if he doesn't, if he has crumbling mind or something like that or duplication sickness, we just turn him into a ghoul. So I really hope we get the ghoul event soon because we have some shards ready. Knowing Tynan, he might remove the aggro of the turrets. That would suck. Yeah, I would. I would hate that. I am all. I'm generally of the opinion that in most games, that I would rather them buff other things to make it more of a choice than nerf things. Right? Unless something's like disgustingly overpowered. The turrets aren't disgustingly overpowered. They're very good, but there's nothing that competes with them in that slot. So there's just, there's. I would much rather them just like make some other stuff good like make it so the smoke from smoke packs are different and that they may it reduces enemy accuracy but not your own pawns or something right like stuff like that or make it so smoke packs um the enemy literally can't shoot into them so you can use it as a as a running away mechanic things like that and then yeah immediately that competes with it and i would i would start using some of those as, as well like that's what i prefer when when developers do make other things good enough that you have to make the decision which one you want to use because they're another gray Paul. It wouldn't just ended. Um, rather than just like nerfing something because it's used a lot. Clone is an anomaly feature. Yes. Duplication. Yep. Uh, Durr, thank you for the brand new sub. Thank you, Durr. Your phone didn't notify you. It probably is a surprise I'm on on a Monday as well. <laughs> Yeah, jump packs are, are decent Yeah, uh, on melee pawns and stuff, but I would rather have a turret pack at this stage, honestly. Would it make smoke OP when in raiders' hands? Yeah, but you don't. they can make it so raiders don't have smoke packs. Raiders don't have turret packs. I would rather there be more... Yeah, I'd rather there be more options, good options for the player, than making it so also the turrets aren't an option. What is it? The three air conditioners in the door. I'm not using it this run, but you can vent up to three air conditioners into a single door. To get rid of the heat. Do turret packs generate stories? They can generate stories, all right. How would I buff flame weapons? Um, I would change how fire works in RimWorld. I would make it so that enemies on fire either still have collision or they flee away from away from the area that set them on fire. Man, they get this done so fast. It's crazy. Turret packs are on the DLC or part of the update? DLC. Turret packs, pay to win. No. <laughs> other ideology, do you have any other DLCs interact with Anomaly? Um, not really, aside from the pa the fact that the, the like psychic sensitivity that you can get from rituals like philophagy or not philophagy um uh, let me let me pull it up what's it called what's it called uh it is philophagy no 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 psychophagy uh the the psychic sensitivity that you get from these things help with psychasting 
Pillow is the one that steals experience. What's my game plan? We're testing out uh, kill boxes. We did a run with no kill boxes against Anomaly already, and now we are... Oh my god, Raven. This is your fourth kid. Another Winston wave run to clear the queue. Uh, no idea. Winston wave is broken at the moment, so no, no time soon. Ancient angels can be full of anomaly. Uh, they can be full of flesh beasts. Yeah. Raven is a breeding specialist. Gower, thank you for the 28 months. Thank you, Gower. Yeah, uh, no Winston waves anytime soon. But it isn't about clearing out the queue. It's about fixing it so it's not a queue anymore again because we're we need to switch it back to the raffle. Where can you find my mods? You can find them right here. No pause mod. <laughs> uh, Fabio, check the description on YouTube if you want. But I basically don't use mods, not really. Tell me why your warehouse is outside. Don't things rot faster? No, that's the entire point of shelves before they could hold more stuff. Things don't rot on shell. Things don't decay on shelves. That's like here, here's some leather, see? So that was the entire point of shelves before they made them a triple stack in 1.4. So for anyone that hasn't played the game for a long time, shelves used to not hold any more than a single spot, uh, like a like a, a zone, you know, like a stockpile zone. And so the entire point of shelves were to get things to not spoil if you had a shelf outside or to uh, get rid of the beauty hit from something being on the floor. That was it. So yeah, you can put shelves outside and things don't spoil on shelves because they won't spoil because of the rain. They won't spoil from being outdoors. Um, that's one of the good things about shelves. They will still be uh, get deterioration from, um, from toxic fallout. But as far as from just being outside and as far as from rain, no, they don't deteriorate. You know that? Yeah, that was the entire purpose of shelves. Uh, it's sometimes, um, sometimes I, f I forget that there's so many people that have come to RimWorld since the shelf change. The shelf change is relatively recent. RimWorld is 10 years old, and for the, for the vast majority of RimWorld's uh, life, shelves didn't hold any additional overstock piles. Like, in single shelves running in the game. So used to, until pretty recently, there was only double shelves and a double shelf held two items. And their entire purpose was to make things not deteriorate in the rain or outdoors or unroofed or whatever. And to get rid of the beauty hit of stuff on the floor. That was it, that was their only purpose. It wasn't for holding additional stuff like they are now. But yeah, it's, um, like I said, it's, it's easy for me to forget because for the majority of RimWorld's life, that's just how it was. Is there a reason not to use... Not to use what? Hugo? Then to be on the old shelves. Oh, right, right, yeah, yeah. I used to do that with like EMPs and stuff. Shelves had such a weird initial use. Yeah, I, I hardly ever used them aside from like putting shells outside near the mortars or an EMP or something. Starfield's having cube obsession again. We got it. Uh, he's already at 94%. We got to get rid of this friggin' cube. They were like, hey, blast me. So why make one by one shelves? They're more modular. I prefer them. Use whichever ones you want, but I use I use them because they're more modular. So I, I can just move them and put them anywhere I want without having to rotate or think about it at all. Get rid of Starfield. Don't touch the cube. <laughs> yeah, so what, what do you mean, Hugo? I'm guessing that was a typo. Is there a reason not to use solos? Oh, shelves, shelves. You mean shelves? The only reason not to use shelves um, is if you don't have the material or if you... Um, uh oh. If you don't have the material or hang on one second okay um or you don't want the extra wealth of shelves however they removed shelf quality so shelves no longer have a quality in 1.5 so now there's basically no reason yeah 
Very little. They're they're not much wealth anymore. Oh, you meant solo shells. I gotcha. Yeah, use whichever one you want. I use the single shells. A lot of people are just are used to using doubles. So they just use them. Whatever. Maybe serum. I'm not sure. Otrin. Thank you for the four months. Thank you, Otrin. And there's some things that can't go on shelves still, right? You never know what to do first. You always end up getting raided by people and you don't have any weapons. Uh, if you are there, you got two options. If you are relatively new to the game or whatever, or you're having, let's say you're having trouble surviving because of raids, you have two options. You can turn down your difficulty and then work on improving at the game if you want. The other option is to start learning about wealth management. I have a wealth management guide up on YouTube. But basically, the higher wealth you have, and the more colonists you have, and the more animals you have, those three things, basically, the bigger... Oh no, we're going to get the corpse already too? Anyway, um, the more of those three things you have, the bigger your raids are going to be. Biosculpting. This has got to be the corpse, right? Shaping the future of biosculpting, a Stygian controversy. I'd use single shelves as pet bowls or kibble and stuff too. Yeah, shelves are good. And uh, does, do people walk slower over shelves? No, not not really. So I'll, let me explain that really quick too, how it works. It's, this is also a misconception that I see a lot. He's building another one. And, and you can, if you just like how it looks, that's fine. Build it however you want. All right, here, here's the example that I'll give you. So this is how it works in RimWorld, and this is not just with shelves. So you have your shelves spaced out, right? If a pawn is walking from here to here, this is not how you would have it set up, but just as an example to, to tell you how it works. If you have a pawn walking from here to here through this tunnel, when they get to this shelf, it slows them down, and then they go back to normal speed, and then they get to this shelf, and it slows them down. However... If you have things that are side by side, not just shelves, if you have things side by side, they will get slowed down for a second when they hit the first shelf, and then they go normal speed over all the rest. So the only one that gives them any kind of slowing at all is the first one. You can kind of think of it, and it works with like chunks. Like, like this is another example. If, if these chunks were dotted and someone goes across, they get slowed down on the first, they go normal, they get slowed down on the next one. But if they're in a row, they only get slowed on the first one, and then they go normal speed over the rest. So you can think of it or remember it easily by thinking, okay, well here they have to do it like hurdles. They're having to get up and down over every single thing. But on here, they only get on top of the first one and they run across them. So you do not have to spread your shelves out. It will, it's, it's like, it will not matter at all. Some people just like to because of how it looks and they'll leave like hallways through their shelves. You don't have to do that. Shelves aren't walls. So you can just pack shelves in and it will only slow people down when they touch the first shelf and then they'll go to normal speed over all the others. And it works like that with anything. That That's the reason why slowing tunnels have it every other. Um, so yeah, this, they only get slowed off the first one. I don't really care off the first one. What happened to the last run? We finished it. We won. Uh, it's up on YouTube on the live tab if you want to see the ending. The ending was crazy. Like, no exaggeration. Probably the craziest ending I've had on any game ever. Are shelves human? No. <laughs> Warning for when the corpse might revive. Uh, there is a warning when you have only a couple days left. I'm actually thinking about waiting to accept this till the maximum time because... You know what? I need to knock some of the stuff out, the faster stuff, so that we get more... Uh, we get more of the schematics for things that take more experience. Um... Anyway, until we are further along with cube study, because we're only on tier one of the cube study. This run, we'll probably see what clicking disrupt does. Is a crematorium worth building for reducing wealth from corpses? It depends on the, the theory of your game. You can definitely do that if you have the power to support it. Oh no, now another person's obsessed. Look how many cubes you already have. Um... You have other options too, though. You can dump them in a bog like I'm doing. This is the fifth cube they're building. Why you don't have tinned option in the open field? Draft your pawn. Your pawn has to be a doctor and drafted. Or set for medical and drafted. 
I have a guide on research order. I don't have that at the moment, no. There's a reason why the tree is next to the monolith. Uh, yeah, it's to make it beautiful so the people out here studying it have beauty nearby. Is there no way to force the Nokia sphere to spawn? There is if you haven't had it yet. So basically, if you haven't had a specific entity spawn in your current tier, using a uh, provoke ritual will spawn one of them. So if we use the provoke ritual right now, we'll either get flesh beasts or a ghoul. So if you're in this tier and you haven't got the sphere yet, you can use provoke. Um, I'm going to use provoke in this one if Cassandra doesn't send a ghoul in, a, in her next wave. Uh, and we're done with the outer walls. Already have the cube? Yeah, we got the cube pretty early this time. Best tips for a tribal start? It's going to really depend on your map. But I will say don't overlook great bows. You can end up using great bows to pull sieges, early sieges and things like that. Uh, I would immediately craft some recurve bows over short bows and then think about getting some some great bows as well. But uh, a lot of times tribal can just be about getting your early food down and getting research uh, blasted out with a bunch of research benches and using a very simple setup like this. Defend. Low food, yeah. Yeah, I see. But we have a lot of food about to come in. Do I have chairs at your research tables? Chairs only give comfort. Comfort is an average throughout the day. Our people are... Our people are happy enough that we don't need the extra comfort right now. It doesn't matter. So, chairs don't do anything for... Like, re like, speed of crafting or anything like that. Should your bad shooters still be getting SMGs? It depends on what your other options are. So, basically, heavy SMGs get most of their damage from being closer to the enemy. So, since it gets most of its accuracy from range rather than from shooting skill in comparison to a lot of weapons, heavy SMGs are still great on bad shooters. But if you're not if you're not fighting close by, then you still don't want to use SMG. Like I don't use them very much anymore because I outrange. So, like, if I have eight shooters and seven of them are good and one of, or let's say six of them are good and two of them are bad, but I'm using assault rifles, putting two SMGs on the bad shooters, they're just never going to be fighting because they're, we're going to be too far back. So it depends on your situation. But in general, heavy SMGs are one of the best and highest damage guns for close range in the game. And they get most of their accuracy from being closer rather than from skill. So yeah, they're, heavy SMGs are still great on anyone at close range. Why am I growing potatoes and rice right now? Because I need work efficiency. I don't have a lot of ponds to harvest this much stuff. The potatoes are more work efficient. What's with all the diseases today? It's our third disease already. LMG versus minigun. LMGs are terrible and miniguns are good. LMG is one of the worst weapons in the game and miniguns are good. Is it worth trying to cure alcohol addiction if you have enough beer? I wouldn't worry about it too much. What do I think of the anomaly traits? You can only get anomaly traits on creep joiners. They're all really crazy strong, but you can't have them on your own pawn, so. Unfortunately, they're really good. Does healing enhancement work on ghouls? I believe so, yep. Yeah. Other bionics like that work on them, so I would I would say so. Heavy SMG or chain shotguns? Heavy SMG does more DPS at face-to-face -face range than even a chain shotgun with bad shooters. But they're both great. Yeah, they're both great. So basically, if whatever range you're building around, like if, if you build around a certain range for your run or, or theme around a certain range, there's generally one or two weapons for each range that are pretty good or even like the best at that range. At close range, it's pretty much... Yeah, the it's pretty much heavy SMGs and shotguns, chain shotguns. 
you just finished the first anomaly playthrough of mine and that ending i'm telling you i i hope people don't think i'm telling you that the ending of my first anomaly run was insane and the the craziest ending of any game i've played before just to get you to watch it i'm not like uh i will remember that forever and it was as close as you can possibly get like literally click to the credits as we are losing click to the credits as we are everyone's dead or like half people are dead the rest of the people are dying we're being surrounded by like 130 metal horrors 100 devourers like 300 gore hulks like there's no way to win and then we go to the credits <laughs> it was so crazy is the hellcat rifle decent no not really the hellcat rifle is basically basically an auto pistol that has two charges of fire and fire kind of isn't great in room world in general so you were lucky i was very lucky and unlucky at the same time i 100 percent thought we had lost is the research manageable or are we struggling with it in this run uh thanks to thanks to the um schematics it's actually relatively manageable yeah, you could hear the rest of the people dying as this credit music was was going. The darkness and the flares added to the suspense as well, yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't... We'll, we'll get another chance at this. I don't want to accept it because I don't want to have to have us get through the cube and the corpse at the same time, so... So I'll just wait on it. We can provoke the corpse if we want. Stream you were talking about the peaceful village colony. You want to show a friend? Oh, I don't know when that was. Um, Boots, you might. There might be a trick where you can find it. Boots, if you go to the um, YouTube stream from yesterday and you click on the transcript, so there's a way to click on the transcript and Control F for village. You might be able to find it, and the transcript gives timestamps for for every closed caption. So you might be able to find it pretty easy that way. Hopefully you under I'm, I'm sure you understand what I mean, but if not, let me know. What is four times speed mode? It's my no pause mod. No pause also gives four speed. I don't like the new crossbow. The new crossbow is the best of the three new weapons. It's a it's a really good utility weapon. It's a really good utility weapon. Uh, do we have extra wood here? Okay. So for anyone that hasn't seen the new crossbow. Or its stats. The new crossbow has one less range than an assault rifle, which is pretty good. It has 30 range. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it fires quickly. It's very accurate, and it stuns biological targets. Uh, biological targets do end up getting uh, adapted to it, but the adaption doesn't last very long. Uh, it, basically, every other hit will stun a human, which is pretty pretty good. So yeah, the new crossbow is definitely a great utility item to sprinkle in, especially with the, it. It works especially well with assault rifles because it's basically the same range. My face when the devourers ate like 10 people. Oh, man. Painless plasma sword in ancient danger. Would you use it if you had a brawler in this playthrough? No, I would not. Because everything that that brawler sets on fire no longer has collision and just walks through him. Why are not growing so much food? This map has a long winter, so we need to stockpile food, and I'm planning on getting more colonists. You think you can have an army of them without big game performance hits? The ghouls? I think so. Does 500% mean raids are five times bigger? Basically. Raids scale five times faster. Cult Kid! Wow, Cult Kid! Let's see what you get. You are getting really unlucky. I guess body modder in the long run. Wow. we He's getting really unlucky. He's getting these top growth tier and then not getting good, good choices. He's growing up so fast. ISD PS weapon. Theoretically. Minigun. All right, Colt kid. So two crossbows can stun lock anything organic? No, it doesn't work that way. Just like two EMP grenades can't stun lock anything that's not organic. So basically how it works is 
when the toxin is high enough to stun the biological target, they become adapted for a short amount of time. And then when they're no longer adapted, the next buildup will stun them again. So it's kind of like um, a biological EMP. Single target. In a 30-60 growing, would 40 grow zones per pawn work? If everything was was planted and harvested immediately, I guess so, yeah. And only simple meals and no, nothing ever burned or anything like that. I suppose so. Not only add so much creepy darkness to the game, yeah. Is Night Owl not good? Night Owl trade is not good, no. Not really. I have a tr traits guide and tier list up on YouTube. If you want to ever check it out. But generally speaking, I'd rather not have Night Owl than have it. So. Is this version bug free? I'm sure there are still bugs, yeah. I don't I don't know what though. I haven't ran into any bugs in this playthrough. Do I have a base building guide? I do not, no. Is a legendary masterwork mini gun better than assault rifle? No, and also yes. Like, that's the thing about weapons in RimWorld, is it's not just cut and dry. So in certain situations, it will be better, but in others not. I would rather have a normal assault rifle than a legendary minigun if I'm kiting. Because a minigun, when you fire, you basically self-stun. They go through the entire fire animation, and then they have a long cooldown and warm-up time. So it's basically a self-stun. So you can't kite with them, right? However, if you have a kill box that's set up specifically for a minigun and you're firing into a group of centipedes, the minigun is absolutely going to do way more damage than the assault rifle. So they're both good guns, but they're both they're both vastly different, right? So that's why I was saying like there are several guns that are kind of the, the best guns in their range tier. And then you use them based on your personal preference, what you want to build around, how your base is set up, things like that. So miniguns are really good, but they really shine in a um, semi-long range kill box sort of scenario, especially in groups of uh, large body targets like centipedes or chimera and stuff like that. And a lot of it's because of the self-stun. Yeah, the Revenant bug from the first playthrough. Yeah, that sucked. Hangover. Thank you for the four months. Thank you, Hangover. Much appreciated. Yeah, it, again, like, it, it's become like a meme with RimWorld, but in, in the channel in general, where the answers are always it depends. But that's generally the answer for most things. Now, some of it is pretty cut and dry, right? Like, if you're saying, well... What about a Magnum? What about the revolver versus an assault rifle? Well... Yeah, the assault rifle is you you're going to use that instead every time, right? So so there are some things that are kind of cut and dry, but for the most part it depends. EMP grenade also works on the revenant. Yes, it works on the revenant. That's what we used it against ours in this one. In fact, in the revenant's information it specifically says EMP grenades. So yes, EMP works on revenant. That's how we hunted all three revenants in this playthrough so far. What are those black patches? Speaking of, those that's Revenant Bile. Revenant Gore Pool. <laughs> What's better, a log or a doomsday? Uh doomsday, yeah. See that one's pretty cut and dry. Any tips for using no pause mod for the first time? Starting with multiple threats at once. Uh I have two tips for you, Jack, for no pause. If you're trying out no pause for the first time, uh I guess three. First off, if you're trying out no pause for the first time, Instead of using the no pause mod, you might want to just not pause your game and unbind pause on the space bar and try to make yourself so you don't pause during combat. Try try to get in the habit of not pausing during combat to kind of learn more. And if you need to pause, do it and kind of wean yourself into it if you want. If you're not that kind of person, you want to rip off the bandaid and just go all out no pause like I did. That's completely fine, too. Of course, you, you know yourself better than me. But my two real pieces of advice for if you're starting up no, no pause one, get used to triage. Triage, people will see me a lot. Like yesterday, we almost lost. We had everyone injured down here and I will click someone and go into health and I use period and comma to go through quickly. There are people in the chat that are like, what? I can't even tell. What is he even seeing? <laughs> like, So what I'm doing is I'm going through and I'm seeing who who is the closest to dying 
and it's there, and we need to draft in and triage that person um past that like if multiple people are dying i might triage tin one wound and go over to the other one so triage is very urgent in no pause so the first thing i would say get used to using period and comma and going through health to do triage in bad situations uh the other one the other big piece of advice i would give is you need to already have in mind what you're going to do for any threat that can happen because you don't have time to think about it so like right now if a siege happens i don't have I don't have a mortar, so I need to know what am I going to do if a siege happens, and I already know that. I'm going to hit my pulser. I already know I have a pulser. Siege happens, I'm hitting the pulser. Don't have to think about it. Um, so, if a mech breach spawns right now, what am I going to do? I am going to pick up, I'm going to switch out the last shotguns for the bolt action. I'm going to go out and kite the, kite the breach. Like, you need to already know what you're going to do because you don't have time to pause and think about what you're going to do when a certain threat arrives if you're doing no pause. Which biome is this? Boral Forest. Boral Forest. And they are just cruising through this. It's kind of insane. Ritualists get through studying. And we have like very few creatures. Boreal. Boreal Forest, not Brutal. No pause makes RimWorld into an RTS. Pretty much, yeah. That's that's what I like, yeah. That's what I like. So those would be my no pause things. Uh, hopefully you were still there, Jack. I know I was a little bit slow answering you, but... Those would be my three no pause tips if you want to get started in no pause. Boring old forest. <laughs> what is going on with all of the disease? Are you sickly? This is like our fourth or fifth disease event today. What the crap? Oh yeah, no worries. I, don't, uh, I try to answer all the questions. I can see them. Which anomaly enemies can drop shards? So there are some enemies that always drop a shard. And then, like the uh, sphere, for instance. Uh, and then there are enemies that basically can have shard as a loot. So kind of like how not all mechs drop components, but mech attacks will show up and sometimes some of the mechs will be holding components. So when you kill them, you get them. So it kind of works like that. Like you can get shards even from shamblers, but it's not like all shamblers drop shards. Does Inhuman have a downside? Inhuman does have a downside. Uh, the biggest downside for Inhuman is actually the reduction of social. So it becomes really hard to recruit anyone. It becomes really hard to convert. Converting is very difficult. Uh, your trading really sucks. So that's the biggest downside of Inhuman is the lack of social. What's the containment strength on, the, on this? Uh, 58. Cassandra has a cold today and she's taking it out on everyone else. Yeah, <laughs> you might be right. You're right. I don't like being over at the edge of the map in this. Oh God, mountain bases are going to be really rough, huh? Like mountain bases have got super nerfed, really. So imagine you're deep in a mountain and you have friggin' abduction cultists spawn at the other corner of the map. Man, you, and you have four hours. You have four hours to get to that single cultist. Or you, let's say you have a, and this is a, the default size map. Let's say you're on a slightly bigger map and you have your mountain base up here and the flesh heart spawns in the bottom right corner. Not to mention the Nutrifungus darkness thing, yeah. I really think they're going to end up increasing the time on the abduction ritual for enemies. Because it's, four hours is brutal. It basically means that you have to settle in the middle of the map or you have to have like 10 mortars. Mortar it. Mortars aren't accurate enough, and you only have four hours. See the crossbow? Doing great right there. Mm. 
Sinner would have probably uh, been at least partially eaten if it wasn't for the kid holding a crossbow. <laughs> Anti-grain warhead would take care of it. That's true. Yes, but what if your mortar misses? Because you have to specifically... So two things. You have to specifically hit the actual um, cultists doing the ritual. And they're in humans. They have 50% reduced pain. So if you end up, if your mortar doesn't end up specifically hitting that one tile, that one tile, and dead centering enough to actually make him be hurt enough to stop the ritual, then you're, you just lose a colonist. Uh, and again, so so like settling in the middle of the map now is more important than it used to be. Here's the labyrinth. I really like the labyrinth. Is the DLC worth a price tag? That's up to you. I, yeesh. It's one of those things where it's going to be different for everyone. For me, it's very much worth it. Like, super worth it. But I'm going to put hundreds of hours into this and do, you know, dozens of playthroughs. And also, I'm, like, not struggling for money, you know? So, like, there wasn't a time... There, there was a time not long ago where buying RimWorld and the expansions might have meant I couldn't have dinner for a night or something, right? But... So it's very relative to the person. I would say if you don't already do this, I used to do this a lot, especially when money was tighter uh, a long time ago. I would think of everything um, in relation to how much money I was making per hour and what else it costs the same as. So with like the RimWorld expansion, it's like, all right, the RimWorld expansion for me here would be the same as if me and my family got pizza for a night. If we were tight on money, would we skip getting pizza one night so that I could have this expansion to play for hundreds of hours? And the answer would have been yes. The answer would have been yes. But it might be... The answer might be no for, me, for you, right? How many Subway sandwiches? Yeah, I used to do that all the time. Yeah, honestly. When they were $5. Oh my god, those were the days. Five. Five dollar foot long. Any, any, any. How many meals worth skipping? And again, currency can be... So not only is it super dependent on, on you. Oh my god, Starfields. He's got to be at 100%. Yeah. We got to get this done, guys. Ready to study. Who's doing it? Raven. Let's go. Uh, anyway, uh, it can also depend on where you're from too, right? So like... Yeah, I don't know. But do I think for me it's worth it? I think for me it's worth it, yeah. I've I've thoroughly enjoyed it. My first playthrough was so crazy, and the ending was so memorable and so amazing that if I had done no more playthroughs, that one playthrough would have been worth the price for me. You want Subway now? $5 foot long is such a throwback. Now it's 6 for 6 Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I don't think we'll ever... Man, we still haven't gotten to the next part of the cube. Ouch. Uh, I don't think we'll ever be back to $5 footlongs, unfortunately. What are the infested plants in the living room for? These are just daylilies. Yeah, they're not infected or infested. They're for beauty. It's making this very impressive. How much do I value flooring for mood buff? Depends on the... Floor would make them less happy in here. $50 foot long. If I put flooring in here, the barracks is no longer very impressive. Yeah, now you're lucky if you get a deal for a $10 foot long, yeah. It depends. Drifter! Here we go. Which one are they? They have a natural healing. But they could also implant a metal horror. Do we have anyone that it's worth? Oh, can we? Hang on. Do we have duplication coming up? 11 days. I don't know if it's worth it. We have no brain injuries or anything. Disturbing. Snipe is a peculiar person who seems fixated on horrendous ideas. Talking to her is often upsetting. So she's going to make people unhappy. If she has the metal horror, we can make sure she's not doctoring or cooking. If we can keep her around for 11 days, 
for the cloning, we can then use unnatural healing on the clone. I'm not sure if unnatural healing can actually install the parasite either, though. It might can. Usually I have different eyes, yeah. We also would need to convert them, so I think I will accept them, and hopefully we can have them stay around for the clone. Five dollar foot long, yeah, it was it was nice, man. They used to have, someone used to have that running all the time, probably in the early two thousands, I would say. In a generational series with semi-random research mod, maybe I'm not opposed to it. All right, we're gonna accept them and hopefully, hopefully we don't get a metal horror. Snipe having terrible shooting never gets old. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. For anyone that didn't see, my pawn is now in the game. The wary looking drifter stretches her legs. She seems very tired. She has to stay in your colony for a while, at least until she can recover her strength. She offers to use her healing power to help you. She may be very useful, but you also sense there's something Snipe isn't telling you. Okay, Vess. We're gonna... Convert them. Uh, yeah, so for anyone that doesn't know, if you have if you have the newest version of RimWorld, if RimWorld is completely up to date, you can go in, you can find my pawn just in the game now. Um, but if you want to make it so my pawn appears more often, if you don't want to just wait around looking for it, I'll show you it. Go into options, go into gameplay, click on uh, preferred name and game characters, and just type versus, and there there I am. So if, if you click this, my pawn will show up in all of your games. It'll be a world pawn in all your games. You'll see it very often, uh, but you can just come across it. And when you see the name floating, you're going to just see the name as versus spelled out. So if you end up finding my pawn, you know, if you want to post in uh, in Discord of how terrible or great I am, my pawn is, uh, you know, that, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Someone, a couple people did that yesterday. Free lungs, yeah. It doesn't have a custom background, no. You found a book that was authored by my pawn? That's really cool, yeah. That's really cool. What Do you remember what the book was? I don't want to clone the special pawn. Yeah, that's not what I'm saying. I want to keep the unnatural healer, and then I want to clone Lizard, and then if Lizard's clone comes with a health ailment, I will have the unnatural healer heal the clone. Uh, I do have my children growing faster than normal. I haven't used that before. It feels pretty decent, yeah. Why not use it on my runs as well? I probably will at some point, but... I'm not going to for this one. Because the middle... So... So basically, based... You cannot have a name in the game that couldn't be a real name. And no one in the world's last name is everything. So they wouldn't let it in. I'm in the credits now. I am in the credits room world now. Yep. Uh, Neck. Thank you for the three months. Thank you, Neck. Single phase run. Oh my god, it's so crazy. Yeah. Thank you for watching that. Sus is doing insane rambling for a few hours. We have seen that before. Start solo pawn. Will you start as Adam or wait pawn? Maybe two versions. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's a good question. Distress signal. Uh, we might could actually do the distress signal this time. If we can get her converted in time, I think I'll go do that. Oh, you know what? We should change our priest over to the actual good warden. Yeah, let's do that as well. So we're going to make you the moral guide. We've been waiting on a better moral guide. And then Starfield is going to be upset by that, but I'll have to suck it up. Playing myself on stream. Uncle Jay, 28 months, man. Thank you, Uncle Jay. Man, 28 months. So if you had asked me, hey, Adam, how long do you think I've been around on the channel? I'd been like, I don't know. Like 13 or 14 months. But I mean, I know I've seen your resubs before, but it's just like one of those things where it's flying through. All right, Vest is now our great leader. 
What is the black stuff outside? That is Revenant gore. It's from when we were hunting Revenants. Is there a follow? Uh, yeah, I think there's exclamation following. Where are we at? Research rise. We have researched geothermals finally. Mortars and... Um, we've actually got microelectronics. We got pretty lucky. Look at this. This is all from a schematic. Crazy. What would be the most interesting ending to combine with Anomaly? I think Anomaly now gives you a reason to want to get off the planet. So I think doing the Anomaly stuff and then being like, all right, screw this planet. We're going to go to orbit. We're going to nuke it from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. This 4x speed of mod, it is part of the no pause mod. Yep. No pause mod. Where is getting sniper rifle for abduction raids? Maybe. So now we have the ability to deactivate the obelisk if we want, but we're not going to. We're going to keep using it for duplication. Alt goods trader. Try. We probably want to anger them, actually. How many holding platforms should you have in one room? I found that having four in the late game feels pretty good. But the less you have per room, the less likely they are going to escape. So it's a trade-off. Uh, I, I liked in the late game having four in a room. It felt pretty manageable. I had uranium walls, biofarite flooring, uh, shard inhibitor, and even with the elect uh, electric generator and the biofarite coming from it, uh, they didn't escape too often. Like maybe once every like three years or something for most entities. The bigger entities. Shambler approach. Okay, so this is just approach. So not a big deal. Man, Starfields. We gotta get this cube stuff done. I can't send him off map until we get this done. Imagine escaping. Yeah, that's that would be kind of cool, yeah. You, you escape the planet. You go... Oh my god, again? They increased the amount of this. Um, anyway, you, you go to another planet and you land and the creepy corpse shows up. Yeah, <laughs> screw that. <laughs> Those brain scars and these with enough brain damage can't escape as well. Yeah, um, and they can get brain damage from just the process of harvesting electricity from them too. Chandlers in the game? Yeah, they're basically zombies. Elijah, think about the three months. Thank you, Elijah. Think about me calling a spot Pawn Starfield is amusing to you. Well, that, yeah, that's just the person's name, yeah. Um, Mernia, thank you for the brand new sub. Nico, thank you for the seven months as well. Does the cube event end with some raid? No, it ends with people going berserk. Ends with berserk. Okay, so we got double doors around... And we got double walls. Unfortunately, one layer of the wall is wood. But I'm not going to worry about replacing that just yet. You know what? We'll just clean that up. It's fine. No, I don't care about that traitor. Okay, so let's switch over and start our real base. Can you walk over single shelves? Yes. Shelves are not walls. Walk over any shelf. How long until this uh, resets? It is reset. Chamblers are here, though. Crap. Sight stealers are coming. We do have one... It's already revealed. They're, they're here immediately this time. Okay, everyone in. Let's get our mood up, and then we'll go kill them. Why is that music playing? Because Shambler's on the map. Okay, so Sight Stealers are here. Let's get mood up, and then we'll go kill them during the daytime. Um...
Yeah, we don't need to capture more of those ones right now. Two of it feels a little bit disappointing. Yeah, I guess one of my... Yeah, there's a shard. Nice. One of my problems with Anomaly, and again, I really like Anomaly, so, you know, don't, don't take it the wrong way. But one of my problems with it is you have to see every single entity and every single event to finish Anomaly. They're not separate scenarios. So, people have been coming in and they're like, hey, have you ran into the cube yet? And I'm like, yeah, we already beat the game, so we ran the cube. Oh, well, did, the, did you get the crazy corpse? It's like... Yeah, you get the crazy corpse every single run because it's just part of Anomaly's process. Like, you get everything. It's like, yeah, but did you, did you have a run with a flesh heart? It's like every run is with a flesh heart. So it, I would almost have rather it been that um, there was a different scenario for each of the really big ones, you know, and that those were elaborated on. Right now, you can do that with a custom scenario, but it's not intuitive for people that don't know how to set up custom scenarios. But yeah, if you've played through Anomaly all the way to the credits, with the Anomaly credits, you have seen everything. You maybe haven't experienced it in every way that you could see it, but as far as every entity, you've seen every entity. There, there's, no, there's no other entities to surprise you. There's no other entities to... Oh, finally, the cube is done. Okay, so we have to be really careful with this, though. All right. So cube research is done. We can deactivate it. However, anyone that is obsessed with the cube or anyone that has any kind of fascination with the cube is going to go berserk and we could end up killing them. It's only two. It's only two. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to do Anastasia. Yeah, we're going to put anesthetic in, give, or give both of these anesthetic. Okay. So rest. Rest. All right. So major hurts. Op operate. Operate. Okay, so they're sedated. They're sedated. Quickly, Raven, get rid of the cube. Deactivate. Yep, do it. Do it. Okay, so we had the shard to do it, luckily. Uh, now we have gold from that. So now we are done with cube stuff. Okay. For now. No, not again! Stream demands, like, firstborn sacrifices or something, yeah. The end song, yeah, the end song for the credits. I gotta tell you, it's hard for anything to beat Waiting for the Sun because of the, the lyrics and the vocals. The new ending music doesn't have any vocals, but the music is fantastic. It really reminds me of, like, almost like Command and Conquer era, like, or... Yeah, like like that that era credit music. It's it's pretty it's pretty awesome. It's like a Rubik's cube. It's like the Hellraiser cube a little bit. I think that's what that's what they said the inspiration was. I could go full golem over the cube, <laughs> run away with it, <laughs> like Hell March. Yeah. Man, I love that Hell March. From uh, from Game and Conquer. What should you do if Emerald closes immediately at startup? Uh, Chin, here's what you will you will do. Uh, I'll show you, Chin. I strongly suggest doing this if you haven't already. Open up Steam. Right click on Rimworld. Go to Properties. Go to Installed Files and click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. Click that. After it runs its course, try opening the game again and let me know if it still closes on you. Act on instinct, yeah. All right, so once they're over their sedation, we'll go try to... Oh, man, Lizard, our 
our melee blocker just got food poisoning. We're going to have to wait that out. Unfortunate, but... Just the way it goes, I suppose. Are you having pawns, Q, like 100 things? I'm not, yeah. Might, might be a mod. I haven't had that happen at all. Count someone to get their wife. Put them under. Okay, about the key. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Selby, thank you for the five months. Thank you, Selby. The storyteller is better, Cassandra or Randy. Cassandra is on average harder than Randy, but you can't unlearn Cassandra's cycle, and she is predictable because of it. So if you know how Cassandra works and you know her cycle, you know when you're completely safe and you can when you can literally take no damage because you just know how Cassandra works. So I know how Cassandra works. I know when she can and can't attack. And so because of that, I, I know when I can be safer or not. I'm trying to not look at it in this one as much. Like, I could, if I wanted, though, I could look in here and be like, okay, it's completely safe to go to the edge of the map and it's completely safe to go um, caravan right now because I know that she can't attack me. Uh, whereas Randy can't... You, you don't have that safety. However, Randy can go to sleep, whereas Cassandra can't. Randy has nothing in his files that forces him to attack. And therefore, you can get Sleepy Randy. It's it's become such, so much of a joke over the years that we have an emote for Sleepy Randy. And he can go to sleep for literally years. It, it's very unlikely, but it's not uncommon for Randy to not attack you for three, four, five seasons in a row. Not uncommon. On the other hand, he can attack you like every day. Both of those are on the extreme end. and don't always happen. But yeah, basically, I have a storyteller guide up on YouTube that goes over it a little bit more if you really want to go into detail. But the short answer is Cassandra. Um, Cassandra is on average harder. But how I how I always have said it is Randy kills you um, by accident and Cassandra kills you on purpose. Cassandra kills you on purpose. Randy kills you by accident. And Phoebe kills you by boredom and overconfidence. Every Saturday he wakes up apparently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that an anomaly pit? No, that's uh that's a revenant gore. So like right now, when we kill the manhunters and the sight stealers, I'm completely safe. We could we could just leave and go to the edge of the map and not have to worry about getting attacked. And I can't I can't unlearn those things, right? So once you know that. Basically, if you're playing against Cassandra and you have two of two major events that happen within six days of each other, you are or within five days of each other, you're safe for six days. On the basics. So yeah. new lovers. Oh no. We're gonna have to start snipping. We're gonna have to start snipping. <laughs> More babies? Oh, man. No snipping. <laughs> Snipper, no snipping. How would you feel? <laughs> All the babies? Oh, man. Is this going to be a cult? It kind of fits the cult thing a little bit, you know? Kind of fits it a little bit. Melee God's kids run. Sus is having hallucinations. It's a normal manhunter, just normal manhunter. Yeah. The cult daycare. <laughs>
Pelly gods are reproduced by injecting. Yep, yep. Yeah, I think they were sterile otherwise. You already had that in real life, so you're down. <laughs> Does it bother you? Third trimester. Whew. Well, I mean, they can't go that way anyway, but. We actually have the stuff for a skip abduction now. Ritual circles in the field of uh, potato field at this stage, yeah. We'll make a ritual room though. Catch more of the run of the time, get done. Good luck. Yeah, have a good shift. Have there been any mech raids apart from the auto mortar cluster? Uh, no, not yet. No, the auto mortar cluster was pretty scary, but there hasn't been any mech since then. How good at rituals are they? Uh, they get a bonus, just straight up bonus. So, um, let me, let me see if I can go to it. There we go. So, uh, if they're in the ritual, they get a plus three mood. Uh, they get a mood hit if they haven't had a psychic ritual in six days, but only if they have high expe expectations. Uh, they also have a higher opinion of each other for having been in a ritual. And the psychic ritual is just 10% better always, as long as the ritualist is involved in it. So they get a mood increase and the ritual itself is higher. It's almost like they get 10% more psychic sensitivity, kind of, for that purpose of that. All right, um, oh no, yep, knew that was about to happen. So sus has howled. Oh no, uh, we gotta keep an eye on Raven. Crap. Raven, j no, just, just let him die. Do not tend them. Just let him die. I'm not risking it. Uh, so basically, more Sight Stealers are on the way. They are coming. So now we're going to have two groups of Sight Stealers out there. Sus's ability, they had the unnatural healing ability. I don't want to risk, uh, Sus giving Raven a Parasite if she has it, so. I recommend using Charge Rifles for shotgun boxes. Charge Rifles are fine in it, yeah. You're actually probably better off using, um... Heavy SMGs and chain shotguns. But if you're using charge rifles in other places, Leo, uh, it, they're fine to use in the shotgun, tun the shotgun tunnel. They're, they're, they're fine for it. They're not the best gun for it, surprisingly. But yeah, they are fine to use in it. Do they not fight foxes? The thing is, the foxes don't know they're there. The foxes will actually attack the sight stealers if the sight stealers are revealed. If sus is dangerous, why are they in prison? Because we were going to convert them and we were going to have them not have any jobs where they could in infect anyone. So as long as they weren't dealing with people's food or... Um, yeah, okay. They didn't have a metal horror. That's fine. If, they, if she had a metal horror, it would have just popped out. But better safe than sorry. All right. Uh, we're going to do skip abduction. We have no one that's psychically sensitive. Who, whose mood isn't the greatest? We want people whose moods aren't super great to be involved, so they have a mood increase and ritualists get a mood increase. Lizard, Evnant, Starfield. Don't need the kids in there. Uh, Sinner, okay. So the person that we kidnap is going to be in a coma for 13 days because we don't have psychic sensitivity or statues offsetting. Actually, hang on. We actually have some bioferrite now. So let's make void sculptures. How much bioferrite do we, ha do we have, though? Uh, 
yeah, we have enough for a few void sculptures, and then we will still have enough for the ritual. So we'll go ahead and make a few of those. Let's have a lizard make those, and we'll go ahead and have them make... We want six all together. Six is the max, so we'll just go ahead and set it for six. And I'll make a zone for them out here so we can see when they come through. Void sculpture, there we go. What do you study first? Which anomaly stuff do I study first? Well, part of it's going to be what entities you find, right? Because you need certain entities to unlock certain things. But basically, I want to get void provocation, uh, bioferrite harvesting, and entity, entity containment. Those are going to always be my first. Because the earlier you get bioferrite being harvested, the more you can use it for all these great things, right? So after that, it just depends a little bit on which entities you've discovered and what you currently need in your run. There's a lot of good stuff, though. Does the ornate door count as one or two doors for containment strength? Uh, one. One. Harvesting seems really slow. It depends on the entity. So we had a containment uh, of four that was getting us close to 15 bioferrite per day. And that was just in one containment setup, right? So in my last run that we completed... We were probably, at the end, getting about 100 Bioferrite per day, which is not too bad. What mods am I running? Why is your research so cheap? This is not research. This is anomaly stuff. I'm not running any mods for this. My research is tribal research. The mod I'm running is no pause mod. Yeah, so this is just tribal amount. 6,400 geothermal, that's how much tribal geo geothermal just is. Crap, the revenant's out again. Revenant's out. And it's, it's, follow it, follow it, follow it. There's the path. You can't let the sight sealers in. Uh... Someone grab this. Okay, it went through the research room. It's over here. Starfield and um, Major Hertz. It just went out that door. It's right here. I didn't see this door open, and I don't see any claw marks. I think it's right there, like, literally in that spot. Garfield, did you, did you get tended to? No. All right, come on. Gotcha. Found you again. I really like hunting down the revenants. I just think I find it fun. I don't know. Once captured, the monsters need regular attention like a prisoner. Uh, similar, yeah. Similar. Love the invisible enemies, yeah. I, I really like the Revenant. It's uh, And we were talking, uh, I was talking quite a bit yesterday, how the mechanic of the Revenant and the mechanic of the creep joiners and the, and, um, the, um, the metal horrors, the infections and stuff, really opens up a lot of systems that I would like to see them expand on in maybe like some sort of espionage way, right? 
like where enemies can have spies, you can have spies. Uh, that'd be uh, really cool. Like there's lots of things they could do with that. For instance, you get a joiner and you don't know that they are a spy and they've been a spy for a raid group the whole time. And then the next time that raid arrives, suddenly they can open your doors because that person has has unlocked them for them. Stuff like that would be really interesting. And so you'd have to use the new investigation thing on like joiners, right? So uh, it would be, there's so much they could do with it. Why is the sensor glowing red? Because we are, there are probably like 50 to 100 sight stealers outside our walls. Like, yeah, kind of like the refugees in a way, but more advanced than that. Yeah, I think it'd be really cool. They could do a lot with it. And then you could have your own spies. So like, let's say you have a spy that you embed into an enemy faction and then they sabotage the enemy. So the next time that pirate raid comes, instead of it being full strength, they've diverted some of them and it's like half strength. Stuff like that would be really, really awesome. Uh, and your spy could even like smuggle out your relatives. Oh, that would be so great. Imagine, so I've always said that it's really annoying that like a raid shows up and there's five of your relatives and you can't do anything about it. They're just going to kill you or you kill them and then people get unhappy, right? So imagine you have your spy in that per, in that faction's base and one of the things you could have them try to do is smuggle out your relatives. Like there's so much they could do with it. I hope they explore it. Rescue, kidnap, pawns. Yeah, there's so much. It would, and that would be like, that would be really fun and it would be a lot of... Um, story generation right yeah and you could have more like spy weaponry and tech and stuff and that could be part of a bigger expansion like um a faction and government overhaul it would be really really fun like especially knowing how much i've enjoyed the revenant and things like that like having more of those systems in the game would be would be really welcome you have those walls roofs so nothing grows there for fire yes yeah because those are wood <laughs> maybe giving you a sneak peek because I'm actually a developer you should tell the developers this they're not going to make it an expansion because I gave them the idea probably probably the developers are in the chat right now taking notes static who helped solve that bug before is like write that down no <laughs> it would be cool though it would be really cool All right, uh, Lizard's working on those. So let's start getting moved over into a real base as much as I hate to, I hate using real bases, you know, but we're gonna do it for the theme of this run. Um, for better or worse, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. I can't wait for people to come in and ask if barracks are nerfed, you know, it's one of the, my favorite things to answer. <laughs> Go on this wall. Oh my God. Screw it. I'm putting them there instead. I, I know how to rotate them, but for some reason it wasn't rotating to this. That's what I was trying. Like I did it fine on these ones, but the bottom one was just wasn't doing it for some reason. I don't know why. No idea. A natural darkness only happened later in the game. That one seems like potentially extreme danger. There are some like that. Yeah, it, it happens in tier two, tier two. Can you clean the revenant bile? Yes. Okay, are we ready to deal with the sight stealers? Yeah, we need to because I need to get someone on the road. Where's the nerf? Why don't I like real bases? Find real base. Do you see a house with an open floor plan? And you're like, why don't you like real houses? Why don't you build this house like they used to back in the 50s? Uh, I, I don't... I play all the different ways. But if I'm doing a min-max run, a single big room is just stronger than everything else. How do you move the animatry? You can't move the animatry without mods. You can cut it down and it can grow more. 
You can grow back somewhere else, but... It's not a real base. Any tips on doing the Mechanitor start on losing is fun? Uh, if you want, you can watch my Mechanitor run. I did a solo Mechanitor run not long ago. So you can, you can check that out if you want. Um, but my biggest piece of advice would generally be in the beginning to focus more on the work mechs than the combat mechs because combat mechs give too many raid points to be worth it super early game. You, you can overcome that, but in general, it just makes it more difficult if you... Um, we're going to get rid of this door so that we can tank these. Yeah, the work mechs are incredible. I like all of them. They're really good. Yeah, clean sweepers and uh, lifters are super great. All the, like the crafters, like having, um, having them just make components all the time, for instance, is really good. The medical ones are good. All has begun. Okay, so we don't want to do any replanting. Next daytime, we'll we'll tank these. So there's two groups of uh, of sight stealers out there. No idea how many. How do you make the drop down in the top left? In the bottom right of your screen, there's something called categorize mode. Categorize mode. It's a button in the bottom right of your screen. Are the black spots removable? You can clean them yet. All right, let's go get this done. Let's see how many there are. Actually, you keep that on. Two groups of them, huh? But we don't know what the size of the groups are. They, they can be a single one. They can be 50. I don't know. Was this tribal start? Yes. Tribal start. In before 300. Uh, I don't think there can be 300 at this stage, luckily. The Howl was a smaller group this time, I'm guessing. Do we hear any more out there? It's kind of cool that you can use audio clues now. Yeah, that was a much smaller group. So I guess uh, that one call must have been a single call. Keep you here. So that's the smallest sight sealer raid we've had in this playthrough. Okay. But I don't hear any more. I gotta be really cautious. It also could be that the second howl isn't here yet, because it can happen the day of. Or it can be several days, so. Let's uh let's stay inside walls for now and listen for another set. Black patches, that's revenant bile. You hate the new wall light placement system? Yeah, it is weird that it's worse placement than the mod. Would masks protect the eyes better than simple helmets for sight stealers? Wonder probably, yeah, because they do protect the face too. Did you finish the first run? I did. Also, what would you rate the DLC out of ten? Uh, overall, 
so far, I would give the ending a 10. It's the best ending in the game by a lot. Maybe the best ending uh, as far as from gameplay perspective of almost any game I played, which is saying a lot. The ending that I experienced on 500% was insanity. It was just absolutely crazy. Um, so the ending, I would give a 10. Uh, replayability for the normal player, I would probably give it like... Like a 6.5 for replayability for a normal, like someone that's not going to do a bunch and bunch of themed like stream runs. Um, and then for the new systems and new stuff and stuff in the game, all that, including like the Revenant and the invisibility, I'd probably give it like a nine. So overall, because of the reduced playability for most of the player base and there not being specific scenarios to make some of the events more built around, I would probably for me give it like around an eight, which is still pretty, pretty good, obviously. And a lot of that though is carried I don't mean it in a negative way, but a lot of that is carried and pushed higher by how amazing the end event is, the end game is. The end game is like, it's like you're playing another game. It's like some, it's like someone made a crazy, like, I, I don't know, like a RimWorld spinoff or they made like a crazy horror game inside of RimWorld's engine. That's what the ending feels like. And I mean that in a good way. Like it was a really insane. But as far as like replayability for the normal, like, um, like I said, someone that's not like doing a bunch of themed runs like I will do and partially because not just because I like RimWorld, but also partially because of uh, it being um, my job, right? Um, if you play through and you make it all the way to the credits, you have seen every part of Anomaly, which is a little unfortunate. Like I said, how do pump shotguns compared to heavy SMGs? Pump shotguns are not going to do as much damage or DPS. Um, heavy SMGs, for the most part, close range are better. Pump shotguns do have really good accuracy, though. So they can be very valuable, especially very early. Um, but yeah, I, if, if you're like building, building them and you have the option between the two, generally heavy SMG is going to win out depending, depending on your setup, your pawns and so on. Right. But in general. We might as well get it because the more of these things that we get uh, researched through schematics, the more likely we are to get the ones that we really want and need. Okay, uh, and we'll grab components, however many we can grab. Um, we don't have advanced components yet, but it's going to be quite a while. Yeah, I don't need to buy them. This is going to be quite a while with our, like, 12% research speed. I think it will be nicer modders. I think it'll be nicer modders, and also I think it'll be nice for future expansions, if there are future expansions. Alright, I need more wood. Seems your whole playthrough, unlike other DLCs that feel more beneficial. It doesn't have to. Only if you turn on the monolith. You don't have to turn the monolith on. The only the only scenario that forces the monolith on is I know I know what you mean, but the only one that forces you to have the monolith on is the actual anomaly scenario. You can actually just have the monolith not enabled, and you'll get cultist, shamblers, creep joiners. And you can make the new turrets and things, right? So. Love the turret pack. I do love it. Transport pod. Abasia. Oh, wow. Look at you. Look at that coat. Look at that coat. We could just go out and kill him. He is a pirate. And then we won't get the debuff. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that.
Oh, wait. Did I misread which faction you're in? Oh, he's in the tribal faction. Yeah, we don't care. I didn't misread it, but he's tribal, so... Way to go, kid. Way to go. And the new weapons stand out for you as strong. None of them are strong. Uh, the crossbow is decent enough to use supplementary. Like, not build around, but it's good to mix in. And the other weapons aren't super great. Has to be future expansions, well, it doesn't have to be. But I hope there are, and it would stand to reason that they would keep releasing expansions, right? But for all we know, they could be like, all right, well, Anomaly, we've met the machine gods, and that's the end of uh, RimWorld 1, and now we're working on RimWorld 2, for all we know, right? I, like, I don't think that's what's going on, but there's nothing that says they have to keep going. Do, can ent entities eventually escape no matter what? In general, yes, the, like prisoners. No matter how no matter how low the prisoner escape chance is, given enough time, they'll eventually escape in general. Like, I would block so. All right, so, destruction. Uh. Good way to make a freezer just make a room keep it cold with coolers and then fill it with shelves literally fill it what happened new run did i lose no i won i beat my first run in a monolith anomaly run last night the ghoul is the hardest part of it they require so much food i didn't have any problem feeding my ghoul i just had the melee hunt what was the bug fix that you think affected you the most in this 1.5 room worlds uh, I don't think there was any that in, in impacted me. It reminds me, like, when 1.5 specifically patched the singularity, someone came in and was like, Adam, what will you do now that your singularity is patched? And I was like, I've used it twice. I don't care. <laughs> I, I don't use it. It doesn't bother me. So for me, I don't, I don't really care what the nerfs and things were. The ghoul requires a lot of micromanagement early, though. Yeah, it does require a lot of micromanagement. What do you think of the controlled zombies? I don't know what you mean. You mean like Dead Life Dust? Like using the Shamblers against them? Uh, Dead Life Dust seems pretty good overall. Why the empty rooms? Because we are just haven't moved over there yet because people would get more unhappy being in this room right now. We are making the void sculptures and then we will do ritual, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. In fact, let's change you over to Arts so to get that done. Can a ghoul be a mechanator? No. You wish the ghoul would auto hunt non-friendly animals? That would be kind of nice. Yeah, but there's going to be a mod for that. But yeah, we beat our first Nolly run. It was really crazy. The ending was absolutely insane. Alien, thank you for the two months. General Admiral, thank you for the three months. Can a ghoul be a wall? No. Yeah, as long as you keep meat, they're good. Do you mean controlled zombies and ghouls? Ghouls are great meat shields. Yeah, I really... I'll be happy when we get a ghoul in this one. Okay, cloning is ready. Um... So, let's take a look here. I think we might just do the skip a duct anyway. Okay, so we need to do a couple things. Let's do the clone first and see what they turn out as. We're going to clone Lizard. So let's bring everyone over in case it's a hostile. Leave these doors open. Lizard. Trigger the duplication process. Not hostile, okay. So, close these back. Now we're going to go in here. And do surgical inspection. Okay. 
You lizard now, Jeeves. <laughs> Arbitrary trees seem potentially useful for non-cannibal colonies. Yeah. What start is this? We did a tribal ritualist start from Anomaly. Tribal ritualist. I think the information should be in the description too. What's better research method? One to two pawns 24-7 or like I do? Like I did. Like you can do both. Yeah. You don't have to choose one or the other. The more people putting points into research, the faster your research will get done. No matter how good or bad they are at it. So... It's better for someone to research than be idle. Uh, Organ, um, so we can actually keep him. Hang on. So now we need to do a skip abduct and take the abducted person's organs. Have I played content modded runs? Yes. Uh, there's several of them on YouTube, like Zombie Land, for instance. Okay, so as long as we get the skip abduct done and take the organs of that skip abduct person before he dies. So, and we don't care about the quality because the person can be unconscious while we do it. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, we want the buff on Vess. We don't have anyone that's psychically sensitive. All right, let's go ahead and do this. As organs are crap, we're replacing all of them. So basically, oh, there is one here. Oh, well. Uh, so basically, he, we have found the early stages of organ decay. So he's going to have three or four organs, including his heart, that if not replaced, are going to deteriorate and when they deteriorate he's going to die but if we can replace them in time we don't have to worry about that i don't have any plans or, i have a bunch of plans for anomaly runs at the moment but i don't have any plans for modded runs yet we will eventually do some modded anomaly runs though uh four evil monkeys they were the 11 months finally back like you never left almost a full calendar year see what we get Shout out the ghouls yeah ghouls are great meat shields and then once they get some um, of their ghoul upgrades, they can be decent melee combatants in general. 13 year old. Oh, man. All right. Well. Oh. Okay. Harvest left lung. Harvest left kidney. That's what we'll start with. Oh, Raven. Can't use this bed. Why can't you use the bed? Oh, you're being carried. Drop him. What? <sighs> okay. Raven's third child. No, fourth child. The first one died. So yeah, uh, left lung, left kidney, and heart. <laughs> Perfect. Failed the first one, so we didn't get the left. Oh no. Oh crap. All right, that's fine though. We have we have the real doctors on it now. First was stillborn, yeah, 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 and then they took its skull and they ate the rest of it. Yeah. What's your thoughts on Ollie's fire? I really like Anomaly, Yeah, I've enjoyed it, especially the ending. The ending was crazy. Hey, a healthy child. First baby born in a bedroom. All right, so hopefully we'll get that taken care of. Oh, people can get parasites before tier two obelisk. Yes, how does the game handle it? You can get, oh my God, who fell this one? 
Major Hertz failed it? Uh, yes, you can get tier two events before tier two obelisk. It's including the parasite. Yeah, including metal horrors. It's, uh, it's rare. And if it happens, you just got really unlucky, but it can kill your colony if you're not prepared for it. Yep. Like if you have a tribal start and you manage to get um, to the point where you can get a parasite and you don't have like you have short bows or something, you're just going to die probably. Growth fat take proportional nutrition of growing a baby normally or does it let? I'm not sure overall, like if you if you added up how much they would have eaten over all those years, I'm not sure. I'm leaving this over here so I can remember the if anyone's wondering why that's there. Food. I mean, humanization also lets people wear tainted clothing with no penalty. Yes. Yep. Base plenty. Happy birthday. What are the big differences between this run and the first run? Uh, the first run I did no kill box and no traps and I did inhuman. This time we were trying out kill boxes and ritualist. And I also did the Anomaly Scenario Start, Anomaly Researchers. This time we are doing Tribal Ritualists. Do they just leave the kid on the floor? Yeah. <laughs> Another year accomplished. That's right. right. We're not getting very much Bioferrite anymore because of uh, being more entities, but we're going to be working on that here soon, too. <sighs> I'm probably going to start having less... Um, like individual cells for them for a little while until we can get more stuff done. All goods. Okay, good. There were more sight stealers out there that whole time. I told you they might not have arrived yet. And now there's going to be even more. All right, um... Here they come. And humanization means you can wear, yeah, you can wear all that armor that you find in the labyrinth and the flesh. Yeah. No ghouls this time. We haven't made it to ghouls yet. We will use ghouls, but we have not made it to them. You don't start with a ghoul unless you do anomaly researcher start. And so we just have not discovered ghouls yet. It's kind of, it's a bit random which entities you find first or find throughout. We just have not found ghouls yet. But I definitely want to get some ghouls. Oh crap, mood is really bad right now. Um, So that was the amount of sight sealers that was left after killing that trade group. That means that the shriek isn't here yet. So we're kind of stuck at the base right now. I wanted to go trade, but we're just kind of stuck. Sad youngsters, dull barracks. Oh crap. I, I turned that off. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over to this. I was looking at having a construction sp or a production specialist, but bloodshed for hire three star quest no um how far along has the organ decay i might actually turn you into a reduction specialist if we can get your organs sorted out so let's wait on that Do body monitors benefit from mutations i didn't check it yes i don't know Potentially, but yeah, I didn't check it. If you end up checking it, let me know. 
Audrin, thank you for the super chat. Been meaning to show some support this week. Been busy at work. Oh yeah, no worries. Thank you for watching. Still, you still researching beds? No. We got past that, luckily. I passed that. Surprisingly. It's been rough. High polluted map looks really cool. The anomaly mobs. You know what was really cool is the uh, the events with the snow. This map has winter, and the first gray pall on snow was pretty awesome. I can't wait to see blood rain on the snow. Relationship complications, having a duplicate, it doesn't seem so, yeah. Can Luciferium save from this? Not really, because Luciferium only fixes one thing at a time. And best case scenario, it'll fix one thing every 15 days. So if it hits the correct things every single time, then it would take 45 days. Are ghouls bad? Ghouls are not bad. Ghouls are fantastic. They can't take any damage? Yeah, they can. I had a ghoul tank like entire raids on my first run. Maybe you're not making the right people ghouls. Too tough, die instantly. I don't know what's happening with yours. Yeah, mine mine were tanking just fine. What were you were you having your ghouls were tough? And what'd you have them melee blocking? Blood rain in the snow sounds like it could be a player ballet, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used uh I used two to three ghouls to melee block the daily daylilies increased wealth no the entire a cult cultist ritual well yeah any kind of melee unit's gonna die with like 30 cultists shooting them with ranged weapons i mean would you be surprised if you had a melee colonist out there a no range or getting surrounded i should say of course they're gonna die yeah the ghouls are Basically melee blockers. Melee blockers that are very, very, very low wealth and just eat meat. Melee gods would be fine, yeah. What can you use to cause collision before turrets? You can use a person behind a door. They literally should be nerfed. No, no, no. What happens when caravan enters the map when the map is covered in darkness? Uh, They can't, yeah. If you have the darkness event, you can't have traitors and stuff show up. Is the star rating on quest a new thing? No, it's not. Have you cloned someone pregnant yet? No, I haven't. Waiting on the server cell to buy this game. Tough Brawler Ghoul on your last run and it was OP. Yeah, yeah, they're really good. I really like the ghouls. What happens when you have a Luciferium addicted person? You make them a ghoul, it cures Luciferium addiction. Can a ghoul tank a Chimera? One ghoul tanking a Chimera? Uh, you could probably kill it before the one Chimera kill, killed the ghoul if it's in a doorway, yeah. The cube base? The cube base run we already finished. You can have robust on a ghoul if if you have a Neanderthal that you turn into a ghoul. Uh it seems like the um the germline gene genes seem to work. Germline genes seem to work. All right, so yeah, let's, uh, we got the wood in. Uh, we need to try this again. Okay, so harvest left lung, harvest left kidney. Major hurts, let's do it, come on. Can normal raid spawn in unnatural darkness? No. Tough nimble ghoul, yeah, tough nimble Neanderthal ghoul would be crazy. And then you can also get the ghoul enhancement to make them take 50% more, or 50% uh, less damage on top of that. Major Hurts, yeah. Great name for a doctor. <laughs> okay, there's one. Two. Oh, they have muscle parasites. That's what was doing it, I bet. Uh-oh, yeah, he has 66% manipulation. Hang on a second. Yeah, just uh, chill out there. What's your doctoring at? Five. You should probably still do it because you're level 15. All right. Hey, we got it. So as long as the surgery succeeds on uh, two Izard here, we will have successfully got an amazing clone. All right, let's hope for the best. Uh, left lung, left kidney. 
Okay, install lung, left lung, install kidney, left kidney. So we're going to start with those. How long does it take to get good at this game? I don't know. How long is a string? How long is a string, right? You, you ever heard that saying? It just depends on your... Like, this game has infinite, infinite replayability and, and infinite things to learn. So it's really hard to master it. But it also depends on how familiar you are with the systems from other games, right? So, like, if you have played a lot of games that have crossover, you're going to get better at RimWorld faster. You're going to get good at RimWorld faster. So if you've never played any of these genres at all, no base builders, no RTSs, no colony management, if you've played none of that, it's probably going to take quite some time, right? Also, do you play blindly? Do you look up guides? Do you watch playthroughs? You're here, so you probably watch playthroughs or will be. Um, but yeah, it's one of the games that it's easy to pick up and play because of you can set the difficulty to a custom level for whatever you want to do, from a base builder to a punishing RTS and everywhere in between. So easy to get started, nearly impossible to master. Have I used falling rooftop kill boxes before? I have, yeah. Bleed boxes, yeah. Blind emerald sounds like a pain. <laughs> You can't take advantage of reactor raids during the unnatural darkness, no. Yeah, I thought you might could, but yeah, things don't arrive when the unnatural darkness is on. Does we weapon health percentage matter? It only matters for, uh, for wealth, for market value. Percentage on a weapon doesn't impact damage or accuracy. All right, here we go. Are we gonna get him? Gonna get him? Please don't fail the heart surgery of all of them. Is the thing in the south a kill box? Yeah, it's a shotgun kill box. Yep. Yeah, we did our first run with no kill boxes at all. Hey, we got a we successfully got a great clone. Look at this. Look at this. Crazy. Fantastic. So I'm actually gonna turn him into a production specialist for now for the construction and the arts. In fact. We're going to kick you off of this. And when he's up, we'll get that going. Didn't you need industrial medication? No, no, no. Production and special, special supplies to art? Yeah, uh, construction, crafting, and art. Can you clone a genius? No. There's cloning now in RimWorld? Yes. Some anomaly events will pop even if you never activate the fallen monolith. Yeah, the ones that pop if you've never had the... If you don't activate the monolith and you're not doing the anomaly researcher starts, so you have a completely inactive monolith on your map, the ones that you can have happen are shamblers, cultists, and creep joiners. Yeah, if you really, really want to gain wealth, you can leave your weapons to get lower in value, yep. Yeah. We're good expansions to start with for a new player. You might get one or two. You have Anomaly. I usually just suggest working backwards through them. I don't think you can go wrong working backwards through them. Give them another name. Uh, maybe. How do I rank the expansion compared to others? I really like it so far, but yeah, I don't, I'm not sure where I'd rank it yet compared to the other ones. Just, I'm, I honestly don't know. Creep joiners? What are creep joiners? Creep joiners is what the files call the people that join that have like special abilities and stay with you for a while or in inject a parasite there are things like the alchemist like the genius like the drifter there are little joint events where you tell them you can join you can leave or you can arrest them is it possible to do every ending in a single playthrough yes what are the different ways the metal horror can enter your colony Metal Horror can enter your colony through a visitor like a creep joiner or through a melee attack from certain entities. Do I recommend the Void Follower ideology? Are you talking about the Inhuman ideology? Inhuman ideology is fantastic. Incredible. Ritualist is okay. Yeah, they ha there's quite a few of them. Yeah, and they don't have to have an ability either. Like, you can get creep joiners that don't have uh, a special ability, but have a special trait. Like the occultist, like perfect body. 
When you interrogate a group of colonists about metal horror infestation and one is revealed as one, is he only one that can be infected? No. Bard! <laughs> Thank you for the gift sub, Bard. The butt sniffers. Does surgical inspection show the metal horror on a creep joiner? No, not yet. Because you don't, they don't, the doctor doesn't know what to look for. Why did I make... T so I always make double wall perimeter so that enemies can't break through as easily. And if they they have to attack the same spot over and over to get through. I made one of the layers wood this time because that's what I had in the early game. And I just needed a quick outer wall. We'll eventually replace it. So when you clone someone... Alright, so the stream should be back up on YouTube. I gotta see if I have a drive. Crap, crap, crap. I gotta see if I have a drive to save the rest of it too. Hang on. Uh, I have a lot of space, but I feel, filled it up because I haven't been, I didn't get a chance to get these things, um, filled up. Yeah, my drive is full. Um, okay. I'll have to fix this tonight. Crap. All right. Uh, I guess I'll just put it, I have some extra drives. I don't have them hooked up right now. Um. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Settings. Recording. Okay, so... I don't have time to set that up right now, but... Alright, so the stream will go down on YouTube again for just a split second. It should reload. Uh, I just gotta switch over where it's saving them, just temporarily, so... Alright. All right, I switched the drive that it's saving them to. So I got to fix that. I have some other drive. So basically, I filled up a drive with the first uh YouTube or the first Rimworld run for Anomaly, and I was recording to it again with this run, and I didn't realize it was running out of space, so we should be good though. All right. Download more space, yeah. <laughs> All right. Body monitor doesn't get a bonus for the tentacles. Okay, yeah, thank you for letting me know. Now, I, now I'll know how to answer that when anyone else asks. Welcome back again, thanks, thanks. Yeah, I have P music back on now. Didn't even pause the game during the hardware. No. <laughs> Legendary bed. There's an artwork of Raven conducting experiments, seeking to understand the secrets of the sight stealer with barely concealed disgust in her eyes. Raven is completely absorbed in her study of the Sight Stealer, striving to unlock its secrets. A boar off to one side seems to express war. <laughs> Cubist style. All right, Raven, we're gonna move on over. You want a legendary bed? Does that today, Frostpunk 2? Oh, really? Frostpunk 2 is in beta now. Interesting. Hmm. I'm too busy to try it out, but I wasn't expecting it already. All right. Can we go trade some of these potatoes before it gets to winter? Let's do a test to see if there's any sight sealers out here that we don't know about before I, I decide to do that. So we're going to grab a handful of people. And go over here. We're going to hold these open. Up there, yeah. Oh, no. Up there. Get in here. Oh, 
Oh, crap. Um, I thought I had to set up. Make kid parka. We can actually afford heaters now this, this season also. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's any sight stealers. This is a pretty cold map. Actually, it has a crazy temperature swings, this map. We don't need that many right now, but we will move them over. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to do four. Okay. Ended by the light music. Yeah, I like that one, yeah. You hear Valiant? Yeah. It's a seven-day beta? Oh, interesting. You need the nightstand on Legendary? No. <laughs> Oh, oh, for the comfort? Oh, maybe I don't actually. Yeah, you're probably right. That heater done. Festival kid is dying. Crap. He's losing his digits. Get that parka done. All right, we gotta get all this set up. Wish upon us to share body heat. Uh, there is a body heat mechanic in the game, but it has to be a very tiny room for it to do anything really. Go on, Acrid. Thank you, Acrid. Try to catch up on the first. Oh, I got you. Flesh mass nucleus. I like that one, yeah. Accurate. Thank you for signing up. Gold membership. Thank you, Accurate. Yeah, abandoned by the light. How can you see open spaces in the mountain? Uh, equip a melee weapon like this, draft a person, and have them attack into the mountain. And if you see um if you see the cancel, that means it's open. Because there's nothing there for them to attack. There's no wall or anything for them to attack. The melee trick. I think Excavation Mountain will show you a clip. What do you plan to make bedrooms beautiful? Art, yeah, art eventually. There you go, kid. Human leather. Fantastic. <laughs> we got to turn that off for the kid. All right. All right. We really got to get uh, trading done. You never ask for attention. What are you doing? <laughs> so we have a cat that uh, the way she tries to get attention and she doesn't usually do it to me on the stream. So this must mean that my wife is taking a nap or something. She very gently reaches with one paw and just taps. So I was sitting here and somebody just started tapping my, my elbow. <laughs> now she just walked away. <laughs> Infected. That's Lyra. Lyra. That's how she uh she tries to get attention. She's very gentle about it. She's like, hey, hey. <laughs> just letting you know I could really use a pet right now. Like, Alright, there you go. Apparently she just needed one, just needed a little tap. Your dog does the same thing. Boops your ankle.
So yeah, she already left. Yeah, she already left. Slag chunks was a ghoul hand. Oh, <laughs> got a good mountain. Nice. Uh, Kruger, thank you for the 23 months until you have a brand new sub. Thank you again, Bard, for the gift sub. The polite cat, yeah. Thought I said my cat's name is Liar. No, it's Lyra. Lyra. Woters. Double digits. Thank you for the 10 months, Woters. A body in the labyrinth. That's awesome. Yeah, you saw my character, my in game character, as a body in the labyrinth. You panicked and forgot to take a screenshot. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Your cat does the same thing, but she has her claws out. Festival Kid has grown up a little bit. We're getting such bad luck with these. Look at this crap, man. These kids are not being raised into god ponds at all. I guess I have to take careful shooter, which is really unfortunate. Like, there's no way I take any of the other stuff. Ouch, that sucks. That sucks. Dog force head into your elbow. <laughs> Kabucha, thank you for the lurk. Have a good shift. Have a good shift. already had an event where you have to enable your base. I've had every event. Do you mean in this run? Not in this run, but I've I've already done every event in Anomaly. So, yeah, I've done the uh, Flesh Pit uh, three or four times already, but not in this run. So if you mean this run, no. If you mean in general, yes. All right, let's start getting everyone moved over here. these freaking false cubes laying around still. Can you replace cubes? They give beauty. They give a very little bit. Yeah, like three. Bandoliers counter careful shooter problem with bandolier is it's in a layer that you want defense on is there a reason to wall in your geothermal or uh, if it's outside of your base you want to wall it in if it's not outside your base you don't have to wall it in but it could be the target of like drop pod raiders and stuff is there a more to be discovered about the golden cube after you destroy it and get a shard or for the shard no That's what kid, a ghoul sacrifice kid. <laughs> All right, let's see what schematics are being offered this cooldown. Uh, pack of survival meals, good. And you guys have assault rifles? Nope. All right, let's head on down to the other one. Too many cubes, sorry, they've been eliminated. Cubanade. What are the benefits of the soul tree? Which tree do you mean? There, there's three, there's four special trees in the game now. Do you mean the harbinger tree, I'm guessing? Harbinger tree uh, gets rid of corpses. It disposes of corpses and spreads, it spreads the, the grove. And then if you cut down a harbinger tree, you get twisted meat. So it's basically a way to dispose, an extra way to dispose of corpses. 
So that's primary purpose. And then you can get some meat. I really feel like the cube should have had the dungeon a bit. Oh my god. One pig skin? Bill, do not lose. Alright, refuse and fight. Please don't lose. Please don't lose. Bill, get cover there. Go back. You guys gather here. Pop that open. Bill, what do you have? It's friggin' raining. Assault rifle versus auto pistol. In the rain. Donkey took one for the team. Bill, you gotta hit it, man. Kill both of those. Oh, you gotta hit, you gotta hit. You got this. I don't know why I'm saying Phil. His name is Pin, but... If you mean Anima Tree, I have a guide on the Anima Tree. It goes over it. Um, if you want, uh, you can look on YouTube for RimWorld Anima Tree Guide, and, and it's a short guide with timestamps if you want that one. What's the difference between aiming time and ranged cooldown time? So there's two different things. There's warm-up time, which is aiming time, and cooldown time. Warm-up time is how long it takes from the time you tell them to shoot or they see an enemy to when they actually shoot. So for instance, the easiest or the, the most exaggerated one of those is like the um one second let me make sure i get everything here i don't want to the most exaggerated of those would be like the doomsday rocket right so the warm-up time or the time to fire is how long when they do their initial shot and the cooldown is how long they are basically stunned in place before they can move Bill, pin, it's all the same. Felt like really low hit chance. Friggin' rain, man. Uh, towns tell you the restock time. If you go to the world, you can click on them and see what to buy. Towns reset every 30 days from the last time you visited them when they had new stock. So we were just there, so we have to wait another 30 days. Bill is Pin's first name. It's fine. <laughs> I should have checked hit chance in the rain. Yeah, <laughs> it was probably dismal. Most likely terrible, terrible. For the weird black spots on the ground in your base, those are uh, Revenant Bile. That's where we hunted a Revenant. We just haven't cleaned it. It's every 30 days yet. What's the best way to force find melee pawns? Found two Persona. You can't force find one. The only way you can really force a melee pawn is, you know, raise a kid and choose melee or like melee trainers or something. But yeah, it's not, you're not just going to find, it's not like, Oh, if I recruit someone from a festival, I'm less likely to get a melee pawn than if I raid an ancient danger. No assault rifles again. Um, schematics. Okay, what do, what do you guys have? Growth fat. Okay. All right, so... We still need to neutralize the pigs, speaking of pigs, but... I think I'll just keep getting components with the extra for now. Yeah, and then we can make some advanced research benches finally. That would be nice. All right, let's get home. The chance to have something wrong with them in Emerald 33% does not actually hit a third of shots, much less in your experience. Yeah, there's other factors, yeah. 
other factors too. Like the accuracy of a gun saying 100%, it's not going to hit every single time. Let's go on graph. Now, you can keep an eye out for certain xenotypes that have melee bonuses if you want. You can't, like, force more of them to spawn, really. Uh, skip abduction in three days. Slave count as normal colonists for raid points. They count as 70% raid points. Slaves are 70% raid points. What, what flavor am I drinking today for my drink? I'm drinking emotional damage still. Yeah, emotional damage. It's decent. It's not one of my favorites, but I like it well enough that I'm I'm going to keep drinking it. I, I might, I probably won't order it again for, a, for quite some time, but... A girl thighs. No, not today. Not today. I remember an enemy when they're shooting them. It's supposed to be entirely accurate. Oh, the pop up. I got you. Good. You don't think snake oil? Snake oil is my wife's favorite. Yeah, I like it. It's not my favorite. It's one. It's in my top ten. But snake oil is my wife's favorite. Drinking AGT, you bought the code. Yeah, thank you, Nacrian. Yeah, I, I really, it's still one of my favorites. I think my top three are Pina Colada, Anime Girl Thigh, and um, probably Brand Risk still, honestly. The only one you haven't got tired of is AGT. I'm really bummed that they just aren't keeping, um, they're just not keeping... I want to do that right now. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, they're not keeping the um, pina colada in stock, unfortunately, because it's one of my new favorites. Why am I ignoring the new lovers? I don't want them to have more babies, so I'm waiting until I feel like I'm ready to snip, snip. You're a big fan of the anime girl thigh drink. It's not super sweet. Yeah, it's not super sweet, and it's orange creamsicle, which I really like. So if anyone doesn't know what, I, what we're talking about, Exclamation Drink will tell you more, but I am sponsored by a drink company um, and I really like, and I really, so I don't go over the whole spiel again, exclamation thoughts, if you want the thoughts video on it, but the short of it is I really hate the taste of diet stuff. I really don't like diet stuff, but I also don't like drinking calories. And this is one of the, the few drinks where I don't taste any diet. I get no diet taste and it doesn't have any aftertaste like that. And it doesn't make my mouth dry or chalky or anything. So, uh, I, I really like it. I drink it for weeks before I even accepted the sponsor. And, uh, yeah, maybe you don't like it, but it's, uh, about 40 cents per serving without a code, but you can use my code. You can get some, uh, discount on it. And if you want, well, actually you should drink. Have I tried, what's the full name of that one? I don't, I don't know the creator's names on them. Black cherries only. Okay. Oh, uh, the, um, yeah, I don't like that one. That's, that's my least favorite entirely. Tea milk, tea milk. Yeah, that's my least favorite. That one I really, I didn't find it good at all. Um, yeah, <laughs> most of them I like. That's my least favorite. Um, uh, another one that was really good that we that I just tried recently is just strawberry lemonade. If you like strawberry lemonade, their strawberry lemonade is good. Strawberry lemonade. Very carefully is breaking a lot of things as well. Yeah, ghouls are broken by a lot of different mods at the moment. What taste is it? I I have a, on my Discord, I have an active sponsors channel where I've reviewed every single flavor 
that I've tasted so far and what me, my wife, and my daughter thought of each of them, if you're curious. It's like raspberry cream, yeah, I don't, it's supposed to be. If I try, I haven't tried any cherry ones yet, no. I'm not a big cherry drink fan, so I just haven't. Uh, actually. Okay, we have another couple too that are already that are already completely married. Starfield. You have your own um so i haven't asked them in a while i'll have to check we can we can make our own flavor eventually but i'm not quite there yet mm. life dust is done wow i think we're gonna provoke Uh, you know what? We can keep working on this stuff while we provoke. Let's let's go ahead and do that. What's the? Uh, let's see what the percentage is right now. Wait, actually, let's wait for skip abduction so I can pull their psychic powers out and then have a better void provocation. So one point four days, then we'll do them. Those giant black puddles. Those are revenant gore from when we were hunting revenants earlier. Mindless beasts. 76 foxes for a Sooth Pulsar and a Shock Lance? Uh, yeah, I'll take that. How long do we have? Because I need to get more wood in first. One point five days. Okay. Perfect, actually. Oh, I used the wrong person. Wrong lizard. Any maximize reading reading? You're disappointed that reading schematics doesn't count as a researching task? No, it's a good thing that doesn't count as a researching task because you can have people do the research with with the schematics. That are incapable of intelligence and an incapable of intelligence person can help research with the schematic as if they were at level 18 um intelligence so i actually like that uh so as far as maximizing it the thing is reading is no matter what they're reading reading is considered a recreation type and pawns over time just get tired of the same recreation type so there are two things that you can do you can, o you can uh, make sure that the only books that you're keeping around are ones that you want uh, researched, for instance, or you want the skill of, or you can, you can set up a rule for it. And you can make sure you don't have more recreation types than you need at your current level. So, for instance, if you go in to the needs and you hover over recreation, it'll tell you at, at your current, like right now, we need four recreation types. So if we only have four recreation types and only and one of those is reading, then it's more likely that they're going to recreate in a book than if I had seven different types uh, right now, you know? So there's a couple things you can do. You can also just force them to read it, but it's very micromanagey. If you haven't looked, there is reading policies in here. So like if you 
want to turn off tomes like I have, or if you want to turn off uh, books that give like art skill or whatever, you can set some things up like that in here uh, and do it that way. You could technically make it so like each person has their own. You could set up a reading policy that's like crafting reading policy. And then your the people you want to get better at crafting, you could set them as the crafting reading policy. Like it's pretty micromanaging in, in that sense. But yeah, I do like that even people that aren't capable of research can research through schematics. What was the change to Raiders' reaction to exposed crops? So used to, if you had exposed crops, but there was still a path into your base to a colonist, Raiders wouldn't set them on fire. Now they will either way. Are books infinite? Yes. Star turns one tomorrow. Cake today, you just want more cake. <laughs> Can slaves read? Slaves don't recreate, so no. What are schematics? Schematics are books that give you research. So, like here. This book, anytime someone recreates by reading this book, we get 50 uh, research per hour on growth bats. You can have all incapable of research and get all your research done. Yep, with schematics. Yep. <laughs> it's it's a pain, but you can do it. Oh, you know what? They can't sleep together yet anyway. They have to be married first, so I can just turn that off. It's fine. I really need this wood hauled in. Let's go ahead and get that done. We're going to put hauling up to a one temporarily. Get all that hauled in. Uh, and schematics are 1.5 thing. Books are 1.5 thing. You don't have to have Anomaly to have all the new books. See, look at that. All urgently not needed. All right. So. Let's get everyone in the walls. Surprised we haven't had the third obelisk yet. Oh, crap. Blizzard just got insulted at us all. Right. Oh, they might actually win. How long? I didn't check how long. Manhunter pack. Oh, I don't know that they're going to win that. <laughs> um, here. Cataphracts are pretty good, though. Okay, let's have the... Actually, that's pretty decent. Let's have one of the minigunners back here. All right, let's see how this goes. A lot of foxes. Slave to read books. Oh, you can. Oh, I, I read that as prisoners. Sorry. Slaves should be able to read books. I think. Uh, prisoners can't. I don't know why I read it as prisoners. Sorry. Prisoners can't read your books and schematics because they can't do recreation. And they just get 76 boxes. Go juice. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. What? You didn't come with Gojuice? Are you a teetotaler or something? No. Two of them just don't have Gojuice. I think the Cataphracts will win, actually. 
Cataphract armor is incredible. Can you bring in the factory box? Yeah. Next time I'm safe, yeah. Entity Slayer, you stay away from my entities. Oh my god. I don't... I'm going to anger the Empire. And we're going to fail the quest. Wait, he can only slay the, the Revenant. That's okay. Because he can't smash the shard of it. Oh no! Look what you've done! Okay, he's back. Oh, there's some alive up there. Crap. Corp obsession. <sighs> All right, see you. Get in your shuttle and get out of here. Odds arrived. All right, we got a Soothe Pulsar and a Shock Lance out of that. Easy peasy. And the Cataphracts are all alive. <laughs> what do you prefer, this or the Zombie Land mod? Uh, I prefer this over the Zombie Land mod, but Zombie Land was a lot of fun. Nothing against the Zombie Land mod. Keep forgetting who our warden is. Vess, right? Okay. Um, growth vats and harp. It's okay. Oh, there's a hidden conduit there. It's like, what? What are you guys trying to destroy? Come here is... Uh, 19. Okay. That's not too bad. That's actually only like two more than we had yesterday or last night. I guess that makes sense. We haven't really increased our wealth too much today. We've gotten one more pawn today, basically. We haven't increased our weapons at all, so... And if we can, while they're here, this would be a fantastic opportunity to finally get some more good entities to harvest. But we need to make a better containment area before we can really do that. Wait, where are you guys getting out at? Oh, okay. Okay. You're right, you're finally... Oh, yeah, that... As that is a long journey. That's tough going. Feels like my research from this run, though. I know it's a different thing, obviously, but... I wish you could tame the Chimera. They were awesome, yeah. Okay, Chimera are attacking. Okay, they can't get in. We're okay. You read Chimera's Chinchilla at first. 
For cut legs, is there a research? What do you mean? To cut someone's legs off? No, you install peg legs first. And then you remove the peg legs. If that's what you mean. drawing wall lights have ideology style yeah way more tanky than a normal chinchilla <laughs> it's an understatement I think <laughs> a little bit of an understatement how do you make them not destroy your walls to attack you? Because they act like animals. Animals don't attack the walls. Chimera are basically manhunters. Chimera, you can think of as manhunting elephants that don't have to eat and never leave your map. Have I deactivated regular raiders? No. So, Anomaly, once you have the monolith activated, you're like... 10 times more likely to get anomaly events than normal events. It's not quite that, but just, just to give you an idea, like, once your monolith is active, you are mostly going to get anomaly events. Someone was say, looked in the files and was saying, like, a normal raid is only, like, 7% chance once your monolith is active. The Chimera is zooming. Yeah, so Chimera is also... When they do their roar, they run faster than a scyther. When the mod is active or monolith? I'm not using a mod, so I don't know what you mean. When monolith is active. Can you deactivate the monolith? Not after you start it up. Not until the end. You can deactivate it once you finish the... Once you get to the credits. But yes, once you... Once the monolith is activated, most of your events will be anomaly events. Just up town against an early chimera raid yesterday. Those things are hard to kill. They are hard to kill. The best way to do it is to go out and damage them as they're retreating. Uh, you can make them bleed and then run back in. They're not going to attack you while they're retreating. So that's what I've been doing is like popping out, damaging some while they're retreating, then going back inside until things are better. You guys are sleeping in a very cold room. You have parkas, but that's not going to be enough. Yeah, attacking a couple while they're retreating and going back in, yeah. They're making their own heat, yeah. <laughs> new skin fall when cutting new creatures? If so, what's it? Quality? Uh, dread leather. Dread leather, and it's pretty decent. Dread leather is pretty decent. Uh, people really hate wearing dread leather unless they are in human ideology, though. Are different books counted on the same recreation tolerance? The amount of recreation you get from how book recreation works... Depends on the quality of the book and if it's a novel or another. Novels give extra recreation. I think that's what you're asking. I've never, I've not had the Chimera attack Manhunters. No, I've had both on the map at the same time. They're just hanging out with each other. I'm sure these guys are going to be all right. Anarchist and Collins. Sure, nothing could happen to these guys. How far are the new anomaly events compared to the vanilla events? Uh, I like them a lot. Yeah, they're very varied. Very varied. You had them attack manhunting rhinos? That's weird. Yeah, I I tried summoning manhunting animals and they didn't. They avoided each other. Maybe it's because they were on the different side. Maybe they just didn't actively go after them. But if they're in the same area, they'll attack. Because we had Chimera on the top, and we had bears on the bottom right, and they didn't attack each other. Elephants don't need to eat.
No, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> so... You can think of Chimera, these things, as if they were elephants, because that's how much damage they do and how tanky they are. Chimera don't have to eat. And Chimera don't leave your map unless they die. So you can think of Chimera, these things, as if they were elephants that manhunting elephants that don't have to eat and never leave your map. Customized version of Random Plus. Version have doesn't let you select passions. I do not. No. I just have the normal Random Plus. Hey, we got more barrels. Colonists read books. Book reading is recreation. Yep. Book reading is recreation. Oh, we do have Jealous Pawns, right? How about that? Usually I don't worry about Jealous. Because Jealous don't care about a barracks, but we're not using a barracks this time, so... Cat and Entity. No. Now we're anomaly ritualist run to watch. To see you. Uh, yeah, and 10 more hours after day two, probably. Four barrels, nice. Yeah, 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 no worries. <laughs> I just thought it was kind of funny. Suppressing is a warden activity? Yes. Is it driven by social skill itself? I'm not sure. I haven't tested that. If so, then Inhuman would be bad at it, yep. Festival kid? Yeah, he was uh, born during a festival. All right. What was the last run I failed? Uh, Zombie Land overhaul playthrough. I failed the first like two tries. What's the difference between Jealous and Greedy? Jealous doesn't want anyone to have a better bedroom than them. So they just don't want anyone to have a better bedroom than them. And so if there's no bedrooms, they don't care. Greedy wants a fancy bedroom. Doesn't They don't care what other people have. They, they just want a fancy bedroom. So Jealous needs the best bedroom or equivalent of the best bedroom. Greedy just needs a fancy bedroom. Strawberries can grow in the cold? No. Different books count as different recreation? No. Books are reading recreation. Regardless of the book. Oh, the baby's crying. Think of books like elephants that can't read. Wait, no. Uh, I'll be right back. I gotta grab this box for my wife.
って。I'm back. Good job, chat. You didn't die while I was gone. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Containment 92. We can put one in there. Thanks. Site sealer confirmed. Okay. There's one we could hit. Let's go hit that one. There's another one by itself. Let's wait till they were retreating again. You saw a door open. Uh, we should make another one of these. Speaking of, ah, it's fine. How's research going? Very slow. Very slow. Ritualists are super slow at research. However, hey. <laughs> False cubes are gone. Those are not style surrounding, but there's no style chosen. You sure you don't have a style at all? Like if you click on your, own, your ideology, do you have nothing up here? There's a false cube up there. It wasn't in my way. So you got me. There wasn't a door open. It is, it is kind of scary sometimes. Yeah. Revenants. There's none. Uh, I'm not sure. You can either try reloading or it could be that um, your... Uh, you have something that's not your style instead. Like someone that isn't your ideology built something that isn't your style. That does happen sometimes, but yeah, I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and smurf. Mirrors are withdrawing. There's there's a couple of different spots up here with some on their own. So we're going to go hit this one and hopefully we can down it without killing it. Nope. No such luck this time. Last time we were downing most of them with the same amount of firepower. Just bad luck. Appreciate smashing the cube and making wooden walls. This is way better than the last one. <laughs> wooden walls, wooden floors, and smashing cubes. Meme structures and culture affect the styles too. Uh, as far, for the purpose of uh, bigoted pawns, yes. Giant bearing barracks with rooms in it. <laughs> hey, that's not. That's not. Well, that does count as barracks. What? You're just using a barracks, but it's made of rooms. <laughs> I'm going to style confusion when reforming ideology. Uh, yeah, sometimes if you've done... Yeah, I should have mentioned that. If you have fluid ideology, that can happen after you... Um, um, after you reform. And it fixes it just if you reload your save. So you can try that uh, if you're using fluid, yeah. Maybe a default hidden style or something. Outlander waste pack drop? No, I'm good. Fair exception. 
You're liking these two-person barracks? <laughs> two-person barracks. Oh god, I didn't realize you weren't at there yet, at that spot yet. Okay. Research is so friggin' slow. I think someone said it's like 12%. We're only at 182 biopharite, so uh after we're done with the entities out here. We'll do skip abduct into psychophage into provocation. 12.5%. Is there a way to force ritual joins to have natural focus? Uh, no, not exactly. No, if you have, um, if, if you started as tribal, then the children that you have in your colony will end up with natural focus, but your rituals won't have a 100% chance to get someone with natural focus. Sleep undisturbed times 12 minus 20. <laughs> Manhunter. All right, let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Maybe that was changed already. I swear on our first uh, anomaly playthrough, I summoned Manhunters to fight Chimera, and the Chimera didn't fight them. But again, they were at separate sides of the colony. So maybe that was part of it. I don't know. What would I consider the most important skills for starting a new colony? It depends on your start a little bit. But in general, you want construction, planting, doctoring. Those are like the big three. Everything else you can kind of get away with not having, really. But you need to be able to tend. And you need to be able to build stuff. And you need to be able to have food. So those are those are generally the, the top three. But it's not... Like, even, even those have, like... Wow. Look how the Chimera just ripped that apart. It's crazy. To kidnap some tribal settlements? Yeah. Yeah, tribal raiders... In general as well so next time we withdraw we will attack them again be careful because we don't have our own steel production yet there's still some steel on the map but it is scarier to go mine steel these days How many colony colonists is too much? As many as you want, as long as your computer isn't going so slow that you can't have more, or your game isn't running so slow that you can't have more. Because at a certain point, raids don't get any bigger or harder. And so the more colonists you have, the more overwhelming your firepower can be. You're at 60 plus colony colonists in years. Yeah, that's, that is many. Okay, they're dividing up to go after this. We might can sneak out and kill one of the stragglers. Yeah, they're going to chase those. We're going to pop out. That one downed. Oh my god, would you guys stop killing them? It's crazy how... few we're downing now or traders <laughs> point point cap no i don't think so point cap oh they downed one eight hours don't really play feels like it takes a long time uh, i mean it, it can but there's lots of different ways to play it right i play it kind of like an rts a lot of people play it as a colony builder 
So you're saying the next step is after establishing a base, you have a freezer, food, you have a prison, storage, four ponds. Don't really know what to shoot for next. Uh, what difficulty are you playing on, Rose? Because it'll depend a little bit. But, uh, and it also depends on whether you like the base building aspect, Rose, or if you're more of uh, the combat side of it like I am. Those ones are already weakened. Uh, you can't breed the entities, no. I'm trying to capture them to get biopharite from them and energy. Uh, it's a new anomaly thing. But yeah, you, you can't you can't breed them. You can't uh, tame them. You imprison them and harvest things from them. Or traders. Mods want to flirt more if you have bed and they live alone. You say bed. Uh, no. No, it doesn't work that way. But peace will definitely more combat based players. Thing of raising difficulty now that you figured it out. So one of the things I would try for then is make sure you're getting your research done and maybe add a few, add some more pawns. Um, I, for like a. A player that's relatively newer to the game that's wanting to go up in the difficulty a little bit from where you are, getting like 8 to 12 pawns can feel pretty good. So you might want to work towards that a little bit. Um, and making sure you have, if you if you're still playing on the difficulty where you can do like no outer walls, you might want to start working on an outer wall with doors, uh, at least to most of the entrances to, to limit the possibility of where raids come in. Or to at least give you some time. But without seeing your base or knowing your play style, I can't know 100%. But if you ever want, you can always post uh, a screenshot of your base in our Discord. Discord is very active and you don't have to be a sub or anything. In the Discord, we have a room world channel. There's always people in there. Oh, can we get, sneak that one? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go. If, if you want. Uh, No, we haven't gotten blood rain in this one yet. I do want to see blood rain in the snow, but we haven't gotten it in this playthrough yet. I was pretty close. So. Eight to twelve. <laughs> Eight to twelve. 8 to 12? Well, that's 8,212 pawns. Yeah, that's a little bit too many. No, I'm sure you know what I mean. We'll wait on that. Been lurking for a while. Want to save and love it. Oh, thank you, Mod9. I appreciate it. T-Bob, thank you for the super chat. Got home safely on your six hour drive. Yeah, I told you to be safe. I'm, I'm glad you listened, because if I hadn't said that, you would have been reckless. Something to entertain you during the six hours? Yeah, my pleasure. I'm glad you enjoyed. Beast gain consciousness while they are being carried? Yes. Yes, they can. Uh, thank you again. Hey! 
I, you snuck in there and built that? Uh, yeah, thank you again for the super chat. <laughs> Phil, leave it alone. His name's not Phil. Pin. I really want to make a bed. Yeah, well. Well, I gotta be careful. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be doing this until we're able to make our own assault. Oh my god, make our own assault rifles. Oh, we're gonna get some big raids. Watch you people. I'm not. So, what happened is uh, sometimes, for whatever reason, when you select someone to build something, they will do it as only the hauling part of the job. And then they might have to, like, go eat or go do something else. So, they won't, they won't queue up the work part and someone else will swoop in and finish it. Hey, another schematic research finished. We'll figure that out in a little bit. Uh, there are two Chimera up there. Oh, there's one down from injury. Yes, I want to get that one too. Uh, we got to get more of this done, even if it's just temporary. What do we have for blocks? Yeah, let's set up another temporary one. wrong stream no you didn't those are all normal quality beds you probably save only like terms of wealth wooden beds just aren't worth anything yeah yeah still though 250 wealth man that's like one of the raiders might come wearing uh wearing a flag vest now when they would have had just a duster you know no <laughs> can wargs eat corrupted meat i don't know i would i would imagine so but i, I don't know I know the door is different. It doesn't matter. This is just like a temporary. We need to, to throw together sort of thing. Why did I offset door by one block away? Uh, for this one, it's because if you have the door right here, if you have the door right here and you have two holding platforms, which we did have, we had two here. Sometimes they will stand in the doorway holding the door open while they're studying and that lowers the containment amount. new dlc worth it i worth is subjective but i think it's worth it for me what's the best thing to do with tainted gear smelt the ones that you can smelt put the good ones on bloodlust people uh destroy the rest let reload didn't work yeah that's weird wargs can't eat them okay thank you 
Yeah, I, I figured they could, but I, I hadn't run into it yet, so I wasn't 100% sure. Um, There's so few of them left. Creations outside the walls. Cult kid is becoming an adult. Wow, cult kid, look at you. 13 and an adult. All right, you better have grown up strong this time. We have not gotten very lucky on these at all. Aesthetic can be good, but in the long run, I don't really want that. Wow, this is actually one of the worst full rolls I've gotten on a raising a kid from birth. So I think I'm actually going to choo choose no trade on this. I don't want them to be a brawler. Aesthetic is good in the, in the beginning. Later on, though, I want them to have mood from fancy stuff. Ormond sucks. Wimp sucks. Too smart. I don't want to run that. Uh, so, yeah. No trait, I guess. Another builder. Always good. Hopefully, we can get them some... Well, we know we can get the medical experience, actually. They also give them a lot of passions. Why is too not smart not good? Because they're going to break down more often. Teetotaler is pretty bad too, yeah. Body modder is good, but yeah. All right, Cult Kid, let's get you a name. Cult Kid, more like disappointment. <laughs> yeah, I don't want them breaking down like during a raid that we're kiting or something, so I'm not going to get too smart on them. Story alive. <laughs> disappointing kid too smart has a positive but it also has a downside i do not want him breaking down while we're like out kiting metal horrors or something right so metal what horrors horrors Horror. A great horror from beyond. Start doing it like some kind of southern preacher. Just cult adults. <laughs> cult adults. Thoughts on using hebogen packs are worth the harvest time for fast recovery. I mean it can be, yeah. I don't I don't bother with it just because I just don't feel like it generally, but it can be worth it, yeah, even without a single fish. Really hoping to down another one, but well, we're downing them, all right. Okay, so those are taken care of now. How long is it probably till your first Nolly run has an edited version? I don't know. I haven't heard back from the editor yet, unfortunately, so I have no idea. Devil Bob, thank you for the 23 months. Oh, yeah, my pleasure. I'm glad you still think so, Devil Bomb. The DOF is only on one specific pawn, too. Yeah, that is weird, Leo. Will it be episodic or supercut? I don't know. I haven't heard back from the editor yet. Tips to get... More colonists? Is that what you're asking? Uh, it depends on if you have the DLC or not. If you have DLCs, all the DLCs, the easiest way to get new colonists is to have six ritual events that all have a chance for an auto-join. And then just use these on cooldown every 20 days. 
You can get anywhere from zero to six pawns every 20 days that are already your ideology uh, if you if you want. So if you have all the DLCs, ideology join rituals are the the easiest way to get lots of pawns safely. Uh, I think you Seder. Oh, research is so friggin' slow. How long until these reset? 17 days, okay. All right, um... Let's skip abduct. Best, what's up? Serious pain, what's up with you? Food poisoning, okay. We'll wait till you're over food poisoning, then we'll do that. Major Hurts, what's going on with you? Food poisoning also. We could switch over to pace for a while. We did finally unlock it, right? We did unlock paste. It's going to hit mood a little bit, but it does stretch food, and we are right in the middle of winter. It might be a good idea, even just temporarily. I'll think about it. This is Cassandra. Yeah, the last run that we finished was Randy. We're not using our ideology roles that give pawns higher expectations. It gives pawns higher... Well, I am using them, but... I mean, I'm using the priest. I have production specialist. Um... Aside from those, I don't need any more right now, but Priest and Leader both give two higher expectations. Oh, High Mate Colonist. Autocorrect. Tip for High Mate Colonist. Uh, having a High Mate is really good, especially as your moral guide. I mean, I, I don't know. You, they're an incapable violence pawn that's almost always happy, and they give another pawn higher psychic sensitivity uh, and give that other pawn um, Sanguine, basically. So I would think about maybe if you're going to decide which person your high mate attaches to, maybe have them attached to someone that you need the extra mood on, like your leader. It, it's actually pretty good to have like a high mate moral guide because they're social and their mood, and then have them hook up with the leader. And that way they give sanguine to the leader. Basically sanguine, genetic sanguine, I guess you could call it. What are the little seed-looking things around the green energy thing? Uh, that's immature heel roots. They changed the growing graphic of some of the plants with I don't want to do that much steel yet. Oh well. Here we can wait. How do you remove the inhumanization health issue? You don't. Not without brain wipe. That's that's the whole point of choosing the inhuman ideology is to make people inhumanized. Uh, the only way to remove inhumanization is to do a brain wipe. Never seen a Phoebe Chillax gameplay? There's a reason for that. It's boring. Phoebe's the only storyteller that I've never beaten because every time I try to play against her, I'm like, God, nothing's happening. It might actually be a little bit more doable and enjoyable now if you just do provoke every time on cooldown against Phoebe. Keep cloning high mates. <laughs> Solar flare. Can the shotgun tunnel be longer than only five rows and add snipers? If you want to friendly fire your pawns in the back of the head with your sniper rifles, yes. But yeah, really no, no. If you make it much longer than that, then your snipers are going to be shooting your front colonists in the back of the head. What's a brain wipe? Brain wipe is a ritual from Anomaly that gets rid of all resistance, gets rid of unwavering, and gets rid of a few other things. Negative mood blitz, stuff like that. Can provoke with waste packs. Yeah, I guess that's true. Will I be doing another speed run anytime soon? Those are fun. Uh, vanilla as in no mods at all. Or I mean no DLC at all. I do want to try an anomaly speed run at some point, but I'm not sure when. Does it auto convert? I don't remember. 
We we tested it, and honestly, I don't remember if ideology changed. But it does get rid of all the resistance. We used it on a 60 plus resist pawn and it got rid of all of it. Speed run a rocket off the planet before Phoebe hits you with even 10 raids. Yeah. The one ritual. It gets rid of unwaveringly loyal and all resistance and some negative moodlets and it gets rid of inhuman if they're inhuman. Some of the gonna get deleted. No, it doesn't work like that. I'm gonna do the yeah, I have several runs planned. So I'm gonna do a uh, melee gods versus void gods run. I'm gonna do an all endings run, and I'm gonna do an anomaly speed run, at least those three. And then there's also custom scenarios that you can do. We can do a run where uh it's permanent darkness, the the dangerous darkness. We could do permanent death pall. We could do a permanent blood rain run. I actually thought about making the the melee gods have a custom scenario where it's constant uh, blood rain, but I don't know. That might be a little crazy. I think I'm thinking about doing melee gods versus void gods next. Yeah, permanent darkness and solar flare. Unusually clever. Crap, Itakin. Uh, I don't have this open because I was expecting anomaly stuff. So unfortunately, we're going to lose a bit of our walls here. They have a lot of animals. A lot of their raid points are in animals. Oh, that door is actually a problem problematic door, too. Well, it's just the wood walls. That would be unplayable. Eventually, you run out of wood. That's the light. Yeah. Yeah. Don't think that would be plausible. Goodbye, Hampers. Yeah, it, so it's basically deleting the heat in that doorway, but it's not like making the room itself worse. It's not like pull, sucking it out of the room, if that makes sense. Can you remove a tentacle arm? And... You can remove a tentacle arm. It becomes a uh, an enemy when you remove it. It becomes a finger spike. But you can't remove it, yeah. And that finger spike that it becomes can give you um, the metal horror parasite, so. I guess we'll leave that open for now, but I'd be careful. You need light for Guarlin. It would that way. Yeah, I guess not. That'd be kind of crazy. Blood rain, no walls, be constant. Yeah, constant animal attacks. Yeah. Marriage is on Ev and Center. Center. Okay. Be careful. We can be attacked right now. That's the first normal raid we've had in quite some time. I'm going to leave that. Uh, uh, we'll get another notification when they actually get married. It's fine. Oh, Revenant's out. I saw that there was a spot there.
one or joins. It's our first one or join event. Okay. Uh, how much steel do we have? We have like no friggin' steel. Very little, I should say. So it didn't go all the way over here. Preserve with the metal horror and then send them home to destroy them. No, you can't. No, it can't do that. Okay, so it made it out of there by... Oh, I don't know what... Where exactly. These work through walls, so... Thanks, no. There's another problem with bedrooms over barracks, huh? And we found all, all the other ones pretty easily. Stop leaving marks. I'm gonna have to go uh, research the flesh. Okay, so we know it went that way, obviously, but... Well, if you think, uh, if you're doing a playthrough where you're not doing the anomaly start, I would say at least have some way to reveal, uh, revenants. So, uh, my preferred method would be an EMP grenade. So you might want to not start it until you have an EMP. Like, yeah, if we were still using the barracks, then that, that doesn't happen, but. What happens to the hypnotized person? They come out of hypno hypnotization once the revenant's dead. You still trap in your base? I don't know what you mean. Maybe I should have everyone temporarily sleep back in there. Maybe. We should be able to find it. Dead or contained or only dead. When you, when it drops its spine, they'll come out of it. Wait, uh... Oh, we didn't damage it enough to even reveal the flesh this time. Okay. We didn't damage it. <laughs> oh! I can't arrest you because Vess is, uh, downed. Snow makes this much easier, huh? Any idea how to beat it with only one colonist? I don't think you can. I mean, unless you're, like, a Mechanator, maybe. Don't know, I squared. What will happen if a Revenant hypnotizes another? It'll keep hypnotizing everyone until it, it you, until you lose, basically. If you don't take care of it. Okay. 
It moved again. I saw the mark, though. Munkin, you would not get a colonist. There's like 4,000 names in the queue. So if you if you got in it right now, you would you would just never be a colonist. So uh, I'll re-enable I'll re it. Re-enable it. Will flares reveal it? Yes. I'll re-enable it when we get the bot fixed. But right now, it would it would do you no good to put a name in the queue. It wouldn't do anything. It'd be the same as just like deleting your points at the moment. Unfortunately, it's just... That's just how it is at the moment. The bot's broken. The bot's been broken for six months. Maybe longer. Leading points, you say? Food is pretty bad at the moment. Name Q is Rimworld Door right now. Look how much worse the mood is with everyone sleeping here. I might actually do that and put everyone back in the barracks while we're dealing with this revenant since I don't have enough detectors. So. What do you deal with the sphere until he rips you apart? Uh, so basically you want to imprison it and suppress it. And then you want to study it. And then when you get to the final part of the study, you can send it to attack things. And then you just send it after something. And that, and you let them deal with it. And it could be a traitor. It could be a group of manhunters. But you want to send it away. Uh, that's, that's the best way to do it. So you don't have to deal with it. You don't have to fight it. If you're in a situation where you 100% have to fight it, then make sure you don't group your colonists up. Because it will fear them. And it will also... Uh, blast everyone. How to find Metal Horror Infestation? To find Metal Horror Infestation, you're going to have to wait until a piece of flesh falls off someone, and then you study it until you get the signature. And then you will do a surgical inspection. Hopefully your doctor isn't one of the ones with it. And if your doctor doesn't have the um, parasites and knows the signature and investigates someone with the signature, then they'll pop out as far as discovering it. You can also do interrogation. So if you think it might be someone, you could imprison them and set up interrogation. It's easier to find, yeah, so I was talking about that earlier. So the Mechanitor has a bonus because their mechs can't lie about what they find. And they can't be metal horrors. 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 Bring entities with you on a caravan? No. Can't. 
either let someone else deal with it or get back social distancing. Yeah, and, and if it really comes down to it, if you can't deal with it in any way, you don't have anyone to send it after, you can't kill it yourself, and it's about to go off, your best bet is to caravan off the tile with everyone, leave one person behind that you care about the least, and have the sphere trigger on the corner of the map somewhere. And then once that person is, is dead, or the sphere has departed, bring everyone back. That's like last case scenario. To save your colony from the sphere if you need to. Did you do any off-map events last run? Uh, just one, I believe. Mechs are already metal horrors. Can mechs be swallowed? I haven't tested that. Are there any clues of the infestation? Uh, the only real clue is that someone has it is when you get the flesh that falls or the, yeah, the flesh that falls off. I mean, you can suspect it, but you don't really know until the flesh falls off. Are there any new off map events? Yes. When? When can the flesh fall off? It seems like after what, what I've looked at, after it has spread at least once, then the flesh is more likely to fall off of someone. It does no good inspecting people if you don't know what to look for anyway. You have to first get enough information to know which signature to look for. So if you haven't gotten the full signature yet of the parasite, then you are better off doing investigation of people you think are suspicious instead of uh, medical inspect surgical inspection what's the shadow around the outer wall those are roofs for a fire break can centipedes be swallowed yeah I don't, I don't know I haven't tested any of those I haven't seen any new tracks in a while. It's probably right around here somewhere. Like, that's the last track we saw. We hit here and here, but it could be around in this area. How does it help against fire? Because fire can't jump over three tiles, and this makes it so no vegetation grows in that area. And so there's no, there's no vegetation to grow there, so the fire can't hop over to the next thing. Like a wildfire. How much? Uh, I really liked the DLC. Yeah, I've really liked it so far. Hmm. Kind of wish it would come back already. I don't, yeah, n not really. I don't really, I mean, I have a flare pack that I picked up in the labyrinth, but I don't really have enough material to keep replenishing it. Good move, didn't hook up your PC for like three months and then you saw the DLC. <laughs> Surprise. Um, flares aren't research. Flares are dark study. We have extra dark study speed. Are, are, is the game running better with mini pawns than in 1.4? No. No. The game does not run any better in 1.5 than it did in 1.4. Unfortunately. Revenant, it hypnotizes someone and runs away. 
So we're waiting for it to attack again. Did I build roofs around your outer wall? Yes. Diverse thoughts, yeah. All right. Freaking Neanderthal, die! Holy crap! <laughs> Use the containment areas on people. <laughs> My thoughts on the new weapons. Uh, the crossbow is a good utility weapon. The other two weapons generally aren't worth using. Good shit. From a min-max standpoint, I should say. Probably already knew that's what I meant, but... Alright, um... Piano. Eh. It broke out? It broke out. Tin flak pants. Uh... I haven't seen any more marks for it in a long time. I really feel like it's up here somewhere. That was the last one we saw. Mood's been really bad. I'm trying to get Mood up. Why we moved back in here for the very impressive buff. Why not make the Neanderthal a ghoul? I don't have the ability to make ghouls yet. That's why I don't have any ghouls. We just have not had the ghoul event yet, so... I don't have ghouls yet. So I can't even research ghouls, and so them being here was causing a mood hit because of extreme, uh, extremely bigoted, and so uh, that yeah, that, that's why I I would definitely have a couple ghouls already if uh, we unlocked it, but we we don't we don't have the unlock yet. Uh, anomaly researcher start starts with ghouls unlocked. This does not. Ghoul research requires ghouls. Yes. Pews are giving it. Found the cause. I'm glad you found it. Don't Steve. They don't just go to caves, no. Earlier we found one hiding in this doorway. There was one standing here. That was just like a cool thing for the... I already checked both of these cubbies. When mood's back up, during the daytime, we'll go. All DLCs are on? Yes. It's hard to get shards in the early stage. It is hard in the early stage, then later on you have quite a lot. Do temperature, does temperature affect entities in any way? Some entities it does. Some entities actually are less likely to escape if it's cold. Or uh, if the temperature is correct. Why do I have walls out there? Fire break. Or, uh, roofs, fire break. The wildfires can't spread because we're using wooden walls. Just for the cinematic. Yeah, yeah. They can hide just about anywhere. We'll go search over there a little bit again. Devourers are immune to burn box. <laughs> yeah. We have to suppress that, too. All right, let's go double check. Only a baby raven. Revenant's here. All right, here we go. It already made it back to the base. Why so many prisons? They're not prisons, not really. All right.
Okay. Almost there. They were temporarily set for prisons. They were temporarily set for prisons so my pawns would all sleep in the same spot. That way when the Revenant came back to get someone else, everyone was together. Right. Back to work, back to work. Now we can suppress that again. Food is okay-ish. You're gonna steal that idea? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the security doors are fantastic, yeah. Um, but our research is so slow. That uh, we have to get auto doors first and then security door. You don't start with security door unless you start anomaly. Um, if if you, the anomaly researcher. Oh, we can yeah, we can absolutely destroy that uh, that thrombo. Guess we might as well. Might as well. How long until these reset? Ten days. Okay. I was asking a prison, not the containment structure for entity. Oh, I got you. Yeah, because we, um, I don't have the stuff to make the containment high enough like I did in my other run. So if you do the anomaly researcher start, you start with a bunch of nice stuff for keeping anomalies. But we are uh, tribal ritualists, so research speed is like 12% or some craziness. So anything that is actual like research, we're super slow with, and uh, some of the containment stuff is like the security doors is actual research and not. Um, anomaly dark study. Jealous. Okay. Yeah, you can you can put it down to slow if you don't want the extremely slow, yeah. How do you deal with the gray metal whores? Uh, they can... It depends on what you... Which one you mean. Do you mean, like, the actual infestation? Do you mean the ones from the Void Monolith events? Because it's, it's vastly different how you handle three metal whores popping out of people compared to, like, a hundred metal whores during the endgame events. Uh, if you're talking about how to deal with the infestation or infection, you need to try to find it, but you need to get the signature of it to be able to find it surgically. If you suspect someone has it, like if a new... So another thing I would suggest is if you have a creep... So let me show you. It can come different ways, but if you have not found Metal Horrors yet, you're in Tier 2, and you get a creep joiner, someone that, like a, an occultist or anyone that tries to come and ask you to join... And do not let that person cook or tend to people. That's the biggest way they spread is by them being doctors. And every time they tend to someone, they'll infect them or have a high chance. So if you suspect someone like that, do not let them do cooking or doctoring specifically. Uh, uh, Dev, Dev, thank you for the three months. Thank you, Dev. I have a second for it to pop up on my my list, even though I heard it. <laughs> Carpenter trees stop death, Paul. Uh, I mean, it, the consumed corpses can't come back, right? So it kind of doesn't stop it, but reason to let creep joiners to actually join at all. I always refuse all of them. Uh, many of them have really good abilities. 
You can have the healer heal someone of things that normally you couldn't heal. You can have someone transmute steel into like gold and plasteel and uranium. Um, there, there's quite a few really good, and a lot of times they're really good pawns. You can run into a pawn that has 18 in every skill and don't, they don't lose experience. They're, they have perfect memory. So they are really, oh man, more flus. They are really good, but they do come with some risks. They're really good. Creep joiners. Creep joiners are called. Don't let him cook. That's right. Remember the thrombo? Yeah, I don't know. I kind of kind of don't need it. So, well, maybe we did need it. I didn't realize we were getting as low as we were. Maybe I should have killed it. I was thinking like, eh, I don't need the wealth from it, but maybe I should have killed it. Now we need to let this flu run its course before we do the other stuff that we were planning on doing. Don't let who cook? Suspected metal horror? Yes. Suspected metal horrors, you don't want them to cook or do doctoring. Blind healer came to you while everyone was dying anyway, so you're in trouble. <laughs> I'm in trouble. I'm in danger. You think that the later patches might let us unleash horrors on enemy factions? I don't know. Sometimes they give a uh, post DLC major patch that adds more stuff. Like, for instance, 1.2 was the patch after royalty, and that added anima trees and more ways to get side casting, and uh, it added a bunch of stuff. It added uh, losing. It added 500%. Uh, it added wealth independent mode. So it's possible we get like a major patch after 1.5 like 1.5.5 or 1.6 or something but yeah i don't know i don't know if we will remember illegal side casting yeah <laughs> yeah royalty changed a lot with 1.2 what's the point of stacking the beds like that I just threw them in there. There's no point in it. I s s just threw them in there quickly because I needed somewhere to lure the revenant to. Can you use chronophagy on babies and newborns? No. You have to be 13 years or older on both sides of chronophagy. Am I letting the corpses rot? Th these had scaria. They were they were instantly rotted. I I'm not letting them. They just came that way. Uh, on losing his fun, Manhunters have an 82% chance to just instantly rot because of Scaria. All DLC. I'm already using all DLC. You mean the one where I was like all endings? I don't know, because that would make it even longer. Longer. Can you still delete a cooler's heat with a door? Yes. Yes, you can. Hawker, you are the 10 gift subs. I almost said 10 months. Thank you, Hawker. Very much appreciated. These corpses, I don't want the stuff from these. We can't eat them. We can't use the dread leather because we're not inhuman. So those can just stay there uh, and we will we will dispose of them. Those of them. Technically, it's 10 months. 10 one months. That's right. Thanks, Hawker. No one buys dread leather? No, but they'll buy dread leather clothing. So if you want to get rid of your dread leather and trade it for stuff, you can make it into clothing and trade that off. Toxic fallout? No thanks. All right. So we need a lot of steel. That's the big thing right now is we're really low on steel. I think I'm going to actually strip mine here a little bit. There's some steel here, but I think I'm going to strip mine this a little bit. We know there's some there. But there's got to be other stuff here too. 
it's just scary having people out working like this now, you know, with sight stealers and revenants and stuff. And I think our main miner is Raven. Yeah. I think that the cultists would want to wear what they kill since it's entities, you'd think. Why don't I use fridge for food? I, I don't need it. I don't need it. I, pro I will use a fridge for food when we have ghouls because I'll need to keep meat. But at the moment, we're just we just don't need it. Tortured artist, body pierced genie. The easiest race of your legendary. Nice. Does the introduction of books mean that in theory you don't have to build a research bench? Oh, you don't. Yeah. It's slow and cumbersome to do it. But yeah, you can do it a whole. You can disable research and get everything. Bedroom baby has become a child. Where'd you go, bedroom baby? Now you're a bedroom kid. But yeah, you you can do all your research with uh, with schematics now. Yeah. Yep. Kind of crazy, but you can. Yeah, I really like books all together. Yeah, I like them. Why did you put two tiles of roof beyond the walls? Three tiles, fire break. Three tiles for a fire break. Hey, steel already. Nice. Excellent. Could settlers always make snowmen in winter biomes? Yes. Oh, hey, look at all this. Nice. I knew there had to be steel in them there heels. Yeah, luckily roofs are free. <laughs> It's are free. You got blood rain during your winter? Yeah, I'm waiting for on that. Oh no, we got a we had a false spring. That sucks. sucks. Where are the black puddles? That is gore from the revenants that we hunted. Big research must be unlocked with the books. Yeah, it, it's an interesting thing. It, it, it does open up playthroughs like that. Schematics are a nice way to get around the super slow research. Yeah, yeah, exactly. From uh, that's that's what we've been doing with the ritualist. Yeah, I've been going out and trading at those places on cooldown in order to uh, in order to get schematics. Yeah, the implication of a three-year-old high mate. I know it happens pretty often too. Steal weapons that you don't want to rate rather than smelt down. Is it just not worth it? I do smelt them, but it depends on the, the the time of the game. I don't think there's a single run where I don't start smelting steel weapons, but it depends on the how far into the game I, I am and my electricity that I have and how many people I have that can do it and a bunch of other factors. But in general, yes, I will smelt weapons every single game at some point. How do you make them read books instead of doing normal research? Books are not a research job. Books are recreation. So they will just read books for recreation as one of their recreation types. Smelter. Yeah, Smelter has quite a bit of power. You can always turn it off when you're not using it. But yeah, at the moment, I'm just not worried about it. You wonder if the Revenant will trigger ID fire foam trap while invisible? I'm not sure if it'll trigger the ID or not. Yeah, I know that the uh, fire foam will stick to it and reveal it, but I don't know if they'll trigger the ID of it. That'd be interesting. You can't force them to read. You can technically force them to read, but it's very micromanagey and they'll get unhappy because uh, it's a recreation type and they'll get up. They'll eventually get upset that they're having to do the exact same recreation type over and over. No recreation variety. Look at all the steel in this. Holy crap. In. This is our first Gore Hulk. That's a uh, tier two as well, I think, right? Gore Hulk. Um, you know what? Let's see how this works with Gore Hulk. I might really regret it, but. Or is that tier one? It's tier two. No, no, tier one. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I said tier two. I was thinking of um, uh, what you call it? It doesn't matter. Get over here.
Uh, collision, collision. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't cause collision soon enough. Uh, we might be in a little bit of trouble. We're gonna have to use our low shield, I think. Get out, get out, get out. I forgot to cause collision. Who's got the low shield? Lizard. Use it. Well, mistakes are made. I don't have a turret yet. I'm used to having a turret. Kid, you have a you have a shield. Get up there. How much time do we have? Ten seconds. Ten seconds. We're fine. Thankfully, we had a low shield. Oof. I we have a double door. I could have caused collision with someone inside the double door, and I just. I space that we don't have a turret out there. Okay. Um, we don't really have enough for these to be contained yet. So I know they're tier one. It's not like crazy. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. So one of the minute all the way over there, huh? Okay. Design wise, look like they are melee. Yeah, they're not. They're actually weak melee. Yeah. The roof a wall? No. Why'd I put walls next to my outer roofs <laughs> to hold them up? So that could have been really bad. Uh, we actually haven't. Yeah, we haven't gotten to gun turrets yet, but do treatment needed. That's fine for now. We gotta get all this redone. But had some problems. What's with all the rotting corpses in the entrance? These are in the water. Don't they give a debuff? I mean, if someone's out there running around the water, they're going to get a pretty big debuff. But the, the water makes them rot faster. Think the Harbinger trees will be part of the tree worshiping? Uh, that would be pretty awesome, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. That'd be nice if they added that. That one was still alive, but well. Alright, so... We, we gotta get this research done. Uh, how are we doing on components? We have quite a lot. Alright, so let's... Grab a few of you. Get rid of this other false cube. Turn off one of the stoves. You don't need the extra one right now. Some of the trees? Yeah, I would like to, but we haven't... Uh, we haven't... You can buy the seeds, but... I haven't come across them yet in this playthrough. I wish you could... Uh, I, w I wish you could actually go get the... Or replant the trees like you can with normal trees. That would be pretty awesome. 
but you can get a you can buy the seeds for them and of course you can have the grove spread by putting corpses but it would be nice if you could just what's that be nice if you could just transplant them Who am I? I'm the same person that made rooms in the single phase run three runs ago. No mistake. Draw floor, increase the research speed since it's slightly cleaner. Uh, I think any flooring will increase it a little bit. Like, even just concrete floor increases by 6%. What are the green glowing things? Those are unstable power cells from royalty. They're from mech clusters and they generate power. How many research benches would be optimal for tribal start? I would say set every single one of your tri your colony or colonist members to a four in research at least. And then every time you see someone idle, put down another research bench. So generally, I will have one research bench for every colonist in the early game on any any start. I miss flooring under the research bench. music or right vanilla music it adds to vanilla music so you get both when you use colonist cause collision do you have to leave them there for the collision to stay if there's more enemies coming yeah like if there's a big lo long line of them but once the last of them gain collision you can bring them around to fight but we'll, oh yeah no worries no worries uh i think that was already there or something yeah but here i did miss yeah there i did miss see there, I missed. easy to do usually i just have a big room and i just slam it all down you know <laughs> so you don't have to worry about it. just make a big square all right Let's make sure this whole place has power ran through it, so I don't have to worry about this in the future. This room just to the left, the generator for that's going to be our workshop or kitchen. I'm not sure yet. Why I don't use ghouls? I don't have access to ghouls yet. I will use ghouls when I get them, but I don't have access to them. It's just it's kind of random which ones you get first, and we just we just don't have the ability. There's just, ghouls don't exist for us yet. Like, you have to... There's the ghoul infusion, but it's unknown to us because we haven't ran into a ghoul. Now, if you start with the anomaly researcher start, they start with a ghoul, so they already have the research available, but this is not the anomaly researcher start. This is tribal ritualist start. Okay, let's get rid of that. So we will, yeah. I actually really like the ghoul as uh, melee blockers. I would love to have one. It'd be really nice to have had one or to have some right then. The attack came in, but we just uh, we just aren't there yet. Just aren't there yet.
Virtualists are slow, yes. <laughs> yes, they are. We're not even to assault rifle, crafting assault rifles yet. Range colonists break hidden conduits? I've never had them. No floodlights? I will use floodlights, but I'm just specifically building different this run. Just building different for fun. Can you show a close up of one of the new wall lamps? Uh, these wall lamps have the morbid style, so they have little skulls on them. Tough, finally. Way to go, kid. Way to go. Festival kid, growing up nice. Careful shooter. Uh, we'll, we'll ignore careful shooter, but. Way to go, kid. Way to go. Actually, let's get art, too. You might end up being a production specialist. Maybe. We'll see. Tough. Nice. Why don't I provoke the monolith? We were going to provoke the monolith, and then we got two plagues and the flu, and we had enemies attack at the same time, uh, while a revenant had people hypnotized. Uh, so it's just... I'm not just going to do it... Like, it'll be on... It'll be extra on top of the Cassandra hits. I'm not just going to do it just to do it whenever, even if we're not in... You know, in good shape. Like, why add another thing on top of us? Kill us? Just... just just to see ghouls slightly earlier, like, uh, there's no reason for you to. I know you don't need this many, but whatever. Let's do it. Do the thing. So yeah, I... I we had planned to do it, but basically, I want higher psychic sensitivity for it right now. And so we were building up Bioferrite, but then the stuff that was giving us Bioferrite got away. Um, I need Bioferrite so I can make more Void Sculptures to increase the quality. And then we're going to do Skip Induction, which just came off cooldown a little bit ago. And then we're going to do Psychophagy to pull the psychic out of, out of, or the psychic sensitivity out of them. And then we'll Void Provoke after that. But I'm... I, I can't do everything at once. I'm like trying to build a base as well, you know. Uh, we'll we'll get it all for sure. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Two plagues just walk it off. <laughs> yeah, it really sucked that we got two plagues in a row. Two plagues, and we've had so many flus as well. So many flus. Ah, that doesn't bother anyone. Does the singularity kill box still work? No, it specifically got patched out of 1.5. Read the pinned comment on the guide. Clone myself. Yeah, I need I need corrupted obelisk at home. Actually running pretty low on food. A small tribal trader into your map and they have a book for sale you can cause mental breaks on reading yeah the tomes yep yeah. tomes are like schematics for dart study so you get uh, progress on um on your anomaly research basically but at the cost of having a chance for people to have breakdowns
How would we know if you clone yourself or not? I guess you wouldn't. If I, unless I showed up with organ decay. Why can't you play four games no pause at the same time? Uh, I, I guess I'm just losing my, my touch. Losing it a little bit. Just a little bit. Still a cube back there. You're kind of scared to answer distress signals. You want me to tell you what it is? I can tell you what it is, but I don't want to spoil it if you don't want to know. All right, let's put our shards there. We'll put some bioferrite here. And then let's make a little zone. We'll move this zone over there. And how much bioferrite do we have right now? We don't have a ton. We'll get it moved over though. We have shards outside that we can grab. I don't think we have bioferrite outside though. So a lot of steel up there. How many shards are outside the base? One, two, three. Three shards outside the base. Okay, nice. Oh my god, this research is taking forever. Uh, the place is reset. They reset. Okay, so if we have enough stuff to trade, we should go off again. Um, ten. I actually don't have a lot to trade, but it should be enough to at least buy some more schematics. Do we finish this schematic? Yes. Okay. We finish this one. Yep. We finish that one. Yep. Schematics are really good at research. Holy crap. Learn a lot every time you watch. Awesome. Thank you for watching. All right, hit the road. Uh, we need to be a little careful depending on the direction he goes. So once he's packed up and leaving, I might escort him a little bit because there could be a sight sealer out there and we don't know. Man, we actually probably should make bridges for the next time that there's an abduction raid. I think we have to. Like, right now, if we got an abduction raid that was in this corner down here, I think we just lose someone. Oh, did we bring those barrels in? Oh, no. The four barrels that dropped during the Chimera attack, they happen to drop in the water. They're all gone. Unfortunate. Still storage near the machine table. Critical. Oh, yeah. You catch. There we go. Thank you. Catch. All right, come on, have some good schematics. Auto doors, we need that one. Auto doors and fire foam. That'll be a good one. No assault rifles again. Okay, so we'll just accept that one and go on down to the next trader. And I, I kind of wish I would have, would have uh, settled near even more traders. I wasn't, I just wasn't. Uh, Really respecting how long ritualists take to research things. How does the psychophagy work? Is the increase permanent? No, uh, the increase uh, is based on the quality. You can have it for over a hundred days, depending on the quality. So if you have like a hypersensitive pawn and you do a ritual with a hypersensitive pawn and you have the six statues and the four shard beacons, or whatever they're called, um, 
you can get it like two two years of the, of the increase. Kind of crazy. All right. Schematics, schematics. Sterile materials, okay. No assault rifles. Uh, what helmets do you guys have? Might be something. That. No helmets. Hmm. Oh, are you thinking of Lou? The story of Lou? We could upgrade to horses now, too. That would make these trades faster. But it's, they're already pretty close by. I also need to neutralize the pigs, actually. So instead of trading out all this, let's see how close we are. To, I don't think we'd be... Maybe, maybe. Yeah, well, let's check it out. We might as well while we're out. And then that would open up one more trader that's not... You know, in that case, maybe I should grab a horse. But then we're not going to have enough for sure. How far away is this? It's a day away. All right, it'll be worth it because that'll be one less uh, faction that can hit us with explosives. Do you reduce other recreation types? You can to make them read more. Yeah, you can. You can just go with the minimum amount of recreation that your uh, people need. Recreation types, if you want. Am I going to try to auto bong? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, you can buy the Harbinger Seeds, yeah. Shaman Merchant, you found yours on? They're pretty expensive. One time, well, it, that might have been because we were inhuman, and human are so bad at trading. Like, this exotic trader could have one, for instance. Uh, when I found one, it was all, almost 900 silver for one of them. They have a Pollock Seed. Fire Foam, we're already bringing one of those back. Is it 700 value? What does the Harbinger Tree do? Harbinger Tree uh, eats corpses. And if you cut them down, they produce meat. Or you get meat from cutting them down, I should say. Oh, we are getting, like, no biofare, right? Yeah. Have I done a nature primacy run? Not since Ideology first came out. Yeah, when Ideology first came out, I spent about two weeks and we did, we went through like all the memes and we did like two or three days of each one. I haven't done one that's based around nature primacy since then. This update add anything that's non-DLC? Yeah, 1.5 was huge. 1.5 was 18 pages of changes and it added things like uh, all the different kinds of books and it added wall lights and flood lights and yeah, 1.5 added quite a bit. Is it vegan meat? <laughs> uh, I don't think it is. Why is it still showing that as a live? That must be a bug. Yeah, it shows that it's rising, but it's not actually. 1.5 changes are amazing even beyond the DLC. Yeah. Oh, underground conduits. Oh, if 1.5 had only added on the, um, the new conduit, I would have been happy with that. <laughs> Hidden conduits are so good. You never get this event, even if you have a crap load of batteries. Uh, raiders don't attack them. They don't get set on fire. Like. Love it, love it, love it. Did I restart? No, I beat the first run. So we haven't lost any anomaly runs yet. This is my second run. I beat the first one. Three years of no time to play. The corpses... Oh, uh, do the corpses need to be in range of the tree? Yes. In fact, the... Uh, I'll click on one of them and show you what it looks like. Plus 60. Yeah, not enough. Unfortunate. 
Unfortunately, we'll have to come back with some more sometime. Well, yeah, we have some harbinger trees on the map right now, I believe. So if you click on a harbinger tree, it has a button to create corpse pile. And I'll just do a zone. And then if you want, you can set it to critical so people will take it there more often. They need to add a new enemy type that detects underground conduits and destroy them. Why would they add something to the game to counter the thing that they just added? <laughs> we have a 100% win rate with anom Anomaly so far. Yeah, so far. It's true. This here in the water wasn't actually deteriorating either. Weird. Yeah, that's yeah, weird. So that's definitely a little bug. Common conduits, one steel versus two steel. Yeah, yeah. I, I think they're definitely worth the, the extra cost, but it is something you might have to think about early game, yeah. Oh my god, we're on our way to year four, and we're about to be able to make assault rifles. <laughs> we could go out and kill him, I'm just not going to worry about it. Inconduence and wall lamp are going to reduce your mod list by quite a bit too. Okay, uh, let's get all this done. We'll end up putting more of these together sometime. Actually, we should probably put that towards the edge of the map. Like I had it before, just for now. You're winning? I guess so. Visibility detectors are too basic. There should be a security console operator for them to work. I don't see them doing that, but maybe. I want to get act I want to get more people over this next winter. So, we actually should be growing even more potatoes right now. I don't have a ton of workers to be able to have everything as rice. How come I only have one battery? I only have the one battery because of this, but I don't have things that only use power during certain times, so I don't need it. I, d I don't have sun lamps, so I don't really need batteries. Um, I used it when I had a wind turbine, but that was just early game. The wind turbine is just kind of left over. Feel like seven and keep running out of energy. Depends on where you're getting your power from and if you're using like sun lamps or not. I have a two layer wall with wood outside and stone inside. The reason is I needed an outer wall for anomaly stuff early and the material I had at the time was wood. So a wooden wall was better than no walls. And now I've added another layer of stone and eventually I will get more layers of stone. Solar power isn't good. Solar power isn't constant. So solar power only works when the sun is out, of course, and you need batteries for solar power. Whereas geothermal is constant power, regardless, unless there's a solar flare. Um, solar power is also nerfed even more in Anomaly because there are several events where solar doesn't work. Your winter rides are turning off at night. 
Stop turning off the wind. Or a flash of lightning. Yeah. Yeah, so it's good to have things that are constantly running. Oh my god, we're going to be able to make assault rifles. <laughs> so crazy. Usually I'm making assault rifles on the, like day 20 or something, day 30. We're not really. Um, we're, we're headed there on the research on like day 20 or 30. Uh, generally, we were making assault rifles before the one year mark. We did it! Wow! Look at us! Uh, Alright. So, our... So, Starfield... Um, yeah, Starfield, you're gonna stop planting crops. Sorry. Production specialist. There we go. All right. Oh, did I have this set as critical as well? Probably. Yeah. The right button here. Click the wrong one over and over. It'll it'll sort itself out. Yeah. Oh man! Oh man! That took a lot of time. Hey Larry, do they patch? Is it the stacking shooters? No. They they patched the thing that allows you to manipulate peaking with line of sights in order to shoot further than you're supposed to. So the singularity used a couple of exploits, but the main one it used was the ability to peak and increase the distance you could shoot, but make it so the enemies didn't have somewhere that they could peak to do the same. So you could outrange them and shoot them without them even being able to see you, without them being able to attack back. So they changed it so uh, the you cannot you cannot get the extra shooting from the peaking exploit anymore. So so you can't shoot as far, basically. So by the time that you can shoot the enemies in the singularity now, they can shoot back at you. So it's, it makes no sense to use it. It do, it doesn't work. It doesn't work anymore. They patched it out. Aren't power generators more reliable than wind turbines? Depends on which power generator you're talking about. If you're talking about geothermal, yeah, that's what I mean by constant power. You you want things that are constant power that you don't have to... Like, geothermal are the, the best because they... You don't have to do anything. There's no work required. It's constant power. It doesn't go out when it's nighttime. It doesn't go out when the wind's, low, you know, dying down. Uh, people don't have to put stuff into it. Like, geothermal is, is fantastic, right? Water, uh, if you have a river, creeks or rivers, the water wheels are pretty good too. There's a downside though, and the fact, th the downside is that in the base game, there are no heavy bridges anymore. So to protect them from raiders, um, you, you have to end up using bridges and wooden walls, and those wooden walls are going to get burned or destroyed pretty easily. What are the dark spots? Those are... That's a revenant corpse bile. Revenant corpse bile. Why am I using single bedrooms? You thought I was a fan of barracks. I am a fan of barracks. Barracks are still better than bedrooms. But I play 6,000 hours of this game and I have playthroughs of every sort. So every now and then I'll just do a playthrough where I build different just to have fun and build different. Nothing, by the way, no, nothing against you for asking that. What is funny? What 
for fun. It is interesting because if I if I have multiple runs in a row where I use the min max barracks, people are like, why are you using the the barracks over and over? It isn't that not fun to play with the barracks over and over. And so then I'll do a run where we build differently just for fun, and then people are like, why why are you building differently? Don't you just want to build the barracks again? I do, yeah, I do. Uh, but no, I don't. I don't mind you asking. It's just funny because it gets asked so much. Asked so much. We've had a lot of manhunters. I guess that's a cold map thing, right? Basically. We've had more manhunters than raids for sure compared to last time. We still had majority anomaly events, but we have had quite a bit of manhunters. Say so we saw bedrooms. Yeah, yeah, no worries. <laughs> like I said, it's just funny. Uh, the undeniable dwarf. Thank you for the five gift subs. I was going dwarf. Thank you again. Why not both? Yeah, it's like earlier someone came in uh, joking. Obviously, I know this, but someone came in and was like, man, I love these two-person barracks you got going. <laughs> did I play Darkest Dungeon 2? I did. Did I like it? Yes. Overall, I enjoyed Darkest, my time with Darkest Dungeon 2. Ah, assault rifles. That new advantage because of the metal horrors or something? No, no, no. In fact, bedrooms are weaker against the Revenant. And metal horrors don't really sp spread that way anyway. Why do you repeat twice the last phrase? When I speak? I don't know what you're talking about. Do you have me on two different tabs or something? Is this Goodfellas? Was that Goodfellas? I'm gonna remember right. You call me Adam two times, Adam two times. I don't know, that's just how I talk, it's how I talk. I play in a little Rimworld, a little Rimworld. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the two timer. Uh, this isn't a swamp. This is Boral Forest. Boral Forest generally has quite a bit of buildable terrain. Pick up so it goes back to like a second. Going out to get the papers. Get the papers. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking of. Good fellas. I'm going to get crap for that as well. <laughs> saying that. <laughs> What happens when Blood Rain hits these? They're probably going to go Berserk. How am I planning on dealing with a Manhunter pack? You're looking at it. Manhunter, we sleep. Or you might be joking because I'm answering the same question multiple times. I can definitely see that one. See that line all the time. I'm gonna get the papers. Get the papers. Ever heard of Darkest Dungeon? Any tips? Just to let you know. I'll let you know. Yeah. What entity escapes? Chimera. Uh, you know, in fact, uh, let's finish deep drilling, and then we really need to get security doors. Finally, legendary assault rifle. A depiction of a rectangle surrounded by triangles. <laughs> After the cube incident in this colony, no one wants to make cubes anymore. If you squint your eyes, the vertical composition of the image reveals the outline of a pack of cheetahs. Style is graffiti-like. We'll make anything other than a cube. Who's our best shooter? Now I'm compelled to repeat what I'm saying every time. Even though it wasn't before. 
What's the next step after getting assault rifles? If you mean weapon wise, there is no next step. Domination is the next step. Broken by the cube, by the cube. Is it annoying that you get some questions over and over again? Uh, not necessarily annoying. It does get tiresome sometimes. I know it kind of is the same thing, but it does get tiresome. Um, how do I describe it? I guess it's kind of like I'm stuck like that now. I know I keep thinking of it. And I keep wanting to do it, and sometimes I have been doing it now. But anyway, I sometimes think of it like if you're a teacher and you teach, you have like 10 classes or whatever of the same history lesson, right? And you're going to have to say that same stuff over and over that day. And you're going to get a lot of the same questions. And so as a teacher, you just get used to it. And it's not like because you have new kids on the next class. Not that you guys are kids, but you know what I mean? So if a teacher has just taught a lesson about like Napoleon in, in period one, and then in period two, they have to teach those kids about Napoleon and a kid asks the same question, the teacher is probably not like, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. <laughs> let me let me play a clip for you instead. You know, so it's kind of like that. Kind of like that. Or I, I tried to, oh no, duplicate. Raven, this could be good, let's double check. So I try not to let it bother me, but of course it gets tiresome. I'm sure teachers also get tiresome or tired of answering the same question sometimes. But hopefully you know what I mean. All right, Raven. Let's see if Raven turned out good or not. Decent or not. All righty. Surgical inspection. If we can get another Raven. I mean, they're, they're good. They're really good. So I would take them. The teacher, that's so true. You understand? So, and it's really hard to like actually make me angry. Some Sometimes people are like, oh, he's annoyed, but I'm, I'm really not. It's really hard. It, usually I only get angry if it's stuff about like towards my wife or daughter or something. We might go do that distress signal this time. It could be really good. This weapon is engraved with an illustration of Sacra Neander sitting in quiet contemplation, reflecting truths. What, before we had a kid come out and shoot him with a shotgun until he died? <laughs> okay. All right. Why oh, supported? Yes. Medical inspection in 1.5? No. It's an anomaly thing. That's unfortunate. She got crumbling mind. So how long until we can do our own duplicate? It's ready. So let's take their organs in case we have another duplicate that ends up having organ decay rather than crumbling mind. So we'll harvest left lung, harvest right or left kidney. Let's make sure we get those first. That's so too even. Why is the R a two? I don't know. <laughs> so I can remember. Operation. We finished any research today? <laughs> it's like two. <laughs> Uh, outside of schematics, we finished like two, maybe three. And in WoW, you understand that feeling? Repeat the same mechanic several times, try to get the point across. No barracks this run, we played with the barracks at the beginning of the run. So Crumbling Mine, you can heal it with, maybe we should have went and done the Distress Signal first, because you can get Healer Mech Serum from the Distress Signal.
probably mine for too much TikTok, maybe. All this relationships give Moody Bus if you kill your dupe? No. I mean, if they have if they have a relation with it with them, but like by default, no. So if you get a clone immediately and just go kill them, yeah, they don't really care. I mean, they're a colonist, so they'll have that debuff. But in general, uh, knowledge sinkhole. Thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime. Thank you, knowledge sinkhole. Yeah, it was the second Raven, so I just put a two in the name. The next, I would replace the E with a three. Yeah. <laughs> what is causing that? I have to report that too. I'm not going to take advantage of it. That happened at the beginning of the last expansion as well. Very weird. Very weird. Yep, weird. Infinite hearts. I wonder if it's something to do with the duplication itself. Crumbling mine. Yeah, we know. What are the best dryads? Best dryads. <laughs> so the combat dryads are not very good because they are like made of paper they're not very tanky even the tank dryads not very tanky so the best dryads are ones that supplement your playthrough on maps where otherwise you wouldn't be getting the things that it provides so like if you're on a map that doesn't have a lot of wood then the wood dryad could be really beneficial or even like berries or even medicine right you're doing like a really cold map and you get a dryad going with herbal medicine early, that could be your only medicine in that run for quite a long time. Is crumbling mind ever curable? It is with healer mech serum, but you can't make healer mech serum. How's a ritualist meme? It's okay. It's yeah, it's nowhere near as good as inhuman. Not even close. Are your dryads on your last tribal colony? Yeah, those are fine too, yeah. Do they buff the Dryad tree? No. Uh, Indy, thank you for the tier two. 26 months, Indy, at tier two. Very much appreciated. Another master. Bears a depiction of terrorists playing chess. <laughs> okay. All right. What are the odds getting a clone that's just fine or with simple organ decay? I think there's four different types of clones you can get right now, but I don't know if their percentages are 25% each. So you can get a hostile clone. You can get the uh, duplicate sickness clone, crumbling mind, and the organ decay clone. It is 25% each? Okay. Wait, are you saying ghouls can't heal Crumbling Mind? They should be able to, right? Plan to check the Ancient Danger? Maybe. It stays forever? Like they don't ever heal it over time? Yeah, that's weird. It's weird. I'm going to open the ancient danger. I'm not sure yet. The hostile clones physically okay. He captures and converted. The one that I got was physically okay. Who's the traitor? I guess I could check for schematics. I didn't really need anything from them, but I guess I should check for them. The schematics at least. Yeah, they don't have. Any. 
suppose we should get... We've been going through all these components pretty fast, so I guess we should get that as well. Okay, that's all I'm going to worry about right now. Alright, so let's try to duplicate someone. I think... Well, actually, before I do that... How's our Biopharite? It's not very good. Three oh three. Hmm. How much do we need for the sequence that I'm gonna do? We need sixty, eighty. And that one doesn't take any. So we got about two twenty that we can use. Oh, okay, we have just enough. There we go. Another masterwork. Bears an artwork of a gunsmith holding a hatchet. The work is infused with the idea of hope and is done in neoclassical style. Yeah, that's what I would think when I saw that. limbs on a person and then dupe them? No. Uh, bionics and stuff like that are not duplicated. So instead, they'll just have the normal parts. Alright, so when we're done with these sculptures, we'll do all of this. Are you supposed to find time to watch your YouTube videos when you're here watching your stream? So, good news or perhaps bad news for you. My daughter's camp thing is starting Wednesday morning, and I have to get ready for it tomorrow afternoon. So I'm actually going to be off stream for three or four days, right in the middle of this launch, which feels awful. But you know what? There will be more games, more DLCs. The stream will survive. You guys can, you guys will be back, I hope. But my daughter is ever, ever, only ever going to have me go to this like camp thing one time. So I will be going with my daughter to the camp for those remind you of south park making fun of family guy <laughs> manatee yeah the manatee yeah forgot about that pack your best dad jokes oh man i'm gonna be the cabin dad for 15 middle schoolers and i'm the only parent in that cabin why are our flesh mass parts duped like the tentacles yes they are uh, and the tentacle or the flesh organs are too. Yep, it's bionics that aren't. Oddly enough, also psi casts are duped, and so are uh, sanguifage genes. However, mechanator implants are not because the mechanator implants are considered bionics. I guess sounds terrifying. It does <laughs> I might not survive? 15 middle schoolers, nothing compared to Twitch chat. Oh, uh, well, I can't smell you guys. I'm I'm going to have... There's going to be 15 middle schoolers that's, that are outside all day. They're going to be outside for like 15 hours. And they're all going to cram back into this cabin. I have to bring nose plugs or something. And some of them are also playing RimWorld and they see me. Oh, no. <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> yeah, mech links are not duped yet. Bionics, uh, Arco stuff, and Mech Links. We don't have to do the skip? Yeah, come on in. Dirt Mole, Neanderthal, Liner. All right. All right, nice. We don't have to... This saves quite a bit. Of bioferrite. Sorry, Vess. I should have done that differently so you didn't get hit, but I didn't, so suck it up. 
Check it out. God. <laughs> they have... They're bleeding from the pelvis and have cracked bones. And they're like, why, God, why? And God finally speaks to them. And what, is, what does Sky God say? Suck it up. All right. How's the run going? Going all right. Going all right. Hey, those guys no longer need help, though, so that's nice. All right. How you doing on these statues there? Izzard? Two Izzard? Two Izzard? Three more to go. Psychic drone high. E. Suck it up and take that prisoner to jail. How would you min max cloating? So what I suggest with cloating at the moment, if you've made it to ghouls and you plan on using ghouls, I would say best case scenario is like we did with Lizard initially. If Lizard gets cloned and the clone comes back in a way that we can't resolve their health issues, when we have ghouls, they will make an amazing ghoul. But I guess you would look at who your best colonists are and what you need more of in your colony. So maybe in your colony, you only have one cook, but you're wanting to cook a lot more and they're a really good cook and you haven't found anyone else. Maybe you try cloning the cook and hoping that you get a good, a new good cook out of it. Cloning kids right before they have a growth moment might be a good thing. Yeah, I have not tried that. That works, though. That could be interesting. Punch you up saying he wants to help you. He has wide eyes and body mastery trait. Never seen this trait before. It's OP. Yes, but only creep joiners can have it. Have fun, Digs. Yeah, all those new creep joiner traits, traits you can't get on your pawns. Like a cultist and perfect body and perfect memory. Body mastery, rather. You could clone pregnant women. Then you get two clones. Do you enjoy playing with a bunch of mods outside challenge runs? I think you had about 50 or so active last playthrough you did. I usually don't play with mini mods at all. Regardless of the playthrough. I would say that every like four or five runs we'll do a modded overhaul playthrough, but it's not very typical. Can you clone creep joiners? You can't. Are the summons turned off for D the DLC launch? Yes. You found slaves from slavers that had them? Really? I wonder if they act like creep joiners, though, and eventually just leave. Or something else. Researcher. Gold mining site. Come on, to wizard. We want to provoke and get some ghouls. Ghouls. What's a creep skill? So creep joiners can come with special skills or uh, special abilities. Kind of like side casts. They don't always, but they can come with some. There's like eight gold. The gold are the true rulers of this galaxy. Monolith is a wall. Yes. Best series ever. Uh, SG1. I love SG1. And it's one of those shows I go back and rewatch when I'm like, well, let's say I have the flu and I'm down for several days. I'll rewatch some of SG1. There's some pretty rough episodes, especially early on. And I, there is as much of a fan as I am of SG-1. I don't like the direction that it took later on with Daniel Jackson being Space Jesus and uh, the Ori. The Ori are cool. Like, it's a neat thing, you know? 
Hallowed be the Ori. Like, it, I like their, their talk, but I didn't really like it going into a more um, spiritual... And I know, like, it's not really, but it was just like, Hallowed are the Ori. Ori in the, Ori in the Blind Forest? No, not that. All right, we got another research done through schematics. Season four was the best. I also, uh, so Stargate had the same problem a lot of series do where they need to keep upping the the difficulty of enemies. And it gets to a point where an enemy is just so beyond that they need some kind of something that doesn't make sense to deal with that enemy. And they have to go beyond that. Like the replicators, you know? Replicators uh, really propelled the series into a direction that it didn't necessarily had. X-Files. X-Files is when I do that with too. Yeah, I really like the X-Files. Someone the other day asked me, Adam, what is the most memorable TV intro of all time? And the first one that always comes to my mind is X-Files. I remember seeing the X-Files intro when I was a little kid and I was always like, what is happening? Is that an egg? What is this? <laughs> like, the Superman problem? Yeah, just keep it's having to escalate. Yeah. Airwolf. How about Twin Peaks? It's a weird one too. The X-Files intro scared you as a kid. Yeah, it's like, what is that? What is this? You know, sci-fi, you finally watched Dune Part 2. Oh, it's so good. Uh, I guess they were doing another run, or they just finished. I didn't get to go to it because of the... I would have went and saw it a third time, though. Apparently, they did another run of it in IMAX. And I would have gone and seen it. I saw it twice. I'm wearing my Dune shirt today. All right. We are ready. The sixth one. Three first names. Do I think no walls is possible with Anomaly? I'm not sure. I was thinking about it, though. Ritualist run. What does it mean in the Ritualist run? It's a new ideology. So we we basically are better at the new rituals and we're better at studying entities, but our research is god-awful. The A-Team intro? Yeah, that's a good one, too. Yeah. I love it when a plan comes together. Join stream. Why are wood walls on the outside layer? Because I only... No, Steam Deck. What? I already did it. Stream Deck, rather. Sorry, that's mine. Uh, because I needed outer walls quickly and early, and the only material I had available to me was, was wood. So that's what I built it out of. Tribal Ritual is very slow. All right. So do we have anyone... Maybe we should do join events first in case we get someone that has psychic sensitivity. Yeah, we probably should do that. Because I don't think I've gotten a psychically sensitive person yet. Which is interesting, because they seem to be relatively common in Rimworlds. Alright, let's do it. Ninety-nine percent. Alright, let's go. Am I a Star Trek fan? I like Star Trek, yeah. I don't know why the stream deck needs has needed all these updates. What is wrong with it? How about a, a run with individual rooms, buildings, but no outer wall? If I was going to do that, I would just rather do a no walls run, honestly. <laughs> Are guarlin trees worth the time? Not really. Yeah, I accidentally hit cancel. Yeah. Whoops. Grump. Depressive cannibal. Can't contain anomalies without walls? I know that. Yeah, but you don't need to contain anomalies to beat anomaly. It just might take a really friggin' long time. You won't be able to get access to any biopharite stuff, but... Uh -uh. But eventually all the events will happen. And you can use... Um, you can also use the Void Provocation. How do you get rid of Duplication Sickness? Uh, Healer Mech Serum? That's the only way that I'm sure of at the moment. Would Inhuman be a good combo with Melee Gods? Probably so. 
But I don't I don't know because melee gods were psychically deaf, so I have to think. What's crazy is Blood Rain doesn't impact people that are psychically deaf because it's a psychic event. So imagine the melee gods summoning the Blood Rain, having like one extra person that can summon the Blood Rain that's not psychically deaf, and then the melee gods go out into the Blood Rain to kill people. <laughs> uh, I think the melee gods versus void gods is going to be pretty, pretty interesting. Turn one to a ghoul, remove duplication sickness. Yes. Are Bioferrite swords better than Plasteel? I haven't checked yet, but someone was saying they are potentially better. Siege shows, shows up. Summon the Blood Rain. Why? Why do you want to summon the Blood Rain? Do you want to drive them crazy? No. I want to fight in it. Oh, okay. Low pop colonies are fine in anomaly. I feel like anomaly is very dependent on large number of colonists, even at 100% difficulty. Uh, smaller colonies have definitely become at higher risk of dying to certain things. Namely, if you get a revenant before you have a way to reveal it, and if you get a bad metal horror infection that spreads before... Like, like if you get one metal horror and you manage to get it out, or even two, depending on your colony size, not a not a huge deal. It can still hurt. But if you're on, if you're doing like a five colonist playthrough, even at 100% difficulty, like you said, and your fourth person becomes infected, and then four metal horrors pop out, you have lost. It's game over. Now you can do the new game over thing where you continue on with six new people if you want. Probably one of the reasons why they added that. Sacra Kid, is that Scandinavian? <laughs> Do you ever think pawns contemplate who's controlling them? I doubt it. Ironically, single page don't like the blood rain. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, they're size sensitive. Yeah. It would be cool if they did, though. We did not get any potential keepers. So, oh well. Oh well. Hey children. We got something for you to do. Thanks, children. Thanks, children. All right. I'm surprised we haven't gotten the third obelisk yet. Crazy. Last you died, you had nightmares at a metal horror event. Why are you calling? I've never had a single dream about Rimworld. Isn't that crazy? Still doing that now. All right. Well, we didn't get anyone that's psychically sensitive. So who are we going to put this on? Raven, the coven mother, right? Yeah. All right. Bella Rose, it's time. That's so Raven. Only 58%. Psychic sensitivity is going to last 43 days. That's good enough. Right. Brain wants to rest after it. You're probably right. Rimworld dreams might be for the best. Yeah. If you had a dream about watching me play Rimworld. <laughs> Do you think that counted as a view? I hope so. I don't think it works that way. War crimes win. Do some war crimes. <laughs> Definitely won't forget that. For anyone that hasn't heard the story of this, I was doing the single phase run and someone came in and they were in for like 20 minutes. They were like, I thought this is supposed to be a war crime run. What are you going to do some war crimes? 
And then I told them the story that happened just a little bit before they got there. I had a thrall, a slave, that I needed to make more unhappy because of what the, the theme of what we were doing and a mod that we had. So I need to make them more unhappy. And their brother showed up. So I had them go out and shoot their brother with a pistol until he fell down and then keep shooting him. It was like nine times until he died. And then I had them carry, carry the brother to the base and then chop him up and then eat his raw meat. And the person was like, when are you going to do war crimes? <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know when. I'll get there, though. Don't worry about it. We'll get we'll do some atrocities eventually. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting till we do something really heinous. Baby skull. Yeah, we've done some crazy things this run, too. So Raven's first baby came out stillborn. With the baby on. We have a lot of excess wood. Let's just do this for now. So with the baby still on the bed, the stillborn baby, we had someone come and rip its skull out and then create this wooden skull spike of her dead baby at the foot of her bed. And then they ate the rest of the baby. Pee pants, Petey. Morning. Is it morning where you are? Why waste perfectly good skull? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, P pants Petey. Thank you for the five hundred bits. Waste not. Yeah, so we needed a skull, and that was that was the easiest accessible skull that we had. So, and then we needed food. So, meat is food. The happiness potato story. <laughs> Welcome to Rimworld. So just a Tuesday in Rimworld. For me, it was a Tuesday. That would be a nice horror series. Oh, God. Imagine writing or, or reading like horror that's written based off of these atrocities that we've done in RimWorlds. Yeah. Why the heaters on the corners of the bedroom? Just to fit them there it doesn't it doesn't matter where we put them eaters are not working right now just just to be clear that's not how they work never played this game observer you're in the 1500 bits hey observer surgery failed doing well day here's a cheer thanks observer i'm doing all right overall will this stop heating will they stop heating yes they don't work unless it's under 70 degrees so Default in RimWorld, pawns want to be at 70 degrees, and that's why coolers and heaters are preset to 70. The heater doesn't work unless it's under 70, and it's not under 70, so the heaters are just not working. Oh, yeah, the X-Files episode with the inbred family. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. And yeah, X-Files had some really weird episodes, of course, but yeah, that's that's definitely up there. Mentioned that Raven had three kids, only saw two, just assumed when died in a raid, you missed the part where we ripped out its skull. Be easy to write a short novel about a colony. What is all this cheery music after the sad baby story? <laughs> Revenant's out. And we're getting devourers for the first time on this playthrough. Bad time on that. Crap. How close are we to security doors? Oh, wow. Like, we finished the security doors today. It went this way. It went out that door. Everyone stay together. How many devourers spawned? Yeah, we're still pretty early, so not a whole lot. Let's go this way. Take those two out. Three coming this way, we can do that. Three coming this way, we can do that. One more.
Infection on the prisoner. Okay, whatever. Wait till these security doors are done. Oh no. Corpse bile. That's the last scratching I see nearby. So we'll check really quick if it's there. Might not be, but might as well check. Uh, the other thing we do... I don't have power over there yet, actually, so... Came after the person with the friggin' EMP grenades. Luckily, it was already weakened. Okay. We almost hit it. It was right there. That is not a good spot for it. We have heat stroke right now, though. Just contain it. Yeah, I know, I know. No, don't move it there. All right, uh, heat wave still going, but heat stroke is only on the prisoner. We don't really care. I'm dying anyway. I would like to get left lung and uh, I guess we should try to get the hearts. Where's your foot? Oh, skull, baby. Go to the bed, yeah. Where does the anomaly rank in my tier list? I'm not sure yet. Uh, the ending is the best ending by far. Not even close. But as a DLC altogether, I'm not 100% sure where I'd rank it yet. That attack, you would assume... It, yeah, I wonder where, it, like, which tile it was in. We had to be heat hitting right around it. What does the cube do? People will become obsessed with the cube. As they become obsessed with the cube, they'll have more and more forced breakdowns. The forced breakdowns will make the, even if they're happy, will make them go build their own version of the cube. And once they, uh, when, once you've researched the cube entirely, if you try to destroy it, everyone that is fascinated with the cube or obsessed or whatever you want to call it, 
will go into a berserk rage. What's my ranking of the DLCs before Anomaly? For me, from like a min-max and themed run perspective, I was Ideology, then slightly under Biotech, and then Royalty way down in its own tier. However, when people ask me which DLC they should get first before Anomaly, I told them to get Biotech and work their way backwards. So my like of Ideology is in big part because of join rituals i just or rituals in general i i like it overall though oh no she died without a heart or something for some reason bias about anomaly because it has different music no i'm not talking about the credits i'm talking about did you see my ending it was insane absolutely crazy 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 Playing with other DLCs, have all DLCs, yeah. Currently dealing with the cube issues. How can you prevent half your colony going berserk? Sedate them. Do a medical procedure where you sedate them. Sedate every single one of them and then destroy the cube. That would be my advice, so they don't go berserk. Hmm. We're gonna need Plasteel to make these security doors. Seems I never hunt, interact with animals. I don't know what to tell you. I've hunted this game. I had to hunt to survive. I have animals right now. Find yourselves just trading off all your poor clothes, you end up having to do it kind of often. Yeah, pretty often. You have to reach your sapper mech raid. For mech, sa for mech breaches, you can just kite them. That's why I use assault rifles. One of the big reasons I use assault rifle. So you have two options. You can outrange them with enough firepower and learn how to kite and you can kite and kill them your other option is the direction that they're coming in at get around the corner from it and throw an emp here those are the two best options for actually fighting it i mean you have other options too right depending on what you have like berserk berserk pulse neuroquake low shields you got a lot of options but just as far as basic fighting goes either kiting or going around the corner from them a kid cloned earlier today the learning tier is not retained gotcha now if you're saying like why don't i have tons of animals generally i do my runs themed around a couple things so that i don't feel like every run is almost the same so it's like the mechanator work bots are incredibly strong so why aren't i using them because i usually use them when i theme my run more around the mechanator if I just used all that stuff every single run, I would probably get burned out pretty fast because things would be way too the same. Way too much the same. Like used to, I would just mass dogs for hauling all the time. And then I was like, you know what? I just don't want to do this anymore. What do you say is your animal tier list for farming and for fighting? For ranching? Cows and horses, my preferred is horses because horses, they don't produce anything on their own, but the gestation time is low, they grow up fast, they produce a lot of meat and leather, and then they are mountable, so you can have them drastically increase the speed to go trade off the excess leather and and meat. Cows are extremely good as well, but they're not, you know, caravan mountable as, as the game calls it. As far as fighting goes, it's... Fighting, they've done a really good job of things being balanced around their raid point edition. So there are a lot of really good fighting animals, but in general, animals that can fight are pretty balanced as far as how much they eat, how many raid points they add. Some of my favorites, uh, elephants are incredible if you can keep them fed. So if you have a jungle map where they can just graze, elephants are insane. They're an incredible animal. Advanced trainability, 
fast uh, caravanning. They can haul a crap ton. They like do like lots of damage, tons and tons of health, but they just eat a whole lot and they have like 24 filth. They're super dirty. Thrumbo are incredible as well, but you can't really easily raise Thrumbo. Now, out of the more manageable animals, bears are really good. Grizzly bears are really good. Cougars are surprisingly good as well. They just have a, a lot of wildness, so you have to keep them tamed. Um, And then dogs are fine as well, but bears and cougars are really good all around animals that can haul a lot. They don't get hunted. They're fast. They're good at combat. Who was it? All right, Raven, Raven. All right, let's provoke. 63%, 19% chance that Raven's going to go into a coma. All right, let's see if we get flesh or ghouls. Flesh or ghouls. Snake farm is fun. Yeah, there's a lot of good animals for different things, but that's kind of how I would rank them as far as if you're like min-maxing them. Fine to have your editor go over these runs. I hope so, but I haven't heard back from them yet. Cobra pit. Be nice if Cobras has a little bit more HP. It's a really weird thing in RimWorld though. The most efficient animal as far as nutrition to wealth that they give you, or nutrition to leather and stuff, leather and meat, is very weirdly tortoise. And it's not even close, but tortoise aren't farm, they're not ranch animals, so you have to zone them. But very oddly, the tortoise is the best for leather and meat compared to how much nutrition they eat. Carbonaries are fine too. Yeah, they're not as good as animals that more specialize, but they're a good gen generalist animal for ranching too, yeah. Definitely don't mind them. Hey, ghoul! Excellent. Now we can finally make our own ghouls. All right, let's get ghoul infusion researched. Turtle haulers, yeah, that would be nice. The difference between the mufflo and the bison. So most animals that... Uh, my example will be like the different bears and the different dogs. Most animals that are reskins of one another in the game generally have one of them is better at a certain temperature, but they eat more. So that's the way with dogs. So for instance, huskies versus labs. Huskies have better temperature tolerance, but they eat slightly more than lab Labradors. Grizzly bears uh, or polar bears have better temperature tolerance than grizzlies. But the polar bear eats a little bit more. Otherwise, the stats are basically the same. Cows still break thermodynamics. Yes. Mo in fact, most animals break thermodynamics in RimWorlds. Cows especially so. Tortoise only run win. I glitched over the three months. The nerve spike seems to have a tendency to kill targets instead of disabling them. It has the same tendency to kill as any weapon. It doesn't bypass death on downed. Disabling just means it stuns them like an EMP. The nerve spike is not something to down things with. It doesn't increase your chance of downing things at all. Such an efficient source of food and water that took ages to get fly one back to Europe because the sailors kept eating them. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, muffalo used to be like god animals, right? So back in the day, for anyone that didn't play, mufflos were advanced trainability. Mufflos produced milk and you could shear them. So you had Muffalo Milk, you had Muffalo uh, Wool. Uh, they were good at combat. They were caravan animals and they could haul stuff around. Crazy good. All right, so we're gonna finally be able to get ghouls. Rip to the Muffalo. Yeah, and some of it is um, market value too, yeah. It's like different. Any point of holding small animals? 
Not really, unless you want to get some for like the nuzzle bonus or something. Four shards. So now we're ready to duplicate. We're going to duplicate Lizard, and if Lizard turns out good, we'll keep a copy of Lizard. If he turns out with like Crumbling Mind or something, we'll turn him into a ghoul. Real rooms, that's right. We do that every now and then for fun. You miss the old mufflos? <laughs> the nuzzle strat. What's the obelisk thingy in the ride the beds? That's our duplication obelisk. I will show you here. So we're going to do this duplication and then we are going to finally make real containment places now that we have access to those doors. All right, everyone's set up. Lizard triggered the duplication. This has a 30 day cooldown. Okay, so now we're going to go into health. Industrial, surgical inspection, rest. Fire, but couldn't seem to get yours to do that. Do a special research. No, you have to draft them and stand them next to the fire. Yeah, so to have your ghoul put out, you have to to put out fires, you have to micromanage it. You have to have them drafted and draft them next to the thing that's on fire and they will stomp it out instead of catching on fire themselves. They won't just put it out on their own. Organ decay. So we have another lizard. Okay, so much for having that as a ghoul. He's too good. Why are barracks better? Aren't bedrooms a cheap permanent mood boost? They take up too much space. So if I had all this gone and it was just a barracks with everything in it, I'm getting minus three for disturbed sleep and I'm getting like plus 38 two or three times a day from that room. And I can fit a hundred pawns in it. So... It's not just, so the room buff of a, of a bedroom doesn't really matter compared to what you get in the barracks. Because in the barracks, they're not just getting the very impressive barracks buff, they're also getting spacious environment. You're not going to be getting that with your bedrooms unless they're friggin', you know, 25 by 25 bedrooms or something stupid, right? So you're getting a very spacious environment, you're getting beautiful environment, uh, and you're also getting very impressive or even more barracks buffs and dining room buff and recreation room buff all at the same time multiple times a day not only that they are very space efficient very wealth efficient so you get less raid points and in addition to that the the footprint is so small and the pathing is so much better that people are able to get to their jobs and eat and everything else much faster so you get more work done so you get way more productivity from them as well so you don't have to use them you can absolutely do this or even a village setup but from a min-max standpoint, the most efficient thing is a giant room with everything crammed in it. Because it's more wealth efficient, it's more raid point efficient, it's more space efficient. People get, like I said, they get more done quickly, get more work done, and the mood increase is substantial. And what is the payoff, or the, the pay to do that? Minus three disturbed sleep that doesn't stack. It's, it's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. All right, so let's get started on this finally. Why do you create rooms now then? Because I play RimWorld for thousands of hours every year, and I'm not going to do the exact same run every single time, or I would absolutely get burned out. So every now and then I just build different for fun. And we're building differently for fun this game. More efficient pathing help with game performance as well. Uh, not... No, generally, like, the pathing between bedrooms and barracks as far as tick rate doesn't matter, yeah. Just doesn't matter. But yeah, we're just doing it for fun. So, generally, if you see me building in a different way than a giant building, it's because we're doing it for fun on that run. Hey, bedrooms, two tiles wide, eight or nine long. 
it's still worse than a if from a min max it's just it's just that's just how the game works yeah whether you like it or use it or not the most efficient thing in rim world is one giant building with a concrete floor and wooden statues you can like i said you can get like plus 40 mood two to three times a day out of it and be more work efficient Two bedrooms this time as a treat as a treat that's right All right, let's move some of this over here just for now. We'll, f we'll change it eventually, but for now, it's going to be fine. But you can still play, just play the game however you want. Like, you don't need to do that to beat it, but it is very efficient. Let's throw that kid out there. <laughs> Counterpoint, it's ugly. Uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Have any videos on how you design your barracks? No, I don't. It's just a big... Tw I mean, like, a lot of my runs, I use it, so you can always look at the beginning of a run. I usually just do a 13 by X, and then eventually 25 by 25, and then add on to it as I need. All right, so there's the organ decay. Right lung, heart, left kidney. Did we get everything we need for that? We might not have it all. Right lung, left kidney. Oh, we do. Right lung, left kidney, hearts. Okay, and then I think Major Hertz is still our best doctor. Okay. We should probably clone another doctor sometime. I actually was doing that once, right? There's one. Two. Any favorite ideology meme? My favorite is human primacy. But outside of like min-max stuff, I like Tunneler a whole lot. I like Inhuman, actually. It's one of my favorite. I think my three favorite for different, different but similar reasons are probably human primacy, Tunneler, and in Inhuman. Does organ decay only happen the one time? This kind it does. There's also an organ decay event. So the organ decay event will hit one person and it'll only hit one of the organs instead of all of them. There we go. Into your colony. My pawn drop pot into your colony to be one of your scan slaves <laughs> nah. Nah. pretty awesome yeah i'm really glad my pawns in the game now you can use inhuman and human primacy at the same time yeah why inhuman because they get no downsides for any of the void stuff inhuman can take all the serums with like they can take the juggernaut serum which is basically go juice and they usually they get a minus 10 mood they get no mood hit they can have the sleep suppressors going and the, um, like, like all, all this stuff. They have sleep suppressors, frenzy inducers, they have bioferrite ger generators humming nearby, and they don't get a mood hit or anything. They also take 50%, or they have a 50% reduced pain. They just got a lot going for them. They don't care about pace. They don't care about corpses. They can wear uh, tainted gear. They can wear human gear. They can wear uh, dread leather. They can eat the new meat like they are just really they don't care about anything and the trade-off basically is that you aren't going to be good with animals or social or art but they are are super good otherwise real name queue disabled yes because it's you'll never get in there's four thousand people in it you'll never get in creating console news no no, I'm I very surprised that Biotech didn't hit consoles still or hasn't hit consoles still. Three in, want to get more chances? Yeah, unfortunately, it's not a raffle at the moment. It is back to a queue temporarily. Hopefully temporarily. And so, yeah, you would just never get in.
Earth Rumbos. How long until that place resets? Gotta be a while, right? Oh, it's seven days already. Okay, maybe we'll do this then. Should be good. Especially now that we have this extra person here. All right, so let's take all this crap and shove it somewhere else right now. I should have put this down here since we can't... Well, I, eventually that's going to be eventual kill boxes. We want to test kill boxes this time. Uh, all right, we'll just put it along this wall. Another thing we'll have to fix someday. You know what? I kind of don't feel like I'm going to click all these... Hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's put the trade beacon. There it is. Let's get a new one. Put it like here. For now. Destroy that car sometime. The time is now. We do want to try out one of the purposes of the second run is to see how some of the kill boxes do against certain entities. So definitely want to get that going. I think we have enough people to man one now too. It's funny. I've been playing this mainly as no paw or uh, no kill box in the most part, aside from the shotgun tunnel. Did you see out? Would you say to grab and try first? See a lot of people say biotech. Hey, go on fusion. If you are a fan of more threats in Rimworld or you're a horror fan, then uh, yeah, I would say grab this one first and then just work your way backwards. Do I dislike double shelves? Yeah, I hate them. A double shelf killed my family. Thanks for asking, it's a sore subject. Some games and movies are fine, though. Oh, I see. Hey there, Xbox games, common dead babies. See some issues promoting the game in many areas. Wow, I'm starting to hear that. I gotta think about the monolith too, so we know what happens with that now. Go on, Icarus. What percentage are we towards raid cap? Uh, like halfway. Have I seen? I haven't seen my pawn in game yet, but a lot of people have seen it. Yeah. What uh, what traits am I hoping to see? I don't know. I don't know what I hope mine comes out when I first see it. I meant to deconstruct the shelves. That's why I rebuilt all these because I said I didn't feel like moving them. My schedule this time, I'm just using a very standard schedule. If you want to see, I have a big guide about scheduling, exclamation SCH. If you type that in the Twitch chat, you'll get the link. Or you can go to YouTube and type in RimWorld Schedule Guide and you'll find it. They did a good job on the UI and controls or console. That's what I've heard. Uh, but yeah, Bunker, thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the super chat. And no, I haven't ran into my own pawn yet. I uh, think you, Tabletop. Colonists will tend to patients from a distance. I have no mods on. Do you mean through a corner or like... Because that's been a bug for a long time. Or do you mean like multiple like far or far tiles? Because I had something similar where people were studying unnatural... Um, or studying these from far away. Like 20 tiles? Yeah, I'm not sure. I've had that happen with um, with Dark Study. So it doesn't surprise me that's happening with other stuff, but I'm not sure what cause it. What's my pawn named? So my pawn, if you find it, it'll just show the nickname as Versus. If you want to, if you have the most update RimWorld and you want it to appear more often in your game, go to Options, go to Gameplay, and here Preferred Name and Game Characters. You can come in here and type out Versus, and there's my pawn, Adam Versus. 
And this will make it so I will be guaranteed to be a common world pawn in that current playthrough of yours. Let me know if you find me. Tortured Artist still randomly mental break? Tortured Artist never randomly mental break. Yeah, that's not a forced mental break. Uh, Gormond is a forced mental break. And so is Pyro, but nothing else out of those ones. Will I kill my pawn if I find it? If it's a bad pawn, I'll sacrifice it. You're in the game too as Icarus Richardson. All right, so we need to keep an eye on these nine days. Trades are coming up. Are the thrombos still here and split up? Yeah, okay. So I wanted to do that. God, we've come a long way since that mech cluster that we almost died to. <laughs> it's been... It's taken a long time to get here, too. Her you was unnecessary. <laughs> Uh, Shrezu, thank you for the brand new sub. Thank you, Shrez. Mm -hmm. How long does the death, death dust last? It feels like about a day. Or you, do you mean the shamblers that spawns? I think it's about... I When I used it, if I remember, I clicked on some of them and it was like 16 hours, 18 hours. New Harbinger tree sprouts if you keep feeding the existing ones or is it just random chance? They do keep spreading if you feed them. I don't know if there's a limit on how much they spread, but yeah, you can keep getting more that way. Thrumbo Chimera. Do you pawns show up as a starting pawn? Uh, yes. Yep. How difficult do you think it would be to be a good guy or goodish run 1.5? Yeah, we'll try one of those. I was already planning on doing a good guy run again at some point, so... That would make sense to try one again. It's been a long time. Okay, let's think about this friggin' monolith. I don't want to build the containment too close to it. I do think I'm going to build the containment here. We need more growing area, so we're going to probably expand out at some point. Expanding out up to the water would be pretty good. A little bit closer. Then we can plant up here. That wouldn't be too bad. And we want to take that geothermal at some some point. Like, not immediately, but... So right now, I think starting actual containment in this area would be pretty... Pretty okay. okay assault rifles. No bio-coated MP grenades. All right. Four days. Rumble for Parkus. As a YouTuber, get their name in your queue. Right now, there's no way for anyone on either side to get in the queue. It's something I'm hoping that once things die down, I can get figured out. But at the moment, there's just no way in for anyone. There was some fertile soil way down here. Yeah, that's too far away, though. That's that map edge, so... I think I'll make this into hydroponics eventually. Okay, so containment. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. I think we're good on power right now. Yeah. I don't have uranium. Uh, have we seen uranium? 
No. So we will have to just go for sandstone for now. And the security door will help a lot, though. All right. Uh, let's bring this up. Do I want to expand this at all? We might eventually need some more beds. We can just expand that down this way. Might want more... Might want to try to force people to romance. We'll see. We could also add some more over here if we really need to eventually. Or even, like, pop those things out. Yeah, that's right. Barracks are nerfed into non-existing. That's right. Yep. So I'm not using them. Will this be up as an edited playthrough? I have no idea yet. I contacted the editor, but haven't heard back yet. Uh, all right. Hopefully. Hopefully. Surprised the security doors aren't an option down there. We an okay starts. How are we doing on biofarite? We have very, very little. Also. How much does it take? Yeah, not, not enough. Maybe provoking on cooldown right now. Try to get more biofarite. Those related to each other, so they produce inbred offspring. I don't I haven't made them breed. But uh I guess you can't wait, you can't breed with a clone. They're gonna be the same gender. <laughs> you had me there for a second. If two clones have a baby, will it be inbred? Just, just continue thinking about that for a second. <laughs> Duplicating a sanguifage still. Um, do, do the genes from sanguifage heal crumbling mind? I, I haven't checked that out. There's, it doesn't seem like there's a lot that heals crumbling mind, but I didn't check that. Only if the clone is like Loki. All set double doors. Yep. There is no... There is, you can't not offset it because of the size of this room. No matter which side I go on, it'll be fine. Only platforms have quality, no. Okay, so this is at 131, right? One oh seven. Me too. a cult kid they grew up see festival kid new guy cult kid grew up and got a real name it didn't turn out to be a good very good uh, pawn though unfortunately but he did grow up
I was worried about that getting... I was worried about that happening before I got this one done. I was going to split them up, but... Took too long, I guess. And now we're probably going to kill them. Yeah, that one died. That sucks. All right. I have to be provoking and provoking and provoking, I guess. That one has a permanent crack in its spine. All right, provoke on cooldown. Uh, void provocation is ready, so this will be flesh beasts. But we should be fine. Yeah. Matter which creature you have in containment. Not really. So certain creatures will give more study, and then there are basic study only creatures, and then there are advanced study. So you can think of them as research benches. Basic entities are basic research benches for anomaly. Advanced are advanced research benches for anomaly. Advanced creatures you can use to study either basic or advanced from, but they all just give points for the research. And you can just think of entities, like I said, as... Uh, As research benches. Can this event happen for these new conduits? No. Need a mod to peg leg and unpeg the peg leg the the entities. <laughs> the void provocation is ready. Okay. Uh yeah, we should be able to do it. For flesh, we are not going to fight at this. We will go out and fight them. How many shards do we have? We have three. So, there's, and there's more out. Was that, wasn't that one just right outside the door down there? Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and make these. Where the remnant go? The remnant's still there. Who are the ritualists or the inhuman? Inhuman. Yeah, inhuman. I think they would make a good combination, though. What a weird barracks this is. Animal disease. Sorry, donkeys. Oh, you also need Bioferrite for it. Crap. I didn't read that. Well, Void Provocation doesn't cost any anyway, so it's not a big deal. All right, stay inside the walls. And let's provoke. All right, Raven. 87%. There's a 6.7% chance the Invoker will receive Dark Psychic Shock. Okay, so hopefully not. Uh. Okay. Wow, what good timing. <laughs> Alright, cool. Come on, flesh holes. Human ritualists, a very slow descent, descent into madness. 
You're gonna try the kill box? Yes, I am. I am. I am. Usually the traditional kill box starts getting pretty good around 12 plus uh, shooters. And we have 10 at the moment. Don't count the two kids in the melee. Okay, Flesh Beasts. How many pit burrows are there? One, two, three, four. None of them are in the base. Okay. Do research. Summon Flesh Beast. Now we can attune the monolith as well. So, pirates are losing. No surprise there. I mean, the pirates are winning. Sorry. No surprise there. No explosives. Good. Might be a good opportunity to replace those. These give very, very, very little biofarite, but it's better than nothing. Better than nothing. Yeah, this might be a really good opportunity just to replace that. Not worry about it. So let's go through and turn off. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Are you constructing the wood walls for me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, pretty well. Yeah, pretty well. The flesh. I'm going to be at the exact same time. Any more big bleeds? I know I saw several small ones. The outer wall is the only thing made of wood. Yeah, in the outer, in the outer uh, door. Yeah. A video anywhere on how you make your standard kill box? No, I actually have that guide almost done. I was trying to get it out before the expansion. I have everything done aside from a few clips I need to add to it. So I'm hoping to get that done next time I have like real days off. Not really days off, but you know what I mean? Days off from the stream. So. Actually, I might not want that to spread right now. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll get it fixed. Because there could be another event coming from Raiders. Maybe new raiders coming, I should say. In a weird way. I said it before. Uh, falls here already.
<laughs> Make a box and write kill on the outside. Do you have an estimate of the real world hours you spent on this run? Uh, let's see. 16 hours. You know, there's a percent chance that the attack will infect a metal horror. I don't know. Not sure. So we'll keep provoking for a little bit to try to get some more entities and get some more biofarite. Four more days. We'll, we'll just do it on cooldown. So I am just going to let that be wooden for now again. Especially because Cassandra being off cooldown. Almost done with ground penetrating scanner. Took a long, long time. So the settlement should be reset. Hmm. Yeah, we want to wait just a little bit though. Monster libraries come along nicely. Finally. Finally. Skip abduct. We don't have enough biofarite, right? And we have very, very little. And units near the outside entrance would be useful for quick captures. It's later on. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Near these, that, that would be kind of nice. This all differently than normal. Does the Empire have anything to do with the new DLC? No, not really. LTech stuff, surprisingly, uh, helps out a little bit with some things now. More things than it did. And Psy sensitivity from rituals and stuff are going to help your Psy casting, but in general, no. Festival Kid has become an adult. All right, Festival Kid, you're the one that rolled tough. Tough body modder or tough kind? Let's go with tough body modder. Do I want you to be a generalist or... We haven't found a genie yet, so we might want you to be crafting. Yeah, let's go crafting construction. You might end up being a production specialist. In which case, none of this other stuff really matters too much, but... Festival Kid. You get a name now. Look at you. We're going to put you on smithing, tailoring. We got to get this up. We see about, we don't, we don't have the biofarite is the big problem. I'm going to say pulling skill from someone else, but we just don't have the biofarite yet. So, get your name. Go. Go. Totally getting rid of the bodies so they don't rise again in the new storm. Because I have other things I'm focused on at the moment. I don't really care if they rise outside the walls anyway. I'm a tough on is like, please make me combat monster. Yeah. Right. No. Bing. Okay, let's also go ahead and get a deep drill before we run ourselves out of materials. I'll just throw it over here for now. Okay. I can't believe we haven't gotten the other obelisk. We've gotten two of them, but 
Rapid Train Scanner. Oh my lord, it only took us like four years. Usually get that pretty close, like pretty early. Pretty early. Oh no, I hope the research speed from Ritualist doesn't apply for scanners. Oh, that'll be real bad. I didn't even think about that. Uh, yeah, I hope not. I hope not. We'll know real soon. Shamblers sometimes seem to have breach AI. They do have. So there's two types of shamblers. There's shambler that just pass by or just hang out. And then there are assault shamblers. The assaulting shamblers act like sappers, basically. Similar to shamblers. Yeah, breachers are sappers. Yeah. Very slow research paying off. <laughs> person barracks why why not for what raven your fifth kid wow you're gonna be an octomom someday holy crap okay when are these three more days okay 1200 on steel I need to move this and find sandstone. Reference you haven't heard in a while. <laughs> yeah. My dark study is bad for scanners. Not dark study. Ritualists. Ritualists have 25% research speed. So if that 25% research speed applies for scanners, then it's going to take us for friggin' ever to, f to scan steel and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to change these over to 420. There we go. Perfect. And let's start looking at our options here. So we'll get this back wall spread there. Should be all the space we ever really need. Probably more than. Actually, kind of nice to build tighter in this DLC. And then if we want to try to kill box, let's try it out like here. Maybe like, maybe like where this one is actually. Yeah, okay. There's that thing. Yeah, yeah. I hopefully, hopefully it doesn't apply for that, but. It very well might. The skull spike near the crib to motivate. Oh yeah, the skull spike. Where do I have that these days? Put it in the room. <laughs> There's space whales. Uh, krill box. Are there space whales? No space whales yet. Okay, I think it's safe for us to go out and go trade like we wanted to do. Safe. Never feel safe anymore with anomaly, but. Safe adjacent. Safe ish. Let's see, we finished that schematic. We finished that schematic. So we should be able to get some pretty good schematics. I know we have way too much food at the moment, which we're going to work on, but. Best floor, in my opinion. Best floor, in my opinion. Concrete. The loving embrace of concrete. Concrete and wooden statues. All you ever need. But the floor I actually like the best is hex tile. I like the hex tiles. I like how they look. Late game when you have like tens of thousands of... Of seal. 
a nice fancy floor that you can throw down just with steel. Hexagons are great. Yeah, I really like the Arcist hexagon floors. Mind bin carpet, man. We made some really crazy mind bin carpet stuff. Back in my, I think it was my first fluid ideology. We did a, a, every color of mind bin or a fancy carpet around like mind bin carpet. Looked very, very crazy. That's floor. If you mean like from a min max standpoint, unfortunately it's concrete and statues. But the one I like the best is, is the steel hexile floor. All right, schematic, schematic. I guess we might as well get it, right? Uh, we don't need to buy assault rifles anymore. In fact, we want to neutralize the pigs because I don't want any more pig attacks. How much more do we need for them? 52. Let's go on down the road here. See if we can just neutralize the pigs instead. How do you get the security door in Anomaly? You research security doors? It's in normal research. Growth moment for Bedroom Kid. Come on, Bedroom Kid. What do you have so far? Nothing. This is your first one. All right. All right. Great memory. Fantastic. Another body modder. Great memory, and we can have him good at, like, everything if we want. All right. Way to go, bedroom kid. Way to go. Okay, we're in Anomaly. Yeah, there are certain things, so I'll go over those really quick. So, the security doors are in here, and then my new favorite item in the game, turret packs are in here as well. Turret packs are advanced research right after gun turrets and microelectronics. Those two are in here. If you're looking for that one too. Man, I love those turret packs. Can't wait till we can mass produce them in this run. Speaking of. Turret packs are crazy good. Yeah, I love them. People are sleeping on the serum. The serums are amazing. Having a serum in the game where as long as you can maintain it, no one ever has a breakdown. And the downside is... Oh no, they won't have inspirations. Yeah, who cares? Screw inspirations. They're rare any rare ish anyway. Yeah. Uh all the serums are pretty good, especially with inhuman. Inhuman not getting the downside of like mood on juggernaut is really nutty. The durations, yeah, yeah. So the mind numb serum lasts two days, but all the other ones last a, a decent amount of time. Actually, more than a decent amount of time. You can have a serum for 10 days. One serum, 10 days. I like the flares a lot, too. So now that I know flares also stun humans, I'm telling you, the no kill box style and the kiting style has gotten even stronger. I do have a guide in the works. I had I have the script done on a no kill box guide. I wanted all these out before Anomaly, but I was just so freaking busy. Choose one song in RimWorld to play on loop for an entire run. Which would it be? Oh, man. I don't know. I feel like if I chose my favorite, if I chose Valiant, I wouldn't be able to... I would just be here the whole time going... Do they stun mechs? They stun things with psychic sensitivity. Mechs are targetable by, like, Berserk Pulse. So I wonder... I haven't tried it. Yeah, I wonder... Well, fire stops them, yeah. Fire. And yes, the, the Hellcat does have fire, so that is true. Twenty-two more, okay. There, we don't have to worry about getting attacked by pigs anymore. Hey, pigs, what schematics do you have? Stop calling us pigs. Are you saying you aren't pigs? Is that what I'm hearing? I'm hearing. 
Do we end up going to this one? No. Okay, so we'll still head up to this one. How would you put vents around a door instead of coolers? Mm, I don't think anything happens yet. I haven't tried it, but it, I don't think it would happen in the same way, but I, I haven't tried it, so maybe it does something weird. The, the crossbow specifically... Do, what? That's our first slave ship of the entire run, and we got it with 11 pawns. I don't know how rare that is, but it's got to be pretty rare. Darcy Transport Company. Someone said they were seeing some of the slaves have the creep joiner traits. I'm wondering if they are creep joiners in that case, but either way, it doesn't look like these are anything I care about. Now, we can rip skills from people, so hang on. No good skill to rip there. I was just looking at traits, but... There's mining. Mining's not really a premium skill to rip. There's melee. Yeah. Oh, well. But if you de-age the 14-year-old, the maximum you can go down to is 13. I'm Iron Mask. This is easy. Keep high mood. Yeah, but I don't. I don't care about them. I don't want to convert them and everything else. But that is true. Yeah. Turn that off. Why'd you get thermal inside the building? For heat. Map gets cold. Like it's still cold even with the geothermal in here. Winter has begun. We have a lot of wood, though. Oh, God. I still need to make those bridges. Because we haven't had an abduction cultist in a while, but if one happens down this corner, I think we just lose the person. So I need a bridge at least across here. And probably when... Yeah, that, that's the... That's the most important one. I hate to spend all that wood on it, but I think we need to. Let's wait a little bit, though. Can you manage the heat from it? During the summer, if it gets too hot in there, I can just unroof it. What is going on suddenly? We haven't had slavers all game, and just suddenly we had two in a row. Like, we haven't had them all day today, either. Like, we've been on here all day. Weird. Pin left and Cassandra was like, you're low in pawn count. It's really weird. Why do I put doors how I do on the exterior? Okay, you see this trade group? Let's say a raid or something happens right now and attacks them. They're going to take cover here. If they take cover right here, like if Evnet is one of these pigs and he takes cover here to attack a manhunter or a raid and he gets downed, He's going to hold this door open, and the crap that he drops, if there was another door here instead, is going to hold that door open, and then all the enemies will pour in. With that gap there, whatever Evanet drops when he's downed will just go in the gap instead of holding another door open. So that's the biggest reason. Bullet. A little kid, a waster child named Bullet. Scorpion. We haven't seen any genies this run either. Social. Won't crawling open the door? Crawling will... So so crawling will respect forbidden doors. So you can just forbid the, the, the door. Could you interrupt the rituals by shelling them with mortars? Technically, but the thing is... The... It's not like a normal siege. You have to specifically deal enough damage to the one pawn that's doing the ritual in the middle. And he's inhuman, so he has 50% less uh, less pain. And so, and you only have four hours. So if you shoot your mortars, and mortars aren't very accurate. If you shoot your mortars and you don't manage to hit that specific one tile where that pawn is, then you're just going to lose a colonist. So you would need like, you know, 10 mortars or something just to make sure. Unless you have a... 
I don't know. I, I'm just thinking about uh, explosive or high, in, high explosive mortars, but I don't think like the toxic gas mortar would down them fast enough because of their pain tolerance. Fire would just get put out. Yeah, so you mainly have to go attack them or hopefully you have some other device on hand that can deal with them. I wouldn't be surprised if they make it so the abduction is longer than four hours going forward, but right now it's only four hours. We had an abduction uh, cultist here. And by the time we got over there and we're fighting them, we only had, we had a little less than two hours left. Like, it's crazy. Oh, all right, weaponry. Provoke is ready again. We have two spots. We want to wait until Pin gets home, though. Are they susceptible to psychic attacks, like a shock lance? Yeah, but it's not just them. The rest of the raid is a, a, around them in a circle. So I was trying to use a shock lance, but you can't get close enough to really hit them with a shock lance specifically. And shock lances have a decent range, but not crazy range. And so the rest of them are going to attack you. And they're not like tribals. They, they have decent weapons. They have chain shotguns and SMGs, and they have the crossbow that stuns. What what happens if they succeed with the abduction ritual? They kidnap them. So if they uh, if they abduct them, the pawn that they that they chose, I don't know how it chooses, gets teleported there unconscious, and then they grab them and just head off the map. happen to you multiple times it's rough yeah it's really rough so if you are like mountain bases now are one of the worst there's so many things that screw over mountain playthroughs with anomaly it's pretty crazy so if you have a mountain base in this corner and you get a ritualist or a, a cultist abduction spawning down here all right well i guess the colonist is gone not to mention the darkness makes it so you can't get to your mushrooms if you're if you're going tunneler like there's a lot and it's not just that one either there's a lot of things like the flesh heart if the flesh heart spawns far away you're gonna have a really big issue so mountain bases got super nerfed in fact right now it's it would be best to build as central on the map as you can so that you can get to these places as fast as possible i don't know how it determines who to abduct not sure drop pod yeah if you're the melee gods that'll be fun man i'm looking forward to melee gods versus void gods i only played base game quality of life mods what's a good overhaul mod you would recommend trying uh i've never really played things in that sort of way and unless uh i don't know about vanilla i mean you could try zombie land zombie land is a lot of fun i know a lot of people play uh the medieval overhaul and a lot of people play a uh, rim world of magic i've never played that one so I know those are very popular. Zombie Land was a lot of fun. I did play that one. Yeah, other than that, those ones, I'm, I'm not sure. What are melee gods? Just melee pawns. It's the name of a xenotype I made for a YouTube series, or a Twitch and YouTube series. It's an edited in full-length form up on YouTube. You can go check it out if you want. But they are basically the strongest possible melee characters that you can make in the game. And it was a really, really fun really fun run a very very different way to play but it was still very hard starting out because i started out with just one of them and we had a lot of rules in place but we almost lost a lot early on but to put it in perspective by the time we got to late game we tested it by the time we got to the late game a melee god took three to four doomsday rockets to the face to kill them the first two Doomsday Rockets, they would have bruises only, but their armor would be destroyed. Crazy. The third Doomsday would usually down them, and the fourth one would kill them. They... It was so crazy. And they're going to be even crazier with serums. So, I'm going to need... I don't know if scans are going to be... Screw it, man. I'm going to buy all these components. I don't know if scans are slow or not with this ritualist. So if scans are slow, then getting more scanners, I mean, it helps, but it's... 
it's kind of whatever um you know what i'll buy three i'll get one more scanner down and then i'll have two for the fabrication bench if we ever get there that's gonna be ages i changed my mind again yeah melee gods was a lot of fun and we've been talking about how would melee gods fare against all the new anomaly stuff would they would we even be able to win especially against things like devourers because devourers eat people <laughs> Melee gods are all melee. So it'll be a really fun thing to try to figure out. Ghouls and melee gods. Yeah, I, the run almost ended early on by guinea pigs. <laughs> it was so crazy. Melee gods would lose when we won against a revenant. Yeah, that's true too. You need two melee gods per devour? Not necessarily. I have some ideas. Uh, Eb, thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime. Thank you, Eb. And Doth Dwayne, thank you for the 100 bits. Trezu, thank you again as well. <laughs> Flesh hearts might be really difficult with melee gods. Eh. Yeah, we'll see. I'm looking forward to trying it. So as soon as they're home, we will provoke again. How many free bedrooms do we have right now? One, two, two, okay. Seventy shamblers. Uh Phil. These are not shambler assaults. This is shambler hangout edge of map. But if he enters that spot, he's dead, so he's gonna have to chill out there for a little bit. How are we doing on the bio fair, right? Okay. Um, let's go ahead and skip abduct. Ninety-five percent. Oh wait, wait, wait! No, no, no! I don't have a prison set for them. Uh, you know what? I guess this is our prison for right now. Do entities set off traps? Like, have you tried a simple? It depends on the entity. It seems the sight sealers avoided traps. The revenant avoided them, but I haven't seen like, for instance how devours or uh oh or chimera or something <laughs> i've been replaced oh crap why do you have intellect over crafting you jerk How long until the clone? 14 days. Did you buy the DLC? I really like the DLC, yeah, but it's uh it's up to you. If you like if you wish there were more threats and more variety of threats in Rimworld, then this is the DLC for you. This is your favorite of the new songs? Right, I forgot. I didn't even notice that he had asthma. Like throwing boys set off spike traps and you run that makes sense yeah because they're just like mindless almost right yeah that makes sense we think of biofarite as material it's it's pretty good it's like the third best material as far as like hp and things it is flammable you can think of it as almost like flammable uranium 
It's okay. Take their organs for selling purposes. Which do I take? Uh, one lung, one kidney, one heart. One heart. Where would I rank this DLC? Uh, I really like it so far. I'm not sure where I'd ra rank it between the others. Right now, I'm really enjoying it, but... Yeah, I don't 100% uh, don't know where I'm going to rank it when the dust settles, though. But I really like it. Ice Sheet and Biofarite would be... Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Can't rank bananas against apples. Both taste good. That's true. Phil, do you have enough... Phil, why do I keep calling him Phil all day today? I I mis did it as a mistake one time. And then ever since then, I just can't stop. He doesn't have a lot of food. Banana candy doesn't taste like bananas. It tastes like a type of banana. As well, without killing them, but it sounds like it's a nope. Nope, nope. Biofarite burn boxes, more HP means they burn longer. It doesn't quite work, work like that. Um, for instance, using steel in them, the steel would end up going out before it got hot enough. What is his name, if not Phil? His name is Pin. Pinilino. Pinilino. Who will be the first ghoul? We haven't found a good ghoul candidate yet. Why is storage outside? Because it's on a shelf. Things don't deteriorate on shelves. That's the whole purpose of shelves. Is hunting worth it at any part, part of the game? Yes. Hunting is good, especially early on. Especially like on this map, on a cold map. Uh, we hunted quite a bit in the beginning to get some clothing for the starting tribals and uh, to survive the first winter. Is ranching good? Ranching is very good, yep. <laughs> Best way for removing the flesh mass from the map? There's only one way to remove the flesh mass from the map. You get the three, you study the three different nerve sacs, and then you deactivate it. And then it will vanish over time. Uh, fire mech attack. It should go after the shamblers, though. Man, Pin, you are stuck. Visitors that refuse to work, force them to read schematics. Yes, good idea. How do you make beautiful bedrooms? I don't care about them being beautiful in this run, really. I'm just doing a floor, a statue, and a bed. Not really worrying about it. Hey, Max, I don't mind them so much. Those Tesseron are absolutely frying those. Ah, oh, the shard is way out here. Go help your other Shambler friends. This makes me think of a Mechanitor run where you have a bunch of Tesseron. <laughs> Does the Geothermal have a roof above it? Yes. It's helping heat my, uh, my base. Hate Tesseron? I do too, actually. I hate Tesseron more than I hate Centipedes. No security door on containment? Security door, security door. These are just old. This is before I even had security doors. My actual containments have them. 
but it took us like three years to research it because of our research speed. Go Shamblers, go! Wow, look at that. Oh, they got a melee block. The Shamblers win by sheer ma massive numbers. Wow, good job, Shamblers. Good job. I thought the Tesseron was just going to melt them all before they could do anything. Bill, how lucky are you feeling that you're not going to enter right here? Oh, they're finally leaving. All right, Phil. We'll be home soon. Quite as bad as a minus six or random version of the base, though. Anything with fire sucks the game. Yeah, I wish you could teach Bonds to stop, drop, and roll. I'm going to keep calling him Phil, just so you know. I know now that it's not Phil, but he's going to be Phil forever. Just pretty much ruin any raids they decide to come in the wrong time yeah <laughs> faster ritual research made up for such slow uh you could probably if we had gotten more entities faster in single rooms to the, the problem the limiting factor of ritualist is biopharite so ritualists want to do a lot more rituals but most rituals cost biopharite so you need more entities to do that right so i think if you really prioritize getting Maybe just uh, lots of cr crappy one room ones, even to just throw like shamblers and stuff in. Or excuse me, four room ones to throw shamblers in where they're, they're so weak, they're not going to escape. You're not going to get a lot of biopharite from it. But yeah, I think ritualists just really need biopharite. Their, their faster uh, study speed is nice. But. You know, uh, it, it doesn't really do you much good to have all that stuff studied if you can't use it because you don't have biofair, right? How do you make it so you can't pause? I'm using a mod called, do, called don't or uh, no pause challenge. No pause challenge. So if you want to use a mod, use no pause challenge. is the one that I use. Or you can just unbind your pause key if you want. He's filling our hearts. Yeah, if we hadn't been tribal, that would have... Yeah, we'd be further ahead even if we just hadn't started tribal. That's true. So that's only half the story in the ritualist thing. Can you from a cold dead... <laughs> Tremere seem to never escape after a certain low mid amount of containment strength. Check their brain. Check their health. So if you are harvesting electricity over time, the electricity is going to fry most creatures, brains and spines. And then you don't have to worry about it as much. <laughs> Any tips for dealing with a revenant? Uh, try to get to like an EMP grenade, something reusable that you can chase them down with. And then when a revenant does hit someone, start watching. They'll leave scratch marks. Even if you didn't damage them, start following the scratch marks. And if you can, preempt throwing an EMP. But EMPs stun them and reveal them. You got Anomaly. You gave in. Is there an easy way to help cast your entities? No, unfortunately. I was hoping that the Nerve Spiker would have a higher chance of downing entities rather than killing. But no, entities just have a death on down chance like everything else. They have their own death on down chance, but it is still death on down chance. Shout out to Pitten. You mean Phil? Yeah, Phil's all right. Phil's all right. Okay, how are we do it on steel? We're kind of low on it. Let's, uh,. Yeah, let's go mine the steel in this time.
And yeah. from Chile, welcome in Avalon. Are security doors DLC? Yes, security doors are DLC. Ornate doors are 1.5. So ornate doors are 1.5. They are a double door as well, but. How do you get advanced anomaly research from advanced entities? Like, like the Devourer and the Revenant, for instance. So anything in this tier will give advanced study. If you don't have anything advanced selected in your research, it will give normal instead. So you can double pump into normal if you want. Warped Obelisk. Yes, I love that obelisk. Open the Ancient Danger anytime soon? I haven't decided yet. All right. We're going to let it explode. Do ornate doors have higher HP? No, they have less than just having two doors. Ornate doors are just to make the room fancier. Do you like the darkness event? It's pretty crazy. I like it too, though. You're in Chile as well. The mechs fight well against the entities. Um, mechs are weak against events where they get melee locked and a lot of the entities melee lock. So like mechs do pretty well against the gore hulks and okay against like flesh and stuff like that. But Chimera absolutely wrecked them. Chimera, it's not even close. Chimera just dominate the mechs. Chimera are pretty equivalent to elephants in a lot of ways. And so, like, manhunting elephants also wreck mechs, right? For the most part. So. Devourers don't spawn in huge enough numbers generally, so I haven't really seen that interaction too much. Probably, thankfully. Wait, did we not get another advanced component? I thought I ended up grabbing at least one. I didn't know. Okay. You see where people were dumping toxic waste into the pit? Yeah, yeah, I like that. It's fun. It's funny. The next fight oh, I heard that. Fix the burn boxes and roof collapses for downing ponds, otherwise you'll be capturing Yeah, that that might be a bigger part of it than what we thought, yeah. How does Scythers uh, a lot of the, or quite a few of the new entities are actually stronger than Scythers in a, a one on one. So, like, Metal Horrors do more damage than a Scyther and are way, way tankier. They're just not as fast as Scythers. Whereas, like, a Chimera is faster than a Scyther and deals more damage and is tankier. So, <laughs> is Raven pregnant again? Yes, again. Fifth child. What armor is good mid game for melee? Um, uh, whatever you have access to, really. But I mean, it's the same like graduation process of armors as everything else. Or ores. So, like if if you make it to high quality marine armor or cataphract, right? But if you haven't made it there, then just whip them whatever you have, flak vest, just like normal. It's like everyone else, but. Alright, so... Which are still going right now. How's the growing flesh wall interact with toxic waste? I haven't seen any interaction with it. Gotcha, Avalon. Sorry to hear. Raven's pregnant with her fifth kid. We're actually ready to do this. We have, we have a lot of components, so... A lot of components. All right, let's do it. We have two free bedrooms anyway. All right, let's go. Does twenty five percent research speed for ritualist effect scanners? I'm not sure, but we haven't scanned a single thing, so it's very possible. Delstrand ever worth it for armor? Is it just too much wealth? Delstrand's definitely worth it. It. 
it's just it takes a really long time to grow if you're on a year-long rowing map you might as well put it down if you're on one of these you have to be more cautious about growing it right you have to grow it in a hot house or something like that but we have been really unlucky with join festivals in this run Wow. What am I trying to aim for with research in general or right now? Right now, we're trying to get to the point where we can make our own components. Not a single join. Come on. Give me one. One. Be good, please. Be good. 40 year, 41 year old, ascetic, nervous. Uh, they're not really good. We need more fighters in general. All right, I'll keep you anyway, I guess. Rain Tiger. No ghoul this time. We just now got the research for the ghoul. Like, just a just a little bit ago. Or do you mean, like, not turning them into it? No, I'm not going to turn them into it. I'd rather have a... Uh, wait for a tough pawn for a ghoul. Only the anomaly researcher start, starts with ghoul unlocked already. How much damage a robust, tough ghoul will do? Difficult to grow up without sun lamps? Yeah. yeah. Bedroom kid, that's probably not a probably not a great place to go. Nature running. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we're going to let the Warped Obelisk fire, so hopefully we can get down there and get some good stuff. Uh, I'm really curious who ends up getting pulled in there this time, though. I you know if wall lamps are safe to use outside. Um, oh, do you mean if raiders will specifically attack them? I don't know, but let's find out, actually. Let's put one on the outer wall. Raiders will probably attack it, but we'll find out. It's it's bio coded. Bio coded, bio coded. They grab them, but they're bio coded. Ghouls go to learn school. School. Yeah, I did see that earlier, and uh, I didn't grab it because bio coded to a raider. You just up smelting finally. Flush mass heart of it is something. It's pretty crazy. Oh, way more got taken. It must be a percentage of the colony. All right. Holy crap. All right. Uh, <laughs> the Gwarling got taken. <gasps> oh. Lizard could be infected after this. He's the best option for... We're getting attacked in here by a flesh beast, but that's unfortunate. He's tough, nimble, so. Uh, Starfield got taken, Sinner. Major Hurts, you need to try to make it up to him, actually. Or etchings. No sign of which direction to go. Okay.
And these are kind of crazy with no pause, huh? We got a tome. Kidney, a lung, a serum. There's a box up there, too. Hopefully no revenant comes while we're down here. So many. Yeah, it looks like it takes about half your colony each time if you let it blow up. You guys just do whatever you're doing, I guess. A lung. I get loot this time so far. Do not like that Lizard got meleeed by a finger spike. I can end up coming back to haunt us. There's a pit. Be careful of that. The pit do? It says it's a bottomless pit, so I don't know if you can actually fall fall into it or what. Are those my dryads? Yeah. <laughs> Spit to you. I'm afraid it kills someone, but I'm not going to test it. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm wondering too. Maybe if you destroy it, only the people that fought it or, or damaged it go in. We'll have to test that. We've seen that resurrect those guys, so we don't want that. We're going to need to eat soon. If you're using the vanilla extended series of mods, I do not. Not aside from the storytellers. I have some from against several of the storytellers, but not the other stuff. Try it with Lizard. What, the pit? No, I don't want to lose any of these people. Lizard. What? Lizard's one of my best people. Best colonists. What? Oh, okay. Uh, that one hasn't given us the direction either. Oh my god. We're getting real unlucky. They're going to need to eat real soon too. isn't in there <laughs> we can throw him in the pit it's the back room it's a labyrinth labyrinth
Exit is somewhere west of here. Okay. So we found a, a clue finally. So where was that? Here? Okay, so keep going this way. No one is starving yet. I want to go ahead and have someone open this to connect. Oh, okay, it's already, already done. Hunger and recreation and stuff still decaying here? Yes. That's, uh, you have to find corpses that have meals and drugs and you find beds that you can stay in. Found it. You get here? Yep. We just need to open that door. We don't really need to, actually. Wow, we found it. This many people, we found it without even needing to eat yet. Not as good loot this time, though. Eat the flesh tree. You can eat the meat off of it. Yeah, they won't be happy. Take that, rabbit. How dare you show up down here? It'd be cool if they did a Davy Boy reference in the labyrinth. Uh, dance magic dance when you get in there. Oh no. Who? Crap. That's our friggin' doctor. Worst case scenario for the person to get. Get hit by that. Crap, crap, crap. <sighs> so it teleports everything that's in the labyrinth out with you, including any flesh beasts that are remaining. And flesh beasts, like the finger spike, can implant metal horror parasites. And guess who spreads parasites the most? The doctor. <laughs> so. So I guess for now, we will turn doctoring off on major hurts. Whilst we super, super need it, which hopefully doesn't happen, but. What do parasites do? They eventually spring out of their chest cavity as a metal horror, which are really strong mobs. Wasn't Raven attacked as well? Raven didn't take any damage in there. The only people that took damage in there was Lizard, and then after we got out, Major Hurts. Was that other doctor? No, that was li uh, Lizard was the other one that got hit down there. 100% way of knowing if someone is infected by using a doctor mech? No. Uh, there's two ways to know. One, well, outside the doctor, outside the medical mech. Uh. Oh, you mean because of the lying? Because of the lying, yes, mechs can't lie. Yeah, but you can also do interrogation. So you can eventually find out through interrogation if you want, and that doesn't require medical. But I don't want to arrest my people to have to do it. You know. Yeah, cooking can spread it as well, yeah. Wait, was Lizard a cook? No. We're not having him cook, so. Can't you do the surgical inspection thing? It doesn't do anything until you know the signature to look for. Oh, he had it temporarily to tend to himself, you're right. Can you fix him? We don't know that he has it. 
We're just going to have to... Oh, God. He's also a cook. We're just going to have to wait a little bit. Actually, since we're not in Tier 2, the odds of it implanting it are pretty low. Probably fine, right? Probably fine. Implanting what? The parasite. Nah, it's fine. He probably doesn't have it. Try interrogating. I'm not going to arrest. I'm not going to arrest one of my best colonists. We'll just... We'll burn that bridge when we get to it. That's not the saying. It is this time. We'll burn that bridge when we get to it. All right. Hard snow. Yeah, I don't even think you have the interrogation ability until... Yeah, the first gray flesh chunk. So yeah, the surgical inspection won't find anything until you research the, the, fle uh, the flesh chunks that come out. How do you find the signal to look for? They eventually just... It just falls off of people that are infected. You can sometimes... So the, the way we found it on my first playthrough was the flesh was right next to a drill and we knew who, we knew who had been using the drill. <laughs> so it was like, all right. Burn that bridge and the horse you rode in on. So sometimes it's kind of easy to find out at least who one of the people are. Not always though. If you clone him, will be I'm not sure, yeah. I'm not sure if you can clone a parasite, like, inside of someone. My plans for the square room. Uh, it was gonna... Half of it was gonna be meat freezer for our ghouls, but we haven't gotten any good candidates, candidates for ghouls yet. Your colony has it, and you have 25 pawns. Up till now, 10 surgical inspections have all been negative. So, uh, Bambinu. Are you doing the surgical inspections with a mech, or are you doing it with a doctor? Because if you're doing it with a doctor and they have the parasite, then you have implanted it into 10 more people. <laughs> uh, potentially. <laughs> like, why does this doctor keep not finding it? Oh, huh. weird. They've gone through all 25 pawns. You might have a big problem on your hands. Let me know how it turns out. We're going to test this. Plus chunk shouldn't pop up as a large yoss. Oh, you have to like actually see them, man. That's your guess as well, yeah. <laughs> well, would you prefer with or without a top of the line headset or top of the line speakers? My setup. Uh, I guess headphones, right? Because I, I don't use speakers on the stream. For my streaming setup, I suppose, but outside of streaming, yeah, I would want speakers for sure. Lone Genius, yeah, they're pretty awesome. Wish you luck, good luck. <laughs> All right, so let's start getting this worked on down here. I wanted more pawns before we did this, but... Oh, well. What skill is best for the Psy stuff where you they give you titles and all on honor rating? So if you're going with royalty ranks, the the cheat mode trait to, to get traits is an ascetic. So royal ascetics don't need all the royal stuff. Or they don't need most of it. So aesthetics won't need special food or a special bedroom. Uh, now, if you mean skills itself, it changed a lot after royalty. So 
just things to help them keep happy. Uh, a royal that has like a burning passion in something that they're doing all the time means they're going to be happier even with their higher expectations. But yeah, a long time ago, as you went up through, when royalty first came out, as you went up through the royalty ranks, the person would do less and less, like to the point where it got to where basically they would only socialize and eat. But they changed that in 1.2, thankfully. Batteries give off heat? I don't think so. Geothermal is giving off heat, though. We haven't got a single scan, so I am really thinking this 25% applies for scans. Oh, we got one. We got one scan. That's crazy. We've been scanning now for, like, a season or more. One scan. Ouch. Skip abduction is ready. Okay, let's... Uh, let's do it. Raven. Um, how's that one? Yeah, other than that, so your your royal is going to eventually have two higher expectations that you can't do anything about. Even when you get to maximum expectations, they're going to be two beyond that and have like a minus 12 or something. So if you have no other good choice, just the person that's easiest to keep happy. Sanguine, Optimist... You know, steadfast, things like that. Construction. Uh, nah, all right. We still don't have a psychically sensitive person either. Do we need to refresh Ravens? 12 days, we do. Okay, let's, let's just do that. So, psychophagy on shark I should, probably should divide up who's doing rituals because ritualists get bonuses to mood for being in a ritual I need to keep a better better track of that 110 days all right how fast do you think you could get to the windscreen of anomaly I'm not sure I do want to try that sometime though What's the 25% on scans? It's because, I believe it's because of Ritualist research extremely slow. And that makes sense too, because in the last playthrough we had research extremely fast and we were getting so many scans, so. I do think ideology research speed impacts scans. Just woke up, we have personal bedrooms for everyone now. That's right. So now Raven, who was in their third trimester, I forgot you were about to have another kid. Two years of plus percent psychic sensitivity. What's with the sideways doors, the exits? Let's imagine Bored is a visitor or a caravan or anyone else. And they're out here and they get attacked by manhunters, entities, raids, whatever. Bored as a visitor trader, whatever, can still go here, and they'll stand in this doorway for cover, and then when they inevitably die, they're gonna fall down, and they would hold that door open, and then the crap that they're carrying would fall down and hold another door open here. So having that space between there means that enemies won't just flood into the base from some idiot visitor dying on a door. Do the heaters heat bedrooms and the main? Yeah, because we have vents on all the bedrooms, yeah. The statues look like they're wearing chef hats. <laughs> Body modder is pretty easy. Yeah, anything that helps with mood is good for uh, for royal for sure. Uh, all right, you know what? Let's run it again. We'll see what we get. Void provocation. We need more entities. So, chant, chant. What are you saying, Raven? Sputtered softly about the echoes of forgotten screams. All right. I thought I set this up earlier and I just remembered I didn't. I meant to get around to it and I completely forgot. We should have had this set up a long time ago. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, hey, our second scan. Wow, and it's going to be inside the walls. Counter out for how many times you answer the door question. Oh, it'd be in the many dozens. What are you doing when you do a ritual? This ritual, Void Provocation, is going to summon some kind of anomaly thing. So now, uh, within the next little bit, we're going to get attacked by some kind of anomaly creature or creatures. Have you used Chronophagy on your own kids to age them up? No. You have to be 13. You have a moody buff? You have to be 13 on either side of Chronophagy. How do you deal with the flesh mass hearts? You have to keep... So you have to get three nerve bundles. So keep... As it's approaching your base, keep shooting it, going out every now and then and culling it a little bit so it doesn't spread into your base. And then wait for the pop-up to say a nerve bundle has spawned. You need three nerve bundles. Once you do that, you can just go right click on the heart and it stops it. And then all the crap that it spawned will. Oh, a twisted obelisk, huh? That is so friggin' far away. Yeah, see, the obelisk seemed to try to fall around the centerish of the map, too. So, twisted obelisk. Um, that's gonna turn all of the animals in the region into flesh creatures when it explodes, which isn't a big deal. So we'll just leave it. What happened with Ritual Baby? They grew up. They grew up. Is it possible to reverse age someone under 13 and get extra growth moments? No. You Chronophagy only works if they're 13 or older on either side of the Ritual. You have a Peter Pan colony? You could, yeah. You could keep... Keep people under 18, yeah. You can revert people all the way to 13. What's the unnatural corpse anomaly? Your colonists burn the body before you could stop them. Don't worry, it'll be back. Just keep an eye out, it'll come back. You might not want people to keep burning it over and over, though. You ever do a sidecast only run with the vanilla sidecast expanded? I won't say never. I have too many runs for Anomaly now that are not mod dependent that I have planned for. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't be opposed to eventually doing some more overhaul playthroughs. A reason to build a bed out of something other than wood the main reason to build a bed out of something other than wood is you lack wood as a material so like if you're starting on a desert map sometimes steel is more plentiful most of the time steel is more plentiful than wood and so you would maybe build them out of out of steel that's that's the main time that is different So steel and plasteel and uranium and wood, all those all those have the same bed stats. You basically don't want to build your beds out of stone is all you have to kind of remember. In general, and there's there's uses for building it out of stone too. Uh, for instance, sometimes you want prisoners to sleep longer, so you might make their beds out of 
Might make them crappy beds out of stone so that their sleep recovery is very slow. Now we're just building crazy. The prison beds, yeah. Having half a dozen builders is nice. It is. When you do a mountain base, do you use smooth floors or walls? Add so much wealth. So they changed it. So until 1.5, smoothing walls was the, one of the most wealth efficient things in the game. Smooth walls only gave you one point of wealth for every smooth wall. But it was in the patch notes that, that has been changed, but I haven't checked it to see how dramatic it was changed. How dramatic the change has been, I should say. So typically what I would have done or what I did before 1.5 was I would um, early on I would smooth all the walls, but then I wouldn't smooth the floor. All right, I'm going to finally do something so that if we get those freaking cultists, we can get over there. We're going to extend that eventually. Two stone floor more expensive than marble tiles. Uh, it's so if you go to my um, my wealth guide, it goes over. Oh no, a siege. Oh, they're close by. Uh, I don't have mortars yet. Um, these take too long. What do you guys have? Sniper. Ugh. Shock lance. Sandy Lance. Raven, go open that. Kid, stay back. You have his shield belt on? Okay, go. Kid, come hold open this uh, stone door, actually. Kid. Yeah. Vest in the back, in the back. Okay. I don't have a turret down there, so I need someone to cause collision. We'll finally rebuild that wall too. I think we have enough stone. Uh, Vess, you need to be here. Lizard, we, we gotta get a good ghoul at some point. How long until this is ready? I could have shot the obelisk actually, the other obelisk. Raven, you go there. Kid, you go hold that door open. freaking impid there how stupid fire is these guys aren't even on fire and they're like all right i'm out honestly i should have just done the no kill box thing back there all right it's time to fix all this stuff screw the bridge for now Uh, just stay inside. 
Actually, yeah, just just heal up first. Make sure Dryad's Revenge. <laughs> it's on fire. Still somewhere, it's still somewhere. All right, uh, I gotta be careful with this. But we're finally gonna rebuild all this, so. First off, though, we should just seal this up. Well, hang on. Was that the... F that was the first hit. I gotta be careful. You know what? We can't afford to do that yet. We have to worry... We have to worry about Cassandra hitting us again. I need another doctor. Holy crap. This is, mo this is not modded. Aside from no pause. Yeah. No mods, really, other than the no pause mod. Does Hellcat Rifle beat the Heavy SMG? No. No. You can think of a Hellcat Rifle as an auto pistol that can shoot a little bit of fire as a bonus. K kind of. Similar. Not too great, unfortunately. Yeah, this next attack, depending on what it is, could be really brutal. I can imagine Chimera right now. Uh... Just in case that ends up happening, let's close this off. We can always fix it after. But at least then we have the option of closing this all off while we're rebuilding. Change friendly fire? No. Uh, exclamation FF. Is it my friendly fire guide if you want? But no, they didn't change friendly fire. If any weapons get adjusted? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I wouldn't doubt if the Hellcat rifle gets a little bit of adjustment, but yeah, I don't know. Depends on what the developer's vision for that rifle is, I guess. This is really dangerous. Getting all this uh, fixed up while Cassandra's off cooldown. Putting on the floor, putting on the floor in some kind of occultist sign. Oh, this? Yeah, it's a ritual spot. Yeah, anomaly, uh, psychic ritual spot. How long does it take until Metal Horror's goop shows up? Um, it's. It's a range, but it generally isn't supposed to show up until it's been spread at least once. So by the time you see the flesh from a metal horror infestation, it should at least be in two people, maybe more.
Any tips for forcing breakdowns? Adding human later on your run? Um, you can you can just starve someone and leave them standing. I I had someone that I wanted to inhumanize, so I drafted them and had them go stand outside in the dark uh, until they were getting too hungry. Uh, divine, 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 etc. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, divine. Doc to B. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Also, thank you, Doc. Thank you, divine. Mm -hmm. this done still here what do you do to handle it like right now you found people on the ground how do you quarantine or find out so the biggest sign is where you found it so sometimes you can just know who probably has it based on where you found it so my last run it happened to be laying right next to a drill that someone was just at so you know what we're gonna have to suppress this for this one time because right now we gotta get these walls done Sometimes you get lucky like that. Sometimes you just... its It could only be that person, right? That was standing there. For ghouls, walls, they can be, yeah. Uh, outside of just kind of getting a good idea of who was the one with it. Um, if you recently did a provoke and a creep joiner came and you haven't had the Metal Horror yet, it most likely they have it. It's not guaranteed. You can think of it that way as well. But there, there's different signs like that. You could also... Okay, you, can in, um, you can't interrogate until you... Raven's in labor. Great spot for it. Hang on. Fifth child, you should be used to it now. You never get used to it. Safest bet is to purify everything and everyone with fire. Oh no! There's a parasite somewhere in the colony. Let me line the entire colony up and kill them. We'll start over. <laughs> I mean, that'll do it. That'll do it. Might run into some uh, other problems that way, though. Seen gray flesh since, and that's been in game years. Really won't do a surgical inspection of them now. And uh, did you find anything after the interrogation? It's been years. Is that person still with you as well? Has that person been cooking or tending to anyone? Because uh, you might be in trouble here. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the orb? I've seen everything. I've already done a full playthrough. Uh, my first full playthrough. Oh no, oh no. My first full playthrough is up on YouTube in the live tab. Check it out if you want to check it out. But yes, I've already done all the events. Well, speaking of metal horror, we might have one after this. One of those opened up inside the wall. This is open down here. Uh, there's a baby being born right now, unfortunately. At least get everyone grouped back up. You guys stay in that room.
We might have people injected now. We won't know for a while, though. A healthy child! They were born during a flesh attack. We will remember this. Flesh bit. Yeah, you knew. <laughs> Kit. <laughs> uh. I saw that name coming. Only three in bedroom, baby. Yes, but also um, in the labyrinth, Major Hertz and Lizard also both got meleeed, and Major Hertz is our only real doctor, and they're our main chef. <laughs> so um, I could have turned them off of both, and I was like, "Ah, eh, let's see what happens." So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, we'll see what happens. Uh, whoops. Sure, it'll be fine. You don't know anyone who's died to evil metal blood flesh monsters? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So right now, our doctor might be infecting this kid, and we have no idea. When is the next stream? So I have to do a camp thing with my daughter, so the next stream won't probably be realistically until Friday afternoon. At the earliest. So that'll give you lots of time to catch up on the um, the VODs if you want, though. So for anyone that doesn't know, the entire first playthrough, in including the crazy ending, is up on my YouTube channel under the Live tab. Just click on Live and you can get to it. The doctor spreading everywhere and making all the food, yeah. <laughs> Raven had another child? Yeah, just number five. Purging metal horrors becoming immune to infection. That'd be nice. 59 days on your current map. One colonist, one baby. Kidnapped and want to beige you, dude. Oof. Oof. All right. Well, if if Major Hertz is infected, so Raven already will be. So. Corrupted Obelisk is ready again. Good. I guess we'll go ahead and set up the new perimeter while we're doing this Might as well. Trying to work at the same time as watching. Uh, yeah, so the entire first run is up on YouTube under the live tab, including the craziest ending to maybe any game I've ever had. Major's already given a few parasites to Raven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's the corrupted obelisk do? It clones pawns in various, various ways. I to watch single phase run. Oh man, the single phase run is crazy. Yeah, if anyone hasn't watched the edited single phase run, get on that first. Yeah, probably. Got some love in plus 10. It burns on my pee. My pee looks like metal. <laughs> Minus 14. Could clone my doctor. I wanted to clone my doctor. Now I'm worried about it. Yeah. We're talking about it earlier, cloning the doctor, but. Yeah. I need another crafter as well. Guess what? Major Hertz is also good at crafting. We should probably clone Starfield next, and hopefully they come back 
in decent shape. I think we already have some organs ready. If not, we can... Yeah, we have some organs ready. They've been in decent shape in your experience. <laughs> Are right, entities immune to temperature? I'm not sure. A blind healer. So, John would be able to heal the clone if they get crumbling mind. Hmm. They also have unexpected side effects, though. Hmm. We know we know about that. Psychophagy is ready again already. Yeah. What could go wrong? <laughs> you can't clone these ones. Oh, I didn't realize we picked up a tech print at some point. Always jump packs. Always jump packs. I wonder what happens if I just don't talk to them. I haven't tried that method. They probably still screech or scream or whatever. You don't touch anything other than crap on the ground that you want to haul around. Okay. It's also giving a mood hit on us, though. First thoughts, minus three. Um... Yeah, Every time I've denied one, they've always screamed. You can't find the playthrough VOD on YouTube? Go to YouTube and just click the live tab. It's, it's right there. Um, Where are you looking for it? Are you on mobile by chance? I might have a copy and paste of the final episode of it still. And there's copy and paste of the final one. Whoa, Aries. Choose it. Yeah, no worries. That's the last episode of it. So uh, it's not the first. Uh, well, I guess you understand what the last means, but my favorite use of insect meat. Well, I mean, our people actually enjoy insect meat in this one, so we'll just eat it. But uh, generally, you can either turn it into Kim fuel and use. You can turn it into packaged survival meals and sell it. Or you can turn it into fine or lavish meals and get a net mood buff, even if people don't like it. You can see it on mobile too? Okay. When it explodes, it pawn... clones pawns at random. Can you select the clone? No, it, the obelisks, if you study them long enough, you unlock the ability to use it on, on a cooldown. So I can just clone someone every 30 days. It'll still happen at random sometimes, but we're just leaving it around, leaving it suppressed, and then every 30 days we're able to clone someone if we want because we've studied it enough. Um, the Twisted Obelisk, once you study it enough, you can choose to mutate someone every five days, I think it is, if you want. And then the Warped Obelisk is going to send people to the, to the maze. Yeah, Toxic Fallout, your only remaining animal on the map is an elephant with dementia. <laughs> Poor elephant. Guess that elephant won't remember anything. How ironic. 
an elephant with bad memory. Can you expa explain the drawbacks of the clones? So once you clone someone, you have a one in four chance of getting four different kinds of clones. One, it can come hostile. And then if you down it, you can just capture it and recruit them. It can come with um, duplication sickness, which is going to reduce the consciousness of them and the other du dupes of the same person until it get and they're it's going to make them break down more. So you need to either get rid of them or if you have a healer mech serum, you can get rid of it. There's crumbling mind, kind of the same thing. Crumbling mind is going to um, pretty much kill them unless you use a healer mech serum. And then they can come with organ decay. If organ decay, you can just replace their organs and then you get a new pawn. So for instance, we had lizard here. I cloned lizard. His clone came with organ decay. And I just replaced those organs. So now we have we have duplicated lizard because he's an incredible pawn. Tough, nimble, crazy stats. And so now I need a doctor, right? So I'm going to try to clone for a doctor. And I have a 25% chance of getting the one that I can just fix. Because I already have the stuff to fix that one. Two is Zard. Oh yeah, and we have three Zard too. We have three of them. Yeah, no worries. Uh, thank you for watching. Stockpile organs for organ decay? Yeah, yep. The clone was from the thing exploding. Deep sickness, so you thought that was just how it worked? Uh, no, if you study the obelisk, you can control them somewhat. But yeah, there's four different kinds. Not counting the, ex the explosion one, which duplicates everyone as, as hostiles. There's four different kinds of, uh, of duplication. You can't clone the sus pawns, the, the creep joiners. It doesn't let you. Doesn't let you do it. Are we... We have a lot of people on construction. It's just not getting done. Go ahead and preempt that too. Turn creep joiners into ghouls. I haven't tried that. Clone upon. They probably wouldn't have the ability either way, but I haven't tried it. If you clone upon that is infected, is the clone infected too? With metal horror? I don't know. That's what I'm worried about. Probably though, because they come with all the other medical problems. I had someone cloned that had like food poisoning and a vasectomy, and it came with both of those. <laughs> so I imagine it probably does. R2, the first Nolly playthrough? No. Couldn't mute fast enough. Now know all about the obelisk. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. This is day two of the Ritualist run. Sorry, Wolf. Thank you, though. <laughs> Have you used the Twisted Obelisk already? I've used everything. Yeah, not in this run, but this is my second run. The first run, we used all of them. Uh, yes, we used the Twisted Obelisk a lot. So we played it in human run, so we wanted everyone to have mutated parts. Uh, so yeah, in that one, absolutely. We used it on cooldown. I think I think at the end, every one of my pawns had at least one mutation from the Twisted Obelisk. Many people had two to four. We're probably going to lose more biofarite generation here. Yep. Want to haul that out of the way? <laughs> clone pawns keep social relationships? No. Could you clone your female plus male? They're breeding like rats and make them more babies? No. Is a metal horror like Terminator inner skeleton? Kind of, yeah. 
sort of. It's like a mix between that and the thing. It says that it's like a metal substance that gets in their bloodstream, and then when it's threatened or it thinks it can take over, it forms into an entity and bursts from their their torso. Love using the sus people to just clean the hall. That's what I'm doing. Every pawn that comes with creep join events is infected? No, they're not. Nope. Chest bursters, yep. Cool drop to your base. Can you recruit it? No, unfortunately. See anything different about the offspring of a clone? No, I'm not. Maybe sound of that. No, nothing different. I don't think. So, are you later going to edit them? I hope so. I reached out to the editor, but I haven't heard back yet. So he might have messaged me during the stream, but I just I don't have uh, Discord on during it. The ratio you have to know about how big a rice field has to be a special amount of pawns. Anyone know the ratio or something? So Oliver, basically the game, if you're playing on 100% difficulty, is balanced around if you plant it immediately, harvest it immediately, everything goes perfectly, and you only turn it into simple mules, it's about 20 crops per person. But you want to overplant a little bit, and that's on a year-long growing map. So I would say... The answer is it depends wildly on what all those factors and the map you're playing on, but don't be too afraid to overgrow somewhat and then trade off or gift off the excess. Better to have a little bit of excess and then get rid of it for more things you need. But really the game is balanced around if everything goes completely perfectly and you're playing on a lower difficulty, about 20 to 25 of each crop, each of the three main or one of the main three, corn, potatoes, rice, um, we'll feed someone on simple meals forever. But overgrow a little bit, trade off the excess, the best bet. Doing an overhead mountain run and you had them vacuum up your best doctor? Yeah, mountain runs got super nerfed. What ideology do I have? I'm doing the new ritualist ideology from uh, Anomaly. So we're good at studying entities, we're good at researching entity stuff, but we're incredibly bad at, re at normal research. Can you extract an ovum from a monster? Not from a monster, but you can extract an ovum from a ghoul. In the last playthrough, I extracted a ghoul ovum and I had them inseminate it and it was born just a normal human baby <laughs> somehow. Ghoul baby. Can I get this done? For science, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that was from a I was about to say that was from a um schematic here we're gonna put the guest in a very special place over near the obelisk <laughs> interesting change 1.5 since the unstable branch since the unstable branch no not really just bug fixes nice ghouls frequently confirm how it works I get disease is not genetic yeah kinda ghoulification yeah the mountain walls yeah that new abduct thing is really wild uh if you want to do a mountain playthrough and not worry as much about it you could try using the geological landforms mod that we did during the single phase run and use a lone mountain then it it's like a small mountain in the middle of your map that way you're not so far away from where the um abduction ritualist can spawn it's an option Hmm. 
Out of blocks. Blocks. Don't have a lot of miners either. Just one really. One and a half, I would call it. Our mountain base is nerfed now super much. Or super so, yep. There's a lot of events that you have to get out to quickly and you can't if if they spawn and you're in the other corner. And then also if you go tunneler and you have the darkness events, you can no longer plant or harvest your uh, Nutrifungus because the rooms for Nutrifungus have to be dark or else it kills it. But if you go in the dark, you get hurt and also Noctuals can spawn in the dark in certain scenarios. So. You have to you have to overstock food or or not use tunneler and and you know not use nutrifungus have the old the old way of uh, planting in on like rice and hydroponics under the mountain. Twisted obelisk. Uh, crap! 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 I thought I left that in the zone. No, no, I didn't. I know I didn't. more Myers. <laughs> Just building a tunneler base. Yeah, so the darkness event is really bad for tunnelers. You haven't found a suspawn in two years? That's weird. Yeah, you haven't had a, a creep joiner event at all. Dark visions, yeah. Dark light doesn't fix it because dark light kills Nutrifungus. Any light kills Nutrifungus. Unfortunately, I it w that would be a good fix. That's what I have thought for a long time is that dark light shouldn't kill fungus, but it does. You watch YouTube VODs? Yeah, thank you. Good have been since they are long and very calm. Yeah. They ever do that. Counts as a lot of watch time that way too. <laughs> thank you, Crystal. Yeah, it would be nice. That would be a great fix. I have had one vampire cult give you the quest for holding their meeting as well. Uh, I've had one vampire quest this run. Those ones are really rare. All right. Um, how are we doing on this? Okay, a little bit better. Let's just get a temporary shotgun tunnel set up down here. Just in the meantime. Dress signal. Sorry, I'm super busy at the moment. Unfortunately. Would like to go get that loot, but... Up for the science class, studying superhuman abilities. <laughs> uh, well, superhuman ability is on display. Anomaly. Flesh mass entity is so good. Yeah, I really like the yeah because the heart, as long as you keep it suppressed, you get a bunch of uh, bioferrite, a bunch of electricity. As long as you keep it suppressed, you never have to worry about it. Pretty good. I'm accepting suggestions, balancing like the ideology launch. I I don't know. Yeah, I think it says on the forum or something like that they don't read suggestion posts anymore for legal reasons. I don't know. Fill in the holes in the ground. Uh, these ones don't matter. These ones don't spawn more. It's the big flesh pit that spawns more. At least these have never spawned more. Legal reasons? Yep. Because, I mean, I guess if someone gives a suggestion and then suddenly that's in the game after the developers, that person may, I don't know, seek legal claims about them giving the idea or whatever, but I don't know. That's just that's just what it says as far as I'm aware. It doesn't explain it. It just says claims their idea was stolen or something, yeah. 
Did I stop my live stream on Twitch? No. I'm still talking to people over here. No, still going, still going. Six days on this. Um, Vayner can attack us again soon. Okay, so we got this done. Oh, I put that in the wrong spot. Oh, well. Put it there instead. Idea for a hot tub stream. After them, just do it anyway, and then line refer back to that statement. Uh, I've already kind of done that sometimes today, but with the other direction. I don't know why. Um, a lot of people, or not a lot, but a handful of people every time I do a stream in the YouTube chat. It's probably because the YouTube chat is delayed. Like the, the stream is delayed on YouTube by about a minute. So it looks like I'm not answering or responding for, for a little bit. I do get it quite a bit on the YouTube side where people are like, does Adam read the YouTube chat or respond at all? And I tell them no every time. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Similar in your game already, and the suggester had no legal backing, can breed bad blood. Just it's just better to avoid those sort of things, yeah. Makes sense. Would we saw a sewer scummy that way? This kind of idea sent to them can be strip stolen. Well again, it's it's that kind of thing pretty much they have to, to cover their bases like anywhere like for instance most games that i think all of them actually that you can have mods on will tell you like we own all the mods that you make Which makes sense right all the mods that you make from our game are ours not yours i think most most are if not all do that i don't read chat that's right. <laughs> Someone's all stream, let me know. Dude, DLC music is good, yeah. Yeah, it's got one of my new favorite tracks on it. I'm not sure what that one's called. When it plays again, we haven't had a Grey Paul in a while. It seems to play a lot during the Grey Pauls. No dev wants Dota to happen again. Oh yeah, Blizzard was pretty... Pretty upset against Defense of the Ancients, huh? Good ummed game, Dota. Red chat, the Berlin Wall was up. That larger game about do the lizard losing out big on Dota. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Not a P music song. Uh, there's two new DLC songs. So you're talking about one of the there's the darkness one or whatever. That's the whistling one. Are you talking about the other DLC song? It's called Trust Me, or a different one. Our security door door is good for defenses other than containing creatures. No, they have less less um, HP per tile. You're happy that Blizzard doesn't own Dota. A shark. I didn't mean to keep you alive this long. Harvest left lung, harvest left kidney, harvest heart. Okay. Yeah, I didn't remember that. The creator of Dota originally wanted to sell it to Blizzard, and Blizzard was like, no, it's ours anyway. We don't have to buy Yeah. Why don't I... Play with content mods, you're just curious. I should make a video about this too, because I answer it every day on the stream a couple times. Uh, there's a really long answer and a really short answer. The really sh the shortest answer answer is that it was a business decision and still is in a huge part. And the second answer is I do mod overhauls every now and then, so every few playthroughs. Um, th those are the short answers. There's a really long one for each of those, but that combines those, but. 
I used to use my typical run like six, seven years ago. I would have many, many dozens of mods every run, but then I changed it for a business decision and it paid off. Very long answer in detail in order from first set. <laughs> that's the that's the little video I should make or clip I should make. You had metal encounter yet? I've had every encounter yet. Not in this playthrough, but in the first playthrough, I've, I've done everything in Anomaly already uh, as far as like each event. I've I've done every event and I've encountered every entity in Anomaly in the first playthrough. This is the this is on to the second on to the second. No more one big barracks. Not in this playthrough. Probably in the next one. What score would I give to Anomaly? Give it an eight overall. I broke that down earlier too. The time, no, I know people are coming in all the time, so I don't, I don't mind. But I don't mind. But that's why I said I should, I should make uh, something that I can just re-reference because of that. Rex nerfed. Very old modded playthrough that you had, but you have no idea what mods they were. Yeah, it was ancient. But we do an overhaul mod, maybe like every four or five runs, just for fun. Still, you know. Overall, I mostly don't, especially now with Anomaly being new. It's like I want to see all the unmodded stuff and experience all that. What score would I give Biotech and Ideology? <laughs> I'm probably an eight. <laughs> yeah. The name cube is still broken. It's disabled right now. Because it's broken, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Like infestation, we don't have any overhead mountain, but I just built near this, so. Right. Lizard. Lizard and lizard. Invest, okay. Lizard, lizard, and lizard. Oh, change plans. We're going over here. That's a list of the camping necessities. Okay, good. Bugs did not used to act like that. Infestations got nerfed to 1.4. Do they get nerfed to 1.5 as well? Like again, we're just now to 150,000 wealth. And that's because of all the jelly. And we have really been keeping low on wealth in this. Doing a pretty good job as far as that's concerned. Dark visions. Let that crap rot. Ever seen the run like that? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> kind of crazy. They definitely weren't doing that in 1.4. Got going for a few years, so like it only would fit your style. So it was spread out way more. Like eerie stuff starts up every three to ten years. Yeah, I guess you'd have to set up a custom scenario that if you wanted it to be like that, unfortunately. What about royalties rating? I would give royalty like a five. These days. When it came out, we were like, oh my god. They look like small pits, the remnants. Uh, the, these are small pits, yeah. Basically, Emerald, 10 out of 10. Ideology, 
biotech and anomaly eight out, eight out of ten royalty five out of ten something like that <laughs> is the most challenging of the new events can you think of any particular bad combo randy could throw most challenging is the end game event and it's not even close that's one of the most challenging things i've done in a game in, in, in a long time maybe ever and it was down to the friggin wire uh there was a last second surprise on the max raid point in game of this which uh, I was definitely not expecting. That's what surprise means. But uh, aside from that, the events that can stack, which really suck, are they already stack. You don't even have to have Randy. They already stack at the end game. So Shambler Assaults with hundreds of Shamblers that act like sappers, letting in um, like 100 plus devourers and, and things like that. So... Oh, l -Tex clothing. Eh. If you haven't seen the end event yet on max raid points, it's really insane. It's up on YouTube if you want to check it out. It's in my live tabs. Go to YouTube, click on live, and go to the final. Uh, you could probably just search anomaly ending and, and find my video there somewhere if you want to see just the ending, but... Yeah. Uh, the final event on max raid points stacks a bunch of events together over and over. Uh, there was a moment when we had probably two or three thousand dead entities on the map we were talking about how dangerous having like two or three metal horrors are there was a point where we had over a hundred on the map at one time and more were spawning crazy there's ids would be good defense against those shambler breachers i don't think so no not that many at least I don't know how shamblers react to turrets if they react to them like sappers though if they react to them like sappers then there is potential to manipulate how they come into your base so that could be uh maybe an interesting thing to check out sometime but as far as like actually defending from them yeah there's there's no amount really of turrets that are gonna and base game turrets that are gonna destroy like 300 shamblers and there was there was a moment where we probably had close to 400 gore husks on the map attacking us with other things as well like really insane where did you get biotech and ideology probably an eight as well it's all for different reasons but probably I think if we had more DLC crossover between all of them, just in general, that would bump the score up higher for me on everything, but I'm going to try to burn box this run. I wasn't, I hadn't decided yet. I don't know. I guess we could try it. We're trying like all these things. Maybe we'll do it. Use vanilla turret just for aggro kill box. Bless my heart is a permanent darkness scenario. Just killed you. You did permanent darkness. Ouch. Hardest thing you ever tried. Yeah. Flesh Mass Heart with Permanent Darkness is crazy. Wow. I'm going to be anomaly at all. So after all types of things explored, what will Ludian do? Who knows? Hopefully they, uh, they continue making more stuff for RimWorld. Up to this point, they've only ever been a single game development company. So hopefully that's... Uh, that's going to continue being the case. We'll see. There we go. Ghoul got put down by a cobra to toxic. Really? Yeah, that's interesting. Or two more DLCs to cover every type of storytelling element possible. I really like the idea I was talking about earlier. It would really fit a government or world overhaul as well. Uh, for anyone that wasn't here during that, I was talking about how these new systems of like the Revenant and the Creep Joiners have really got me thinking about how cool it would be, how awesome it could be used for things like spies and all the things that you could do around that. And it could just be part of a DLC, right? So like a, a spy shows up that you don't know is a spy and they're from, uh, and, and you, you can interrogate them, etc., and figure it out. But if not, there is a chance like when the next raid comes and they're there, uh, there could be different things that could happen. They could let they could open the doors. They could just let them in. Uh, that would be terrifying as well. 
uh, they could, you know, um, they could like put, they could make your food, food poisoned or something. Like there's all kinds of stuff, right? And then on your end, you could send it over to like, um, send it over to a settlement and if, it, and, and set up for your spy or espionage stuff to make it so the next raid from those people are weaker or maybe, uh, smuggle like your relatives from that. So you don't have to kill your relatives when they show up in a raid. Lots and lots of things. Send them off to get people that have been kidnapped. Like, there's there's tons of options. I think they could do a lot with things like that, and it would really be fun. Like, my, one of the most fun... People keep asking me, like, what's the most fun event so far in this? And I really like hunting the Revenants. Like, sometimes I'm almost like, maybe I should let the Revenant take people, take at least the first person, and don't try to stop them, because I like looking for the clues and the, you know, the stuff on the ground and following it and trying to think, all right, did that door open... Which one of these doors was the one that I just hear, heard close? Where do we throw these EMPs? Like, there's lots of cool stuff like that with the Revenant that they could expand on with other systems. Or with new systems, I guess. I'm just sending a paw into an enemy. Yeah, and sometimes it goes badly, right? Maybe sometimes, if they're a bad spy, maybe they get interrogated and they tell them stuff about the settlement and the next raid is bigger instead. Like, lots of lo lots and lots of options. Lots of cool stuff they could do. Permanent death fall sounds really hard as well. Mm -hmm. I could signal for drop pods, make it so there are extra enemies on your base that don't count towards the regular raid strength roll. Yeah, there's tons of stuff. It'd be really, really neat to see. You can just ransom them back to like a kidnap pawn. Yeah, if they get caught. Uh, Ariana, thank you for the 27 months, Ariana. 27. What name did you get on your first run? Um. Crap. Oh, I, I attuned to the void. I'm guessing that's what you mean, right? So I went with a void touch for the for the indecision on my first one. This time, I guess we'll close the conduit just to see if there's anything. Or just to see what's different. We didn't get this done in that cycle. That's not good. The road to expanded has a deserter terrorism mechanic that could be, that does cool stuff like that. Yeah, so having that as a DLC or part of a DLC would be awesome. Revenant and Metal Horrors give you a bunch of variety on how to deal with stuff, too. You don't find your... You don't think you'll ever be able to go back to just raids? Spies are in the game. How would sappers or breachers know where your sleeping spots are? <laughs> yeah, they're not really in the game, but. Also, breachers don't go after sleeping spots anymore. You guys have a lynx trapped in a room. Sometimes animals like that, if you get them trapped, will end up sapping their way out too, which is kind of weird. Like even, I've had it where I build a wall like this and all of a sudden a freaking raccoon Inside starts breaking out of the wall. Wait, what are you doing? It's a raccoon spy. Raccoon's a wall. I can destroy a wall. We use bioferrite for besides the obvious walls, doors, traps, etc. Bioferrite is used in almost all of the anomaly stuff. So you use it for psychic rituals. You use it in serums. You use it in the bioferrite weaponry. You use it for shard lances and uh, shard animal pulsers. Use it for containment flooring. Um, 
flares. Like, it's pretty much the reagent, base reagent for like all of the anomaly items. Aside from security doors and uh, turret packs. Anomaly stuff, anything building wise, could you want to use for stat wise? It's, you can think of it as slightly worse uranium. It has, it has a little less HP and it's flammable. So it's kind of, it's like, if you have an excess of biofarite because you have a lot of entities and you're harvesting it and you're not really using it for, bi for anomaly stuff, you can use it as a decent wall and, you know, decent material in general. It's, it's, that's pretty much what it's like, like slightly worse uranium. For those, for those purposes. Animals need a path to the, yeah, or they'll just, and the annoying thing when animals break out like that is that it doesn't put it on auto rebuild just like Sapper AI. It's, I don't know why they did that. So when Sappers break through somewhere, it's automatically forbidden to rebuild it. It's always confused me why that's a thing. No, I don't want to build your building. Well, it was like uranium. Um, I haven't tested the stats on it. Someone was saying that biofarite swords are actually pretty decent. But I haven't looked at it. Do you have any ghouls? I don't have any ghouls in this run yet. Oh, I already read that, yeah. Oh, there's slightly worse and flammable. Yeah, but it's a resource that you just, like, basically passively gain if you have entities, right? So... But yeah, it's mostly for anomaly uses. Makes sense. Oh no, shark died. They couldn't survive with the hearts? Sad. Biofarite is 130% on sharp and 90% on blunt. Yeah, so it could be better than plasteel altogether then. Growth moment for Bedroom Kid. Bedroom Kid is 10. All right, Bedroom Kid. Great memory, industrious. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Looks like you're on your way to be a construction spe or a production specialist as well. We need more crafters in this colony, so... Crafter kid. Yeah. Kind of thinking about getting rid of sus too here. Ever play Amazing Cultivation Simulator? Maybe. A lot of people ask about it, so it's kind of on my radar, but I haven't 100% decided. How are we doing on Biofair? I can almost get one of these full now. Feel about heavy SMGs. Heavy, heavy SMGs are one of the best close range weapons in the game. So if you're fighting almost always at close range, then they're a really good option. It's pretty fun, but after playing it once, the initial jing is very hard to justify getting back into. 
Biofarit walls have any better containment stats? No, just the flooring for some reason. Wall, uh, wall for containment is uh, HP based. Oh crap, that's marble. I like pulse weapons. Charge rifles are great. Charge lances are garbage. Charge lances used to be good, but they nerfed them like 10 times over the years. We catch up on the VODs, but wanted to drop by. Mention how much you're enjoying Anomaly. Had the evil sphere show up? I've, I've had everything, yeah. This is your favorite so far? Yeah, the sphere was, uh, was really crazy. It's really strong. First time we sent the sphere out to fight enemies was like pretty insane. I was thinking to myself, man, someone's going to make a mod so you can have like Mechanitor uh, spheres. It, it's probably already out. That would be amazing. <laughs> Teleporting around. Shooting everything. Yeah. 37 range. Yeah, there was a time back in like the beta where it was like even crazier than that. Like nearly 60 range or some some stupidness. I don't remember. Yes. Wait to see the reaction. Yeah, so are you watching the first playthrough right now, Bagel, I'm guessing? Knocks on human raids, pretty funny. It's crazy strong. It's what's that, yeah. And it's fun to watch too. Or it's just teleporting around, deleting things, and then fearing things. Do you make really good Doctors for Horrors? Yeah, the Mechanic Tour. Yeah. Because mechs can't lie. <laughs> watch that be a patch. Now your me Mechanitor mechs can be infected with the Parasite. No, why God, why? I probably should buy Plasteel, so we're gonna need more of those doors, and who knows when we're gonna scan Plasteel. Oh, right. Drug production and piano. Okay, we'll get that, and then whatever Plasteel can afford after that. So little. So little. Amazing confusion simulator is more like it. <laughs> this this music always reminds me of like Invader Zim or like Courage the Cowardly Dog, that kind of era. Music. Whistle song is amazing. Yeah, I really like that one. All the music's good. Vote for Zim or I'll destroy you. Whistling one sounds, uh, yeah. yeah. All right, so we definitely have to take care of these. I think that was, a, yeah, that was actually the second hit. So we should have already done that. Um, we need two before the obelisk, but there's a lot of them out there. 32 Chimera. Oof. Great memory, Tortured Artist Genie. Did you send one of those to me?
Here's him. It was awesome. Kind of shocking that someone at Nick decided it was a good idea to give the guy that made Maniac Kids cartoon. <laughs> Don't think there's a mod for Urkins or Urkin tech in the game. A missed opportunity. All his wife just dropped it. It's unconscious. Did him capture her? Is she holding cell? Uh, that's weird. Yeah, that sounds like a bug. I haven't had any of that happen. I don't know if you have any mods that could be screwing with things, but yeah, you shouldn't be able to put colonists in the holding cells. <laughs> a lot of cinematic moments. Yeah, I never thought uh, RimWorld would give me much of a jump scare, so to speak. But there was a couple moments where we're like, oh, God, no. Your entire map is pink, Yorkie. Uh oh, why the single shelves? They're more modular. I prefer them over the double shelves. Uh, but yeah, use whichever one you want or like to use. I can just throw them down everywhere. I don't have to think about it. I don't, have to, don't have to rotate anything. Just slam them down. There's an Urkin race mod, but it stopped in 1.4. Oh my god, Chimera. I kind of wish you were divided up a little bit more than this. We probably take out that group right now, but. Save how I broke. You just got the golden cube. <laughs> What's wrong with the cube? We already destroyed the cube in this run. Oh, I did. You start to that? No. Um, I'll be right back. The only thing happened. Let's turn these off just in case. You guys got this, right? If uh, cultists show up and they start abducting someone, just just tell them no. Tell them no. So you can't abduct someone if you say without consent. Good job, chat, Joe. Um, <clears throat> was our other cu couple too old to have kids or something? Must be. Chair will handle it. Hmm. Are they withdrawing? Oh God. Well. Well. I guess we're gonna let the obelisk go this time. Let it go. Is she like 60? I yeah, I don't I don't know if I ever even checked. Raven has had five kids. Pin is 41. And then their husband Starfield is 44.
And then we have a third group, Ev and Sinner. Ev is 56 and Sinner... I'm blind, by the way. 62, yeah. <laughs> Should probably use Chronophagy. <laughs> yeah, it starts going down pretty hard at 40, I believe. Watch your end of Anomaly. Oh my god, yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, thank you for watching that. Craziest ending ever. Nine. All right, everyone. Get inside this area. Those are going to turn too, I bet. <laughs> Actually, everyone come over here. Obelisk activation. Could be bad. Oh, there's a lot on the map, actually. Oh, and the Chimera there, too, right? <laughs> turrets either uh oh converts every animal every animal you don't own yep and we don't have double walls everywhere this is going to be really bad this this could be fatal we're gonna have to melee block and hope for the best inside this uh barracks we're gonna have a lot of stuff out there get destroyed too Uh, the quality is too good for a manhunter. And it takes a little time as well. We're almost through. I don't have allies. So. Well, allies would do nothing to this <laughs> unless we get the the random allies. This is going to be pretty rough. Probably should go out there and hit some of these, but I mean, they're about to be inside, so it's not going to matter. Like, if I get caught out there, all those bulb freaks are going to be terrible. We've got a few flares. As soon as one of those red... Yep, they're in. Go.
Commander's retreating helped out a lot. Yep. They're gonna be back though. Still bold freaks left too. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I see. Uh, okay. Mood is really bad. Sooth holsters over there. Okay. There's only one flesh beast left, but all the chimera when they attack again are gonna rush in. So we got a lot of rebuilding to do, and it's almost the next time that something can attack already, so we got to get these cleared out. There's still 22. We killed 10 of them during this. We got to get patched back up, make sure everyone has their weapon, and we got to go kind of pull these into that melee block. Open the melee block back up anyway. Tooth Pulsar is doing some real heavy lifting at the moment. Don't have uh, very much food left either. I mean, where they are. Transport pod. I really don't want that mood hit right now. I'm just going to leave it. Gut worms. Oh, such a terrible time for gut worms. Oh, God.
We have to um, we have to deal with this before gut worms get worse, but it's even going to screw up the rebuilding. Would you get over your breakdown? Good lord, dark visions last forever. So how many ways are there in the base? We know there's at least one up there. There's one here. I don't know how, if they'll... Yeah, there's there's a lot. We've got a couple flares left. Could try for a bad quality Manhunter, but it could go wrong and they could uh, come in another way. Should just take in care of these and not let the... Our vision is on you now, too. Uh, not let the obelisk explode. This is the only spot where we can't get surrounded. They come. Uh, everyone get down here. Right there, the flare. When they're stacked, we'll throw it. Throw it. We are uh, safe, so to speak. Okay. Major hurts, tinned. Also needs rescue. That's Izzard, right? Izzard's getting tinted too. He took all that damage, or almost all of it. Lizard, lizard. Okay, order. Uh, allow everything. We've got a lot of work to do. Okay, get all that done. Um, yeah, just stay. Anyone else in danger now? Uh, we got a bleed on three. Okay. All right. So, I would love to capture these, but, I mean, everyone is so weed up. That one's actually... Oh, nice. That's a great one to capture. I'm going to capture that one. Brain injury. Fantastic. Uh, Hurts. Go ahead and tend to... Oh, it's not in your allowed area, right? Hurts. Go tend to the Chimera. Okay, and there is another one down there. Four hours. Okay, so we gotta go around and seal all the individual holes in the wall before the next cycle comes up or else we will probably die. I jump between pawns, uh, period and comma, period and comma. I did repeat my, I do repeat myself. I just did it again, but I do repeat myself during those things. So maybe that's what the person was talking about earlier. But I'm trying to make sure. People know what I'm saying or confirm. The Revenant just got out. Christ. There's the claw marks. This is a bad time for the Revenant to get out. It's coming this way. Starvation. 
<sighs> okay, we'll look for it. Imagine that getting out. Yeah, here while we're like blocking. I guess the same effect right now, but. Rain Tiger. Let's see. Lizard. Also, gut worms. I have to temporarily shack up out there again. And the rain is not going to help. The rain's going to get rid of the scratch marks. That sucks. Thanks, rain. Yeah, I see the brain damage. Like, yeah, brain damage. <laughs> there ever a good time for a Revenant to get out? Oh, no. Our scanner. Yeah, probably not. You can come back at any time they feel. Yep. We don't have a lot of detectors yet. Okay, so do we have someone that I can force construct this lizard? Okay. So let's double check holes in the inner wall. Okay, there's one. They always put it back. Oh, during that? Yeah, that was kind of crazy. Should have just taken care of the... Got it. Okay. Oh, I should just take care, care of the Chimera. We had the chance for like multiple things is going we're going on. Okay, so get this piece of wall. That one. I actually don't want them doing the new construction thing with their unit. The pulsar just ran off, so. Mood is real bad. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Maybe if it's letting the flesh cover the map on, say, like a mountain map, would it block raiders, cultists, or swine at the edges? Maybe. Maybe. I haven't thought about that. The Revenant has enough containment. 131... Uh, yes. For now. Can't worry about it anyway right now, but... I could use, um, the Pleasure Pulse thing, but then we have so much work to get done after all that. Okay. Gut Worms is just... Such a... Such a bad time for Gut Worms. Is it ever a good time for Gut Worms? No, but sometimes they're worse than others. Best to give it a try. I hope you understand you. It's a challenge just to run. Uh, this is a hardest difficulty, no pause, anomaly, ritualist run. Uh, if you type exclamation run in the chat, it'll tell you a little bit more. Basically tell you the same. So it's it's a kind of exploratory, exploratory run. Um, so for fun, but also, you know, we are still using no pause. 500%. So I guess it's, you know, it, it's still challenging.
Okay, so at least all the little holes are patched up in that part of the wall. We're gonna go back into just wall zone temporarily. That should allow them to eat that pemmican over there too. Uh, medical treatment needed. That's probably gut worms. Okay. If we do a festival for mood and it go well, that would be great. If we do it and it goes poorly, then we're going to really be hurting. Researching is... Yeah, it's awful. Yeah. Really bad. Tribal start with ritualist. I know how containment works. Yeah. reason why the revenants the revenant hasn't uh, hasn't escaped in like two years or more it's just i don't have the biopharites to floor all these we just got enough to floor one just now but yeah it, this is it uh this isn't my first run of it i understand that extra containment strength means they escape less obviously but it's it's fine i don't really care if the revenant escapes to be honest not too much obviously it can happen during a really bad time but not, it's not a huge deal. We get to train earlier. We were talking about, or that was yesterday. Like, hey, we get to train shooting every time the revenant escapes. Plus, I like looking for it anyway. The bonus random mini game. It just happened to happen at the like a really bad time. Yeah. Revenants, yeah, Revenants, so the thing about Revenants is they can open security doors, right, so. But yeah, if you look at the entity, escape interval, 1.5 years. It just so happens that we are five years into a game because of the, so the crazy thing is we were about to finish the run, I think, five years in on the first anomaly run. Magnoid slug chunks drop beside steel. Slag chunks? Uh, I don't think there is any. How's kill? We haven't even set up a kill box yet. So that's what I was starting to get going. And then we've had a bunch of other crap we've had to deal with in the meantime, unfortunately. The thing that didn't all happen while I was off in the bathroom, huh? They destroyed our other drill and we don't have advanced bonus for this. Can you tame chimeras? No. Nope. What are chimeras? Is it a mod? No, it's part of anomaly. Anomaly, uh, anomaly entity. Anomaly entity. Summertime. Is there a prosthetic or bionic that's the revenant spine? You can use the revenant spine uh, once you research revenant and invisibility you can use a spine to implant it into someone and it'll give them an ability where they can go invisible for a short time uh you can also just smash the spine and get a shard but i want the biopharite chimeras for meat that can be made into food or kibble uh chimeras give you twisted meats so yeah you could use twisted meat um for things if you want yeah Right now, I don't want the extra wealth that the Dread le Leather will get us, especially because we can't... We can't use the Dread Leather. Yeah, well, maybe just take it to its... you gone too long, you're gonna cry with a casket. What dimension of containment? Just dimensions. I mean, if you want to be complete, like super, super, what? Oh, it's too warm in there because it's summertime. Anyway, if you want to be super safe, like the smaller the containment, the better. Um,. Like, the fewer entities in each one. Uh, I think the four in one is a pretty good trade-off. You have some escapes, but these these machines are hitting four platforms, you know? So, it feels about right. Especially after you get the biopharite flooring also. Okay. 
go. That should start helping. Dumps the, the baby outside. <laughs> and then she goes to bed. She just takes her baby and throws it outside onto the onto the rock. And then she goes back home, goes to bed. Can you do surgeries on the monsters? No. Doors. Uh, not yet, but you can leave it preheated. An offering to the Chimera. <laughs> uh, we have much to do, much to do. Um, and we never got back around doing the clone part. And stone, yeah, okay. Still recovering. People are gonna get lung rut. We're not careful. Hey, we finished drug production book or uh, schematic. Golden cube worth to maintain the colony? No. Golden cube is just basically a straight up negative for everyone. What's been the most difficult recovery from a raid event you've had in recent memory in a RimWorld playthrough? Uh, probably the first anomaly playthrough. We got hit by a triple rocket launcher and we would have lost had allies not the random allies showed up. Not crazy. I, not even the ones I called in. I had the entire group of pawns got hit by triple rockets outside the wall. And as like they're all crawling back inside, aside from like two or three, they were standing. We got random allies that showed up and killed them. So that was in the run that just the run before this, the first anomaly. Last playthrough was crazy. Yeah. It's all up on YouTube. If you want to check it out, just go to YouTube, click on the live tab. And it's my just my first anomaly run. Uh, I can't believe we survived that. There's a lot of moments in that run that I can't believe we survived, including the ending. After five, she's probably tired of babies. Yeah. <laughs> the percent chance of infection being a finger spike? I have no idea. This percent. You had someone get sent to the maze that were, was addicted to the cube? Oh, that sucks. All right, almost recovered. Still 97 in there. Uh, how are we doing on steel? Yeah, that was my fear. We don't have enough steel to really make those extra coolers. And unfortunately, we don't have our scanners anymore. Scanner. This place is reset, but... Solar flare is ending, okay. So I might go ahead and do one of those rituals. Uh, let's see if we can get some of that steel. Off the cube, or is it a map-wide obsession? Um, I'm, I'm not. They have to be within proximity, but I don't know if they have to have access to it. I'm wondering if you, if you end up just walling it off, the people that are fascinated by it. I wonder if they'll break down the wall to get to it. <laughs> I didn't try that. Got to try it. Yeah, let me know. It would make a lot of sense if it happens, but I don't know if they they thought of that or not. Run ghouls are uh, ghoul army versus zombie apocalypse. Could be a fun game. Ghouls versus zombies. Someone get sent. To oh, I read that. Yeah. I don't know, that's a lot of components. Well, we do have quite a bit of components. It's a big space to cool. Probably need like six or more of these. Don't think I want to build anything out that direction. Definitely not here, so. map 
It, this map is a cold map, but for some reason the summer gets super friggin' hot. All right, we'll just do it. We've been researching the multi-analyzer for like a year and a half or something crazy. Serious pain. Yeah, gut worms. How close are you to being done with it? Oh, not even halfway through it. Just buy the book. Yeah, that would have been a nice book to find. Where is it? Oh, no. Uh, we need to fight it. Because we have people out there. Maybe. On this side. Open that. Get over here. Who has the flare? Go there. We might still have to fight it. Not Raven. Crap, it hit the friggin' door. No, I don't want Sus to scream. Get Sus out of there. Get him out, get him out, get him out, get him out, get him out. turmoil in the last little bit my lord all because i tried to get that uh steel when i shouldn't because of the the heat i don't want them screaming right now buying this and watching to decide uh this is pretty cr are you mean the expansion of the game as a whole yeah if, if you mean the game as a whole this might not be a good representation of uh, the, the base game because we're playing with anomaly the new dlc and it's uh it's a lot different than the base game not that it's worse but very very different the most different dlc that we've had so far all right this crap moved out of here He's rescue. Yeah, we're working on it. Um, I'm gonna have to have like all hands on deck to finish this. Center, you're gonna be all right. Okay, so we're gonna switch hauling over to a one on everyone right now. To get this done let's go ahead and allow all double check that no one's gonna die in the next few seconds center needs 10 to 2 who else was it starfield actually got pretty scratched up one right yeah Back 
protection on Raven. Okay, uh, so we need to reach health on her. All right, now everyone stay in walls. Hauling back down to a three on sus, we'll move it up to a one. We'll go get the masterwork assault rifle in a minute in this one. Not super urgent. Let's double check health again. Okay, no one's bleeding at the moment, so that's a good start. All right. The vanilla game would be good for an AFK game while you do chores and stuff. Uh, probably not. I mean, you can make it that way if you want. You can pause the game as well. I'm not playing with pause, but you can pause the game and go do stuff, of course. But as far as leaving playing, it's not like like SimCity or something like that, right? So I know bad things happen in SimCity, but um, you can, though. There are custom difficulties and settings. You can put the game down on like peaceful mode where there's no raids, there's no... Uh, manhunting animals attacking and stuff like that and in those scenarios you're probably safe to go do other stuff and come back um even when you control yeah <laughs> so uh right now like how i'm playing definitely not oh, they lost their leg community maps i don't know yeah there's no such there's no real such thing as community maps Unless you mean like build, trying to build like a community on your map, I guess. But you'd have to put the difficulty down to peaceful and turn off some of the threats. Usually the game pauses when something happens as well. Uh, that's true, yeah. Baseline, the game will, will have a pop-up and pause when like a threat happens. But yeah. like raids, yeah, if you have it on yet. Yeah. But it's, it's definitely not so much as a... Uh, like an AFK game, generally, I would say. What does Crumbling Mine do exactly? Um, it it basically means that if you don't heal it, they'll they will they'll die. As far as the stats, I don't remember the numbers off offhand. We've looked at it when we've gotten it, but I don't remember the exact numbers. Starvation. The clones. Yeah, it's one of the four types of clones you can get. The Crumbling Mine. Do a blood trance? I don't have any hemogen packs. Is it 60% is the bottom end of Crumbling Mine? Yeah, it also disables work types, yeah. I remember that one. I thought it, I thought Crumbling Mine killed him and that the um, duplicate sickness basically put them in a coma from, from consciousness. I guess Crumbling Mine... Uh, I guess we never let Crumbling Mine get that low, though. I assumed it would kill. It says you can heal it if you use a Resurrect or a Mech Serum soon enough, but I'm not sure what the timer is on it either. But Mech Serum is so hard to get... What I'm talking about is about creep joiners. Could be different for duplicates. They still can do some stuff. Gotcha. But they have low consciousness. So it disables like skilled labor, I guess. Something like that. Equivalent. Just trying to feed the baby and fell over. So we have Preach Health on her, so hopefully we don't have to worry about the infection too much. We still have parasites going... Well, gut worms, not muscle parasites. Obviously not good. Uh, Alright. Switch back to work zone. Bring those in. Center, we had to put a peg leg on them. We don't have uh, means of doing anything better right now. Okay. 
Things are starting to look halfway okay again. Vess, what's going on with you? First thoughts. We need to get rid of Sus, honestly. I should do another clone. We need to clone the doctor. God, if he's carrying the parasite, we're going to have a bad time, though. But uh, having another doctor would be incredible. Hertz is a good pawn in, in general, so... All right, let's do it. Trigger the duplication. Okay. Let's go with surgical inspection. Let's see what they got. Uh, he has Crumbling Mind, so let's see if that's healable with the Creep Joiner. I haven't tried. Maybe we should wait till this cut is gone, just in case. How do you move pawns to the top? Hold down right click and drag. Yeah, I think you Newton. Clone someone with a parasite? Does the parasite clone too? I don't know. I'm thinking so since health issues clone. Why Guarlin tree? It's for beauty. This is a no wealth way to put beauty over here while where people are studying the monolith. So Tet, been putting in some real hours lately. Yeah, I'm about to not have. I'm not gonna be able to stream for a few days. Uh, I have a um, school thing with my daughter. A school trip with my daughter, so I'll be gone for three or four days. So I'm trying to get as much in for that. I can. And feeling better? Uh, yeah, thank you. Not exactly, but yeah. We're not actually linking to the that tree, by the way. It's just there for beauty. Um... <gasps> uh... Free shells was not enough. Infection 87, immunity 70. Let's go. We got to take this leg off or else she's dead. Got it. Good thing I checked. Good thing I checked. Awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a school trip that I signed up for ages ago. Yeah. I wish the expansion hadn't come out at the same time, but obviously this is more important. Oh, man. So now Raven is missing her left leg. Can you do a medical examination? It won't find anything if we don't have the signature. It doesn't matter if they had... Even if they had the parasite right now, we wouldn't know because there's no signature for it. You have to have studied the signature for the doctor to even know what to look for. Otherwise, it just won't come back as nothing no matter what. More important? It is more important, yeah. For sure. But yeah, you have to have this signature first. Do you have bionic legs? I've been researching multi-analyzer for like two years. So no, we're, we're not there yet. <laughs> Research is so friggin' slow, and this is a ritualist, tribal ritualist. Crazy. Our first anomaly run, we were about to beat the game at this year. We were almost at the end, and uh, we did beat it, but we beat it in five or six in-game years. This one we're almost at year six already, and we're not even to we're not even to multi analyzer. It's beyond tribal research, because ritualists have this also. Tribal and then another reduction down to twenty five percent. Not enough medical experience. That's true, yeah. If you if you have the extra medicine and you want to train medical that way, yeah. Okay, so let's see if this is curable with sus. It cured, it cured it. Crumbling mind was healed. Wow. Okay. Now we have another doctor and I'm sure he's not going to infect anyone.
Next time we need to do a or get a crafter too. The next one we get needs to be a crafter, but extra doctor. Super good. Like healer max serum on a six day cooldown, yeah. It's crazy. Chaos and Discord. Thank you for the 27 months. And Ray Lino. Thank you for the brand new sub. Ryu, thank you for the brand new sub as well. Meta War, thank you for the 14 months. Thank you, Meta, Ryu, Chaos. Is that a ritual? No, it was a creep joiner ability. What was the big black spot actually? This is gore from a revenant that we fought. So it's basically the blood of a revenant. Don't ask me why does double walls and doors spaced out recently? <laughs> Not recently. It's been maybe like an hour or something. Okay, we basically recovered from that. I mean, pretty much. DLC, would you recommend getting next? If you are a fan of more threats and maybe horror tropes, then you can just start with Anomaly. Otherwise, I would say just work your way backwards and you can't you can't go wrong that way. So if you want to go, if you like that sort of stuff, get Anomaly and then Biotech and then ide Ideology. If not, you can start with Biotech and then Ideology. But typically with RimWorld, I just tell people to buy the newest DLC as long as it still looks interesting for them and then work their way backwards. There's no specific order you have to or need to. They don't interact with one another very much. And so you can feel free to just get whichever one you are interested in. Um, they're all good. All three of the ones that you don't have are good. So in, in different ways. Royalties of the week. Oh, yeah. Royalty is definitely the smallest. And they, they had a very small team back then. And I really... I would really like to know what royalty would be like if it came out today. Of course, we can't know that, but... It would be, uh, it would be awesome to know. I'll take it as new threats with the other Xenos, too. Yeah. It's, it's like the same threats, just with different kind of characters coming, right? This, this one adds new types. Way, like, crazy... Waiting for your mods update. You've done a playthrough of Vanilla Faction's Expanded Empire? No, I've not. Riff Raff, thank you for the brand new sub also. Thank you, Riff Raff. Maybe using the Twitch Prime here. How did you say you got rid of Crumbling Mine? I have a creep joiner uh, named Sus2. And they have an ability called Unnatural Healing, so they were able to cure it. Finally watched the 2011 The Thing. Oh, I don't think I've seen that one. OG is on your favorite. The new one was still great. Yeah, I don't think I ever watched it. So you actually did like it overall. Maybe I'll finally check it out too. When I have some time. <laughs> Whatever that's going to be. But yeah, there are new, um, new factions to fight. Yeah, same same kind of raids, new factions with that. That's true. Oh, dresser. Okay. All right, um, might switch over to pace temporarily to get through this coming winter. Or it's not even winter yet, but this map gets cold even at fall. Raven, look at you, you survived. Man, we actually got pretty close to dying, huh? One more event on top of that and we would have been gone. Should have, uh, that's fine. Medical treatment, yeah, gut worm's still a big problem. Like seeing how they come to similar understandings of this thing. Do chronophagy to get rid of crumbling mind too. I didn't think crumbling mind was a, um, was an age-related Ill illness. Chronophagy is age-related. Is it working with chronophagy? We might have to test it sometime. Or if you if you test if you try it again, let me know if it works. Really, royalty makes you think of those concept albums some bands make right after a big hit. 
A uh, lizard, look at that. De defeating a chimera with an assault rifle in cold efficiency. All right, lizard, you can have that one. Seems like you should have it. Ugh. Man. All right, let's finally do these festivals again. We have been really unlucky with joins from the festival. I think we've gotten one new pawn out of the last maybe 15 of these. Bad luck. There's one. Go again. Gun with a painting of yourself on it. <laughs> I had this one custom made. Two. The game's trying to make up to us. Three! <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright. Leslo. Check you out. Ayoba. Dan. Alright. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We got a kind waster that can do basically nothing. Well, we might actually make you as a ghoul. Even though you're not a great ghoul, but we could make it just as a melee blocker. Like, it would have been nice to have any ghoul standing there earlier, even if they're not tough. So that's a possible ghoul. We'll put you over here. Psychically sensitive is actually good in this kind of run. Mining, crafting. Pyro is unfortunate, but I think I'm going to keep him anyway because I need bodies. Psychically hypersensitive is really good too, and sickly sucks. Slowpoke sucks. Let's see what we get for the next three festivals before I really make the decision here. Sensitive. H sense. No. All right, let's let's see if we get other ones. Pyro, yeah. So for anyone that doesn't know, Pyro on average will have one force breakdown every 50 days. It can be very, during very unfortunate times. But notice the sus pawns have no need for comfort. Uh, I think it depends on which one, right? Yeah, it depends on which pawn. So some of them don't, some of them do. There's a lot of different creep joiner pawns. And you can get combinations of them too. Like, you, you can get some that will come with abilities and other times... You'll get another one just like it that doesn't have one of the abilities. Four for four. I'm going to complain next time as well. I'm going to get the name. Probably if I do like a big animal run again, which we, we probably will. Soon. Five for five. Oh my God. Six for six is rare. Do Did we win six coin flips? Is there a reason for the single shelf instead of double? They're just more modular, so I just preferred throwing them down. Now that there's no quality or anything like that, there's there's other minor differences. So, for instance, you'll sometimes have a targeted breakdown. If a targeted breakdown uh, hits a shelf, it only... Or any breakdown. It only drops three items on the ground instead of six. You need less wood to rebuild it. You know, like, it's got really minor benefits. But the big one for me is it's just... I don't have to think about it. It's modular. I just can throw it anywhere. No! <laughs> five for five. Huh? A kid. <laughs> He's just ugly. I need a trigger happy Neanderthal. What a friggin' waste. What a waste. All right, so Pyro is sensitive pawn. I'm going to keep them. A little kid shows up. We're like, wow, you're ugly. We might keep you around. Like, thanks, mister. Don't look at me. 
techno slave. Man, I really hate sickly. Hypersensitive is actually, and slowpoke really sucks too. Sickly hypersensitive is really good for rituals though. He might be our new ritual person. Yeah, um, I'm going to keep him. We're going to put an X in front of his name so we can remember. And then we'll turn you two into ghouls. Planning on making the ritual guy. Now we need to make sure we're keeping meat in stock. I don't have a lot right now either. I have some trees we can cut down. I'm sure we'll get attacked by something else soon. Sickly increased the likelihood of everyone. Uh, no, just them. Just them. So Sickly will get a uh, disease event on their own. Back in the day, Sickly used to be good. I used to, until 1.2, I wanted a Sickly Pawn. It doesn't work like this anymore, but. Just another RimWorld history lesson, I suppose. Uh, long, long ago, or 1.2, Sick League was a right, lightning rod for disease. So if you had a Sickly Pawn and Cassandra's uh, disease hit against Cassandra, hit the Sickly Pawn, it would put her disease event on cooldown. So I think Cassandra can only give it a disease every nine days uh, by default. Randy, it doesn't matter. So back then, if you got a, a sickly pawn, it would be like your lightning rod for disease and it hit a single pawn a lot of the times instead of like half your colony. But they changed it, unfortunately. Can you prevent sickly with the perfect immunity archite gene? Uh, yeah, we're nowhere near any of that. But yeah, you, you can definitely, definitely do that. Got lucky. Crypto sleep casket crumbling until you find a way. I'm not. How much time must pass for a colonist hit by the flesh creature is clear. You know, he's not infected. I'm not sure if there is a clear time. Doctor, which doctor? Glorification. Skip abducted the Stellark, the Etikin leader, the Impid leader, and the Neanderthal leader. <laughs> Collecting them. is pretty awesome. Nice to see no teaching ugly kid. Yeah, how how kind of them. Nander. All right. Another doctor, good. Let's have you haul and clean first and then cook if you don't have any of that to do. Techno slave. Let's have you help with mining first off. There, that's good enough. Okay, ugly kid. <laughs> We'll see what he gets at his next growth, and we we might keep him. He's not rolled anything good so far, but, you know. He's not done growing yet. 
sort of research progression you aim for early in the game. Depends on the starting scenario and the map a little bit. But in general, you want to make sure that you have complex furniture, stone cutting, especially tribal doesn't start with those. And then I generally go electricity. Now, once you get electricity, everything branches off a little bit depending on what's happened in the run. Like even with tribal, there are some times with tribal that I end up getting to electricity. However, raiders have already dropped me like some bolt actions and they've dropped me some shotguns or something. And so I will forego rushing into guns. But if I haven't gotten anything good, then I will try to get to bolt action. Bolt action and pump shotguns. Um, and then from there, it kind of branches again, depending on what's happened. But basically, my big goals are survival, weaponry, and then nice to haves after that. Is killbox fully set up? We don't have a killbox set up at all yet. No. Any mods? If so, which one? You don't recognize some of the UI? All the UI is vanilla. The only thing I'm really using is... What, what do you not recognize? Let me know. Must have changed 1.5. There's no UI change on my screen right now from 1.5. Uh, I'm using no pause. So the only UI thing that's that's different, I guess, would be the 4x button, but that's the no pause mod. Let me know and I'll... Uh, I'll... Or out of if you want, out of curiosity, though. The UI doesn't have me talking on it. The new research. Well, yeah, but I, I hadn't gone to that yet when they were talking about that. That's that's anomaly, not 1.5. Did 1.5 have colonist bar stuff? Um, the color when people are upset is new in 1.5. Rising. Oh, I got you, got you. Yeah, that's why I, was, why I was asking. I wasn't sure if I was misunderstanding. The items shown in the top left of the screen. That's been in the game since the beta. There is a button in the bottom right of your screen called Categorize Mode. That's what I figured you were talking about. That's why I asked. That's Categorize Mode, not a mod. Been in the game as long as I played. Bottom right, bottom right of your screen changes the top left of the screen, yeah. What's the name of the mod for rolling upon with certain aspects? Random plus. Random plus. Why is one called no? I didn't want them initially. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Okay, we finally recovered just in time for probably Cassandra to hit us again. Now, one thing I do want to do now that we have some... A little bit of biofair, right? I just want to make sure this is, uh, this is done. Um, breaches will try to smash some walls on their way to your kill box. Uh, nothing changed as far as that goes, yeah. If you have an uninterruptible path when the raiders spawn and they're a normal attack raid from them to a colonist, then they will follow the path even, even through like massively long burn box tunnels still. Yeah, that didn't change. Intertal keeps robust. Yes. What kind of jackets do you use? Dust. Uh, in this one, we're using parkas because it's a cold map. I usually use dusters. Yeah, nothing changed with that. So there might be something going on with yours. Yeah. If it if it happened with a Norraid. Like sometimes you'll have a situation where all your pawns are not pa none of your pawns are passable just when the raid spawns. Even though you have a way in, you might have like all your pawns in certain areas or in certain rooms when it happens, and so. Some of the raiders are already like locked in on a wall until they attack the first wall, but there, there can be lots of little things like that that happens. There's so there's like that's the thing, Rimworld. There's like a million different things that can change. Sickly already hit. World Forest is the prettiest biome. It's a good one. It's a good one. All right, so let's finally start working on this again because I want to see how this works with the new entities. It might be terrible. It might be amazing. We already did a full anomaly playthrough with no kill box, and that worked out pretty well aside from the very end of the game. So now I want to test it with this. What do you deal with the flesh spreading across the map? You got the three things, but what sort of shock do you need to give it? 
So once you research the three things alpha, you'll literally just click a pawn on the on the flesh heart. So you'll notice now if you select one of your pawns and you right click on the flesh heart, it'll give you an option. So you need to um, you need to kill your way all the way to the actual heart and then just have a pawn right click on it. After you've researched those three things, the, the shock things, yeah. I think I might provoke. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think I'm going to. I'm tempted though. You have to high five it to death in the melee. Yeah, in melee. Mm -hmm. Remind you of the creepy colony from Starcraft. The creep colony. Yeah, yeah. Uh, reptilian, thank you for the two months. Butler, thank you for the three months. Thank you, Butler. Thank you, Reptilian. I'm glad. I'm glad. I was about to say, I'm glad you think so. But it's not a think so, it's your opinion. <laughs> Colored mood, background, fonts, reviews. Yeah, when they're getting upset. Yeah, that one's nice. Okay. All right. So I think that's as far out as I'm going to wrap this. Uh, we'll do one more. And we're going to get attacked again soon. So I don't have time to tear this down and finish this before that attack comes in. However, we do want to finish that. Oh, nice. Weapon is engraved with a portrayal of Ev assassinating a Chimera. What's with all these assassinating and killing Chimera? Well, it was a pretty harrowing event, actually. We almost, uh, almost lost some people. All right, so cooldown on this is still pretty far out. I think we do have prosthetics finally done so it's gonna be forever before we have bionics with this research speed so we need to make two prosthetic legs sometime pretty far off on that uh let me put another one of these down finally toxic fallout ouch ouch all right well uh we can't really harvest any of that so well Everyone in. You're allowed to come here, here, here. And I guess the obelisk. Well, that sucks. Day one of this run was so relaxed and the cube was defeated. It was all like a hand basket. Um, yesterday's when we almost died to this mech cluster. The first run was that. That was the last run. Yeah, that was the first run. The tipping point was the removal of the wind walls <laughs> on this one, yeah. One of the most wealth efficient mechs to have. Most wealth efficient for the combat mechs is still kind of Scythers because Scythers don't have extra wealth from their weapon because their weapons are their arms. So oddly enough, like Lancer mechs have, lan you know, the Lancer weapon isn't actually considered part of them, even though they can't drop it. So unless something changed recently, Scythers are pretty wealth efficient for how strong they are. Uh, all the worker mechs are, are good to have in general, too. Oh my god, the multi-analyzer! <laughs> Guys, it only took us 316 days to get to the multi-analyzer. Oh my god. And that may, might be the latest I've ever gotten the multi-analyzer to run. Even later than that uh, first fluid ideology run. Ugh. Ugh. But we did it! We, we did it! 
We made it. Still streaming. Still streaming. Creep joiner is always suspicious. No. Do I have metal horror research? Your early monolith one. Should you send them away? Uh, not necessarily. In fact, that might be one of the times that you're the most safe from them. Now, the time that you, you, you can still worry about them, but the time that you really have to, I'll show you. Evident. Another one of Evident. Striving to comprehend the nature of the Gore Hulk while scribbling in a notebook. Yeah, I would, I would struggle to comprehend this as well. Anyway, um, the time that you super have to worry where it's almost guaranteed, you're almost guaranteed that you're going to have it. If you are in tier two and you haven't discover, discovered metal horrors yet, and you haven't found a piece of flesh from a metal horror, and you use uh, Provoke, and then a, a Creep Joiner shows up, they most likely have it. <laughs> like, it's pretty, it's pretty good percentage that that's going to happen. Our military is really good bang for the buck. They're not as good as they used to be. They're still fine. Unfortunately, they nerfed Militor in a couple ways. Not too long after Biotech. I, li I really liked the Militor when they were first released. They're still fine, but... Yeah, they don't have as much DPS for several reasons anymore. Love the first fluid run. Oh, it's, it was terrible. <laughs> terrible. Alright, so... Speaking of Provoke, we do want to run this for mood because of... Our ideology gives us extra mood. Uh, we could use Skip Abduct and see if we get a skill to rip out. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we have a hypersensitive person now, too. So they might actually get better quality. Let's, let's check. So, Skip Abduct uh, with Raven is a 75 without anyone else. And then with X, it's a 78. So, he gets 3% more. Oh, boy. The target's only only going to be in a coma for less than a day. Well, wow. what are your thoughts on metal horrors? Horrors. Personally, I think the infection rate from finger spikes is too high. I think that the infection rate from a melee attack from a void entity, if you're on tier, it's kind of like what I was just saying about the. I think if you're on tier two and you haven't found them yet, I think you got a pretty good chance of getting it from even like sight stealers and stuff. 3% changes everything. <laughs> Chronophage. Yeah, we, we, you can't, but that would be crazy. Yeah, uh, on either side of the Chronophage, you have to have... You have to be 13 or older. Tier one, the last year encounters were sacks, never someone was attacked, they got infected with metal horrors. What? That seems not correct. How do you know they were all infected by by them? Yeah, that's not my experience in either of any of the runs that I've done so far. Said so after they were revealed. Oh, you already you already went through and revealed all three times. Yeah, that's crazy. That seems like something's wrong there. Yeah. Are you using any mods at all by chance? Well, it seem, hasn't seemed like that with anyone else that I know of or with me so far. I mean, I'm not saying it can't, but it's kind of crazy. Unless you're just getting incredibly unlucky. RNG, yeah, maybe. RNG, maybe. Freaking melee. Tough melee. No, why did I use the shards? We have more shards out there. All right. Well. Alrighty. We found a real ghoul. <laughs> uh, actually, let's see. You carry stuff. Ooh, what a horror stuff makes having kids seem like a good way to get more colonists. Yep. Alright, good one.
right, we got our main ghoul blocker now. What happens if Chronophagy has both? Oh, if they're like both 13? I'm not sure. I haven't put them in. I like how Militors look. Yeah, Militors look nice. Yeah. You know, it's too bad that the, uh, the there's no mech production of Militors and, at mech clusters to see what they would look like super white and shiny. Like the brand new centipedes. There we go. Apparently Metal Horrors are tier one monolith capable. Yeah, it seems like the tier... Wait, so what tier two stuff isn't? So It seems like so far that most tier two stuff is tier one capable. But things that I weren't sure if they were or not... Um, the flesh is the main one, I'm not sure. The flesh and the sphere... How do you open item finder? Is it new? It's new in 1.5. You press Z. There's also a button in the bottom right of the screen now, but Z is the shortcut. You're going to check and see what all is available only at tier two. Different. Think about the 18 months. Use so many mods. People call you a moderate. Uh, that's completely the opposite of the case. Uh, I think you're different. <laughs> 18 months, man. Come on, Tox Fallout. Good time to visit. Build a ship and leave the planet. <laughs> you know how long it would take to... Oh, my. Imagine how long it would take for ritualist... Ritualist tribals to research the ship. We'd be here for 30 years. Maybe... Actually, probably more. The 50-year run. <laughs> the generational run is here. Okay, so... Cloning... I'm actually surprised we haven't got attacked yet. Waste of Ghoul, does it have the Goji Spinacy? No, it, it cures all that stuff. Maybe it'd be nothing. Next <laughs> challenge run. Uh, crap. We don't have enough meat for them. Yeah, she always has a baby. Just just leave her back there. Might have to provoke so we can get some extra meat. The ghouls. God, I remember back in the day when there was toxic fallout. If any, as soon as it touched any animal, you couldn't butcher them. Those were not the days. Not the days. Never do hauling. All right, well, whatever. Of course, I would pick you. Just a bit of poison. It's fine. He runs fast. Call him the mod master. <laughs> Kill one and serve it to the others. Yeah, Manhunters used to be great before... Oh, that's a that's one of the bad things that 1.2 added. I was talking about earlier all the good things 1.2 added. It, it was the post... It was the big patch post... Up here. Post royalty. I kind of forgot that that's when Scaria was added. Ugh. No, I, I fixed this. What is cultist factions ideology like? Um, it's a hidden faction. 
We've looked at it before, but I don't remember. Uh, let's look at this one's. Uh, that's, that's that one. Uh, oh, here's one. Inhuman Ritualists. I blocked Scary out of my mind. A natural healing is ready. Hmm. Oh, by scar on the head. We can replace your. Uh, that's gonna be a long time for you to replace your eye. Um. All right. I'm sure, this won't go poorly at all. That's stupid. I thought they fixed that with Luciferium or Healer Mech Serum, so I figured it would not work with this either. So annoying. I remember one time I used uh, Healer Mech Serum on someone and it got rid of like their sedation instead of getting rid of their like brain scar or something. I was like, oh my God. The Haraxian one? Yeah, we don't have any of them on the map at the moment. Any cost of that healing? I don't know. <laughs> For all I know, he's implanting parasites in all these people. <laughs> Come on, Toxifala. I got things to do. Kip! Kip, thank you for the brand new sub also. Thank you, Kip. Thank you for using the Twitch Prime here. Metal horrors are the only anomaly you're dreading. Why the bedrooms is run? Just for fun. Just for fun. Oh. Toxic fallout. Alright, uh, I got food out there. Got food out there. Head in. Make barracks, why barracks? Make rooms, why rooms? Yeah. <laughs> Resort again? Uh, maybe, maybe. I gotta go, actually. Looking at the time. I got off here earlier tonight, unfortunately. I don't want to. Undermorld, yeah, I've, I've seen that he's been doing it. Cat, why not dog? Dog, why not cat? Hey, talks about that's done. Right for a harvest, all that. Excellent. Thanks, game. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> this is uh, from P Music. This this track, yeah. Is that sad kid's skull? I don't know where we ended up putting that. Oh, here it is. Yeah. So I need ghoul meats. Meat for ghouls. Pretty far away, and we could get attacked anytime.
That one is too toxified. All right, uh, I we we need meat, so. Let's open this up. Oh, carrying a baby, always carrying a baby. This is our fifth baby. Always carrying a baby. Ghoul bonding, yeah, <laughs> the ghoul hunt. Okay, uh, yeah, let's do it. Oh, uh, right, we already skip abducted. Um. Yeah, all right, let's do it. All right, X. Let's see what we get. This might be a really bad time to do it because Cassandra is like coming off cooldown, but we're going to pretend we don't know how Cassandra works. We're going to do this anyway. Ghoul together strong. That was us too. Uh, they are a creep joiner, so we don't know. They might have something wrong with them so we don't we don't trust him all right let's see what happens we got some meat on the trees out there baby ghouls i've seen a baby ghoul we know about like baby shamblers and kid shamblers I haven't seen a baby ghoul, though. I mean, I made a baby ghoul, but it wasn't a real ghoul. Shambler assault relationship. Oh, God, they're on us immediately. Well, crap. Not what I wanted to spawn at all. Well, we spawned 124 shamblers, so, you know, not, uh, not ideal, I would say. Not ideal.
clean up, clean up. Oh, my donkey's out! Okay, well... Not ideal. That is not the provoke that I wanted. <laughs> I wanted something to give us a bunch of meat. That, is, that was not it. That's not a bunch of meat. That's a bunch of lung rot. That's what it is. We're gonna get lung rot repairing this friggin' wall. There's not a lot I can do about it. Uh, and the amount of time it takes to get to lungs in this playthrough is kind of absurd. Okay, so let's double check uh, everyone's damage. Disease lung rot. Yep. All right. So it looks like only one person has a bleed evidence. So let's go ahead and put uh, hauling up as a one on everyone. I have to get some patience. If I don't think I have anything. No Molotov. No incendiary, no Hellcat, no chem fuel. Yeah, this is not like a typical run, you know. We're so f our research is so slow. We're so behind on everything. Flesh baby has become a child. About time you grew up. Flash boy. Hundred and thirty one more shamblers. They're gonna come right across the top, so at least it's not a shambler assault, so we'll probably be okay. Techno might not be, <laughs> but It's, uh, it's the Shambler approach, not the Shambler assault this time, at least. We are out of components after all this. Can't really go out and trade right now either. This is not the Shambler Cloud. Yeah. Death Paul. The enemies have only partially built things are just cause just cause as far as I know. Yeah, well, we didn't get any uh, provoked meat. No provoked meat. Go inside, yeah. 
They went up there and ate some jelly and then went back inside. Hmm. How in the world are we going to get to the research that we need in this? I might have to put down way more research benches than I... I don't know. Like, we were doing schem schematics. were working pretty well. We need to be out on the road, get more sch schematics. I don't know if there's somewhere, like, not super far away that we can take a longer trip and get a lot of trades at once. Like, that's pretty far away. But it might be worth sending someone or up here at some point. We have three trade sites relatively close by. I, I can't I can't make any thing at the moment. I don't have uh I don't have components. So it doesn't doesn't matter that I have it unlocked. I don't I don't have the stuff to make it. I can go out and get components when these guys are gone. I mean I could risk going and grabbing these. Well here's some. People of dumb labor. People of dumb labor. ABCs, that's right. That's right. Which we have been not long ago we had like a hundred hundred of those uh of, of the components and I was like, we're doing really well in this these components. Being out on the road uh buying them all the time. Working out pretty well. And here we are with none. Uh, it takes six more and he's immediately making the prosthetic okay. and we're also out of steel can i make some <laughs> no <laughs> our research is so slow it took us five and a half years to get to the multi-analyzer good thing we'll have fabrication in about 10 more years yeah <laughs> This, uh, this richless thing is slow. Very slow. Thank you may have no idea what's coming. How screwed are you? Ah, oh, you're fine. You're fine. Just let everyone love the cube in your colony. It'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? No. Uh, Oliver, thank you for the eight months. Thank you, Oliver. Very much appreciated. You're a cubaholic yourself. <laughs> so the ghouls are going across the top like I was thinking they would. So I'm going to put this here. Hopefully I don't regret it. For lung rot, can you remove and put it back in? No. <laughs> no. When you remove a lung uh, rot lung, it disappears. They can't just take their lung out and clean it and put it back in. That would be nice, though. That would be nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not go that way.
Just air out the lung. Take this, take this out and rinse it off. It'll be fine. Ugly kids coming out to wholesome. Nice. Espionage DLC. Imagine a snake oil salesman selling like cubes claiming a large benefit. Your dog picks. Eh. That's all right. How do knee spikes and elbow blade implants work? Do they add extra attacks or do they replace a weapon attack? If you go with knee spike and you think the ghoul is doing better because of it, uh, it used to be that they would replace an attack and you'd actually lose damage by putting those things on, but they changed it. So yeah, you, you get a slight gain. It's probably not as much as you really think or for the investment. But yeah, they're, they're, they're fine to use. When those first came out, though, it was dropping uh, characters DPS quite a lot because it would replace an attack that they would have done more damage with with a, with a good weapon. But yeah, it's not the case anymore. You don't really have to worry about it. Ugly kid, Joe. <laughs> Every time I hear uh, Joe now, I just think of alien isolation. You know the song? Should have named me Joe or anything. Yeah. You know what? I think if I have a kid, I'll name him. Anything but Sue. Yeah, I do know the song. That's the thing I think of immediately anyway. I know it's... I know, I know. <laughs> but for some reason, that's the first thing I think of. Two things. Alien Isolation and that. Dogs 15. I don't know why that comes to my mind, but it does. Inject bleach. Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? That one also, actually, yeah. Of course, of course. My head's going through all the songs about with names right now. No song, Ellie Kid Joe? I think I do. I know the name, so I feel like I... But I'm not, for some reason, I'm, my brain's skipping out on the actual words of it. Hey, Joe. <laughs> no. But yeah, I can't think of any of the, any of the lyrics. I'm pretty sure I remember it. But. Did a Cats in the Cradle cover. I'm for the rim. Your own player is your main crop strawberries? No. I basically never grow strawberries. Never. For this run, I'm making more potatoes than I usually do. My main crops are usually rice or corn, but I'm making more potatoes in this run because I was being more um, work efficient. Yeah, strawberries have their use, but I generally don't need them in my runs. Um. So the two uses for strawberries, they can eat it as a raw food without getting the raw food debuff. The other use for strawberries is not very intuitive, but um, strawberries are pretty good in hydroponics. When you need more work efficiency than rice. If you don't have enough people to plant and harvest rice constantly because of how fast rice grows in hydroponic, and putting strawberries in there can free up some, some labor and is better than, the, uh, than letting the rice just sit there strawberries are only good for hydroponics work time efficiency yeah, yeah. you don't use Nutrifungus I use Nutrifungus when I am a tunneler, but people don't, people get a mood hit from eating mushrooms if they're not a tunneler. Nutrifungus is incredible. 
What? We're talking about strawberries. I'm not sure where Nutri Fungus came from. Royal to eat them? Yeah, because it doesn't count as raw. Yeah, the berries don't. What the crap? Hey, these are supposed to be the... I think my base is in a bad spot and they're trying to path here. Uh, mushrooms are cave strawberries. Haven't played non tunneler in ages. Yeah, tell me, non tunnelers don't like them. Oh, this sucks because they're only going to get a freaking lung rot again. I mean, we could go out and just kill all these, gun them down. Let's see, come through. That way they're outside at least. I guess I'm going to do that. I need to get off here. I was supposed to be off here like 20 minutes ago. Crap. Because I think it's screwing up. I've never seen the passing through shamblers act this way. And I think it's because they were trying to path through my base to get where they're trying to go. Psychoid plants and hydroponics? Well, you can't eat psychoid, of course. However, psychoid plants got nerfed for hydroponics, so to speak, uh, in biotech because they needed uh, they needed them to be able to grow in toxic soil, and so they got rid of a lot of the fertility sensitivity. So before biotech, they grew a lot faster in hydroponics. Now they just are whatever. They don't have as much fertility sensitivity, so they don't get a lot of benefit out of uh, out of hydroponics anymore. Uh, if we got... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's what's happening. They were trying to group up there in a weird way. Oh. You, can, you can still do it. They just don't get very much benefit. It's like potatoes. Potatoes don't have a lot of fertility sensitivity. So they just don't grow very... They don't grow much different in any type of soil and it's kind of the same thing with psychoid now to an extent i raid with about this many shamblers and they started breaking down your wall there's two kinds there are assault shamblers and they're passing through shamblers we just had assault shamblers that's what happened to these walls uh explosive pirates I'm a psychically dull person. Psychically dull. Sus. Yes. Sixty four percent chance of manhunters. Okay, go. 64%, come on. I forgot Sus2 so is psychically, uh, psychically dull. Actually, we'll leave that on. Hopefully these don't blow open our wall. These shamblers all get out of here too fast. They might. Oh no, it's Lou. No, don't read it. Don't read it. When her mother died, Lou could not bear her father's loneliness and became his sexual companion. No, no, no. Why does he always read it? I don't know. We still didn't even get all this repaired. They're going to blast through those in no time. Huh. 
we gotta get that done. We got we got a lot to do. Hurry up, sus two. Draw animals complete. Way to go. You failed it. Uh, what do you guys have left? All right, screw it. Go open this. It's really annoying that you it, you can't just summon the manhunters like that isn't the good quality one because that's what you want to summon you want to summon manhunters why why are these evil cultists summoning just like five deer to walk by like seems weird oh the wasters uh that group actually died to them okay cool yay we failed uh, so basically with the with that event we want the worst quality possible so that it's higher chance at manhunters the manhunters will attack but instead we got good quality and so a couple animals show up chandlers are winning at the moment because the pirates were killing themselves Chamblers. There are limits how far pawns can reach shells behind other shelves. No, shelves are passable terrain. Shelves aren't walls. Shelves are just you can walk through an infinite number of shelves, and only the first shelf slows them down. Uh Lamer, think of the brand new sub thing, Lamer. Appreciate it. Turns out toxic gas isn't very effective against chamblers, yeah. Lou is a name of the game. Uh, yeah, Lou is a, a Kickstarter character, a backer character with the custom backgrounds. All right. Um. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with this when I get back. I, I really gotta go. I get, we have to still get all my daughter's stuff um, from the store for the camp trip. So uh, we're gonna have to finish this on the next stream, but I gotta save this for anything else happens. I was supposed to be off here like 20 minutes ago to go start and getting all that ready. Uh, so yeah. Uh, one second. Don't leave. Okay. All right, I'll do a, a really quick raid for those of you on Twitch. Just stick around for just a second if you would. And uh, let me let you guys know about the camp thing again on both uh, Twitch and on YouTube. So uh, basically my my daughter has a camp thing that uh, I signed up or I, I'm, I agreed to be a chaperone to like many, many months ago. And I'll be doing that, so I will probably be off for three and a half to four days. Um, it's unfortunate, but, you know, uh, games, expansions will come and go, et cetera, et cetera. It's more important, so I will let you guys know in Discord and everywhere else. Uh, this will be a perfect time to catch up on all this crap, though, all this stuff. If you go to YouTube and go to the live tab, that's where all of the uh, VODs are for, for Anomaly so far, including the crazy first ending. So we already did beat Anomaly once with no kill box, 500% no pause, no kill box. Uh, YouTube channel, click the live tab, it's in there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end.